，热庆集，他喺呀，放呀放，通通咩，先做，开个暗示嘛，不多咩，他翻教我咩，得几个班咩，这一班生产者合作主任。一呀一朋友，呀呀推着我，这一班生产者做主人。天上他海洋，风呀风冲冲的，心中的太阳是毛色的呢。他看到我们飞云千起飞，革命江山第一条风呢。一呀一朋友，哎呀推着我。革命江山，一片天风。我心中的片海远，他的冰片绿一片风。长白天，绿衣破身两面，柴人家发风起飞扬。现在江边，为大海，我的桂花三三白。天里面，你多么情歌唱。我们心中的风，哎呀，我满腹情，我不忘送了你。你的脚把拉进心肠，变得真理，出原理，万寿将万寿将。一片山，海洋，风呀风，通通美。心中的太阳是毛色的美，看看到我们的几个班美，这里本身单家做主人，一呀一不要，呀呀会的我啊，这里本身单家做主人。天山看海呀，风呀风，通通美。心中的太阳是毛色的美，看海听到我们奔涌前进飞，革命名江山，听着一片红梅。嗦啦啦子，嗦啦啦子，一个一片红梅。百分之五十的 fantastic evening, fantastic afternoon, fantastic premium. No matter where you are, welcome to Song Pike. This is Austin on broadcast coming to you live. From Sydney, Australia. That's right, folks. I'm live and alive, and I hope all the boys, girls, and enemies are having a fantastic one. Your voice is so deep. Wait, really? Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, my voice is deep because、uh, I I have I have. It's the Australian air. Fuck. How am I gonna fix this? God damn it. I don't even know. All right. Good start. Good start to the broadcast. Very good. Uh, did we see filters? No. Someone clip it and link it to me because I want to see what it sounds like. I want to see how bad it is, because if it's really bad, then I have to fix it. If it's not really bad, then fuck it, YOLO. You know what I mean? Let's see. Yeah, keep it holding. I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, we gotta fix that. What the fuck is? Ha- how is that possible? I don't even understand. Like, what could be going on in this audio? Device setup that what is it? Is it the equalizer? Do you guys know anything about the audio? Yeah, fuck, dude. It's not a bit. The boys. What could it be? I have no idea how to fix it. Using a. Oh wait. Maybe these. Hello. Is it better?、Uh, it could be. I've like pressed on one of these like dumb things that changes my voice. Did it fix it? No. Okay, we're gonna try by it's trial by fire. Hello, does this fix it? No, no change. Does this does this do anything? I don't even fucking know what I'm pressing. Let me fade out. It's definitely an effect. Okay, I don't know how to fucking turn off the goddamn effects. This is so bad. Uh, okay, let's see. I fucking hate this、uh, Rodecaster Pro. It's so fucking stupid. Like the user interface is so dumb. No, no, no. It's not that. It's definitely one of the effects. I think it's on, and now it's squeaky. Or is it fixed? Wait, can you real voice? Okay, so it's this one is squeaky. Okay, what about now? Is it fixed? Okay, it's fixed. Actually, can you can you、uh, can you clip it and like let me hear it? Anyway, we're live and we're alive, and I hope everyone's having a fantastic one. Okay, wait, is what I sounded like? Let's hear this one. Is this fixed? It? Oh, I'm fucking hitting like. Does、no, no uh, this, this do anything? I don't even fucking know what I'm pressing. Let me fade out. It's definitely an effect. Okay. That's so dumb. That's so fucking dumb. That was not a bit. Like I actually, I, I actually fucking did that. All right, folks. 
I'm live. I'm alive. I'm out here in fucking Sydney. All right. And I got a bunch of people here. Hit the air horn again. Which one is it? Is that the air horn? Was that? Did that work? No, that's the beep. Hold on. Oh, this is definitely deep voice. Or maybe it's not the deep voice. That was Morse code. Did I mute? Oh, true. But I don't do. What if it like fucking routes the audio to it and then it doesn't route it to the computer? You know what I mean? Anyway. All right. Um, Bro, the whole, you just hit the air horn. Okay. Um, the whole stream is ruined. I know. Listen, listen, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and MPs, I'm in Sydney. I'm going to tell you all about what happened. This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news about what's going on in the world of Asana Asana and I be Piker in between the time period where I press the stop streaming button, press the start streaming button for all the parasocialists out there. And let me tell you what quite a bit has happened. So yesterday, end of the broadcast with Matt Owens, as you guys know, shouts out to Matt. It was awesome. Um, it was great. We had a wonderful time together talking about One Piece and weep shit. And then I literally fucking immediately after that flew, flew to Australia because I'm nice with it like that. I'm crazy. Camera is wrong side up. What does that mean? Oh, no, they're just they're making an Australia joke, right? See, this is exactly the kind of humor that is no longer allowed or appropriate here. OK, let me tell you something. This is a we are defending Australia out here. We're defending Australia from the Chinese, okay? We're defending Australia from the Bikies, which I'm gonna be talking about. Actually, I like the Bikies. I'm a fan of the Bikies. I wanna link up with them and build. Um, but anyway, we're gonna be uh, defending Australia from uh, that one fucking dipshit on Twitter whose name I will not mention. And, um, you know, that's what, that's what I'm out here to do, to learn about Australia, Australian culture, Australian cuisine, all things Australia, and also link up with the boys. So, uh, without further ado, I mean, I guess I'll bring both of you guys on and I, I, I have another special guest here who's gonna show us something fucking insane as well. Um, let's see how we can fit everybody in here. I like the plant, bro. I, I like it. Here, I'll take the I'll take the noise gate off too so we can like go crazy with it. Alright. Everybody. Hello. We also you can zoom out of that. Because yeah, me... I, I, I was just zoomed into it because I was like I kinda I, I wanna have can you like Okay, I took the, the I took the noise gate off so we can so everyone can be heard. You already have a deep voice. No, but I want to sleep on. Um, here, this is like, fuck. We need to like also crank up the gain probably because it's not going to be enough because you guys. I'm going to close this and go to the plane. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh yeah. Watch someone work out where we are based on the plane oh, yeah. and flight path. Don't, don't tell them to do that. <laughs> yeah, dude, they they will do it. You don't want that. You don't want that smoke. Um, anyway. The boys are here, uh, or rather, I'm here with the boys, and right. we fucking, we did it, and I'm very stoked, I'm very excited, uh, I miss them, audio is kind of low, yeah, I'm gonna try to fix that right now, actually, I'm already fucking hungry, it, right now, for me, like, it's 11 here, it's Monday morning, right, I've been working on tweaking this shit, and, and trying to get this setup going, since like 7 a.m <laughs> yeah. yeah it took me like or not 7 a.m I, I think i came here like 8 or something um had a hard time finding the house had a had a crazy had uh, a a crazy experience with customs and border patrol uh had a crazy fucking experience overall with oh wait maybe i can crank it from here i feel do it on this as well oh yeah wait let's see is, is it louder oh yeah it's much louder now yeah, i cranked nice. it up i cranked it up big time um but yeah I got on a plane, Qantas, flew on a double decker for the first time in my life, which was fire. Uh, 15 hour flight, knocked out, slept the entire time, woke up in between, tried to go online on my phone to see what the fuck was going on in the universe, realized that like the Australian flights do not actually have internet, which is weird. I'm shocked when I found that out. I think it has to do something with the satellite positioning or and this is my suspicion, and you guys can tell me. Pine gut? I, well, maybe. I was thinking more than that. Take it one step further. The world is flat. And, the on, and, and honestly, they don't want you to know because like, you can definitely tell that it's flat because you're flying from the edge of the mm, earth. True. Like It's like the same as the map, right? Oh, see, I thought Australia was the middle. Yeah, no. <laughs> is that how they show it? <laughs> on your, yeah. Yeah. Is that how they show it yeah, on your silly ass nervous. fucking notebooks? Yeah, that's not. The world island. And yeah. Else is around. So I think that like like just like Kyrie Irving, who is a truth teller, who first said the world is flat, or Bob, the rapper, airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars. Um, 
I think personally that the earth is flat and like they don't want you to they don't want you to let people know. They don't want you to like see that it's actually flat and then communicate it immediately with like a photo or something. That's why they don't have the internet. Also, very weird, but they tell you they literally tell you like please shut off your your windows. Oh yeah. But they don't do that on other flights. That's just that's just Australian. I thought that Wait, was normal. What? That's, I mean, well, they do life. do that on other flights. I'm saying that, like, they do that so you don't fucking see that the mm. Earth is, like, literally flat. Oh, I gotcha. And you're technically not even, like, flying over. Well, the map hasn't loaded yet. You're yeah, yeah, exactly. It's rendering. Yeah. It's rendering. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on to you motherfuckers, okay? Don't even play with me on this shit. I know what's going on. I figured it out. They're probably going to assassinate me for this, by the way, but it's all good. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm in good company for that. So, yeah, so that was one uh, one aspect of the trip that I wanted to mention, and then I land, and there's this fucking bogan-looking motherfucker standing next to the to the luggage area. I grab my luggage, immediately he rushes over to me, and he's like, come here, mate, um, so uh, would you like to tell me where you're going, what are you doing, blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, fuck, here we go, this is just like Mexico round two, Okay. Also, Australia, is it a part of the global Latina belt? Who knows? But that was very Mexico-like of them to do that to me. Um, he starts questioning me, asking me if I have, like, meats or dairy in my fucking luggage. They're really, really careful about that sort of thing here because it's a fucking island, right? Delicate ecosystem and whatever. And then and then he's like, so who are you visiting? And I was like, oh, my friend Alexa. Like, I've, I've put your name down for everything, by the way. I just... <laughs> Nice. I put your nice. name and your phone number down for everything, and I was thinking, like, fuck, they're probably... What if they're... What if they Like, you guys were, like, recently almost arrested and shit, so I was thinking, like, fuck, that's probably not the best thing to person. do. Like, but, you know, I, I... Luckily, they didn't care too much uh, about that aspect. I get... Uh, I... I I knew what was going to happen. They put me on the the classic like, all right, get over here. Let's let's uh, check your luggage. Uh, you know the the X raying the luggage thing. The entire time he's fucking asking me these questions like, so what do you do, mate? And I'm like, I'm a Twitch streamer because I said streamer on my thing because I don't know what to write. Like I don't want them to think that I'm there for work. Yeah. Because like then they're gonna be like, oh, why didn't you fucking declare that you're here for work, mate? Blah, 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 blah. Like I don't want to fucking do that. So I'm just like visiting my boys, right? Which isn't fake. That's real, yeah. right? That's like valid. And so I always say streamer or Twitch streamer because like I don't want them to fucking look at my channel. You know what I mean? And ain't nobody's going on Twitch. If they're over the age of like 40, they have no fucking clue what it is. So he just starts going, oh, you're streaming, mate? Like you fucking, uh, my, my child loves uh, streamers. Like what do you play? Like what do you do? And I, immediately I'm like, Definitely, I'm not going to tell anyone that I'm doing politics, of course. So I'm like, I play video games. Uh, like Final Fantasy VII, RPG games, single-player RPG games. That's what I play. So I try to find, like, the most boring thing that I, from his perspective, and he's like, oh, so you don't play FIFA? Like, I was like, no, I don't play FIFA, okay? Um, or 2K. Puts me to the fucking x-ray machine. Literally is, like, looking at my name, looking at me, looking at my name, looking at me, and he's like, so where are you from? And I was like, America, like Los Angeles. But he's like, but your name is Hassan. <laughs> it's where like, so, really so where are you, like, you know, where, where are you actually from? And I was like, uh, I'm from Turkey. Like, my parents are from Turkey, but like, I'm from America. So anyway, he just like gave me, he was, he was pretty kind. He wasn't like really annoying. He did ask me about the TikTok ban. Cause like, that's a big deal out here. Apparently he's like, so he can, he can they're going to ban TikTok, mate? And I was like, no. And then I explained to him that it was just like, you know, Congress bullying bike dance to like divest from TikTok and like sell it to an American. And I was trying to tell him like, it's probably not going to happen anyway because it's very unpopular. And I was immediately thinking like, how do I get this guy to be on board with like not banning TikTok in America? Because <laughs> I know he hates the Chinese, right? Immediately. Well, it's because they keep bringing in all the, all the meat. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> yeah. Cooks, that's yeah. why. Yeah. That's yeah. a whole like turkey in a bag. Guy, yeah. guy, who loves, guy who loves Chinese as a Customs and Border Patrol agent because he's always eating their yeah. meats. Yeah. <laughs> that's the... That's the their yeah. I've got a snake today. Yeah. It's like, they, yeah, they keep bringing these exotic meats. I fucking love it, mate. I like it. Um, so 
Uh, I was like, yeah, it's actually unfair because they just like Americans were like jealous that there was like a successful company and they wanted to like sell it to an American. I'm having this like long ass convoluted conversation with him. Anyway, he lets me go at the end of it. Um, and then my manager had like hired a like a, a driver, very fancy, uh, to to come here, which is normally like I would just Uber. Uh, I don't even know. Do you guys have Uber? You have Uber. Yeah, here. we have Uber. Okay, so yeah, you did a video on it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I get in the fucking car, and then all hell broke loose. The dude driving me immediately is like, so where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Los Angeles. He goes, no, mate, where are you really from? <laughs> I saw your name. It's Hassan. And I was like, this is two for two. What the <laughs> fuck is going on in Australia? No, no, that's, that's everyone. <laughs> this is, like, insane. In America, like, no one fucking, I feel like Americans, like, don't, do that i don't know i don't know how to describe it so the guy's like i'm lebanese so he's like he he's like uh oh yeah you're we're fellow travelers turns out he is the most right-wing motherfucker i have encountered thus far in australia more right-wing than the custom and border patrol agent i'll be pointing at me yeah, <laughs> yeah more right wing than uh, more right than this guy and you barely can be be that reactionary he starts talking about like uh, the libs of fucking they're doing the gangs they, they're running the criminal syndicates out here. Fucking the Turks are all over the fucking cr criminal syndicates. Like, he just starts talking to me, and he does not stop talking about politics. Even though I'm desperately trying to steer the conversation away from politics to be like, so yeah, you know, cool, okay, uh, you know, how's life? And he's like, yeah, fucking... <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the gangs used to be Italian, but now they're all run by the Lebanese because these immigrants are like, uh, they, these immigrants are like, they just, they come from war-torn parts of the world. And I'm like, bro, you're a Lebanese guy. What the fuck are you saying? He's a gang member. In my mind, I was thinking like, what is this guy saying to me? Um, and, and, and it was, it was really interesting because then he starts talking about American politics and he's like, you know, it can fucking save America. Trump. Like, talking about how, like, you need a businessman to save the country. Joe Biden ruined the country in four years, mate. Fucking hell. All this shit. And I was thinking, like, what is he... Like, I did not want to ask him any questions. Because I did not want to know what he it means when he says, like, Joe Biden ruined the country. But it was very strange that he was just, like, so invested in telling me about American politics. And he had no fucking clue that I do politics. Like, I did not tell him that at all. I did not want him to look me up at all. I was just like, yeah, I play video games for a living. And slowly but surely, he, like, drew it out of me that I, not the politics stuff, but, like, you know, what I do. And he's like, well, you're an immigrant in America, and you're successful, and that's what we got to do out here. Like, we have to do honest work and be successful. And in my mind, I'm thinking, like, damn, bro, the, the Lebanese seemingly are very successful if they overtook the entire criminal enterprise out here. Like, <laughs> why are you hating on the motherfuckers out here? Like, they're doing the damn thing. Um, but yeah, you know, fun stuff overall, uh, came over here, uh, set up, uh, set up the stream, shouts out to Alex and Alexa, you guys are fucking great. That's awesome. Um, yeah, uh, I, I brought them, I brought them some, some Sick treats, gifts. some, some gifts. Uh, I don't know if you want to, oh, fuck. I brought them some gifts. <laughs> First of all, I brought them a shit ton of Zin, uh, to shit ton of Zin. Yeah, you can show that. You Which want? you didn't declare. Which I did not declare, because it's not a tobacco <laughs> product. I brought them this turkey hat. Some kind of American merchandise. Yeah, he already <laughs> turns out he already has a turkey hat. He already has a better looking one. Well. Yeah, he has a better turkey hat that has like the actual OG name of turkey, Turkey. <laughs> it's okay. Some of us are more Turkish than you, so it's fine. Yeah. Where's the cock hat? That's a good hat. Um, I brought him the Alabama Gamecocks hat. That's sick. And the Hog Life hat. And Let's also, see. they're all right. Yeah. I'm gonna wear these everywhere. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to show them, what, like you know. Well, when we go to Bondi about. Sauna in our speedos, wear, wear the, the cock hat. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sick. It also brought us these. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I brought them uh, two, two incredible, uh, very real, authentic Los Angeles uh, uh, gifts <laughs> for for opening up their home to me. 
uh, and being such gracious hosts. Have you told them while you're sleeping that you're literally sleeping in Alexa? I am literally. Alexa is not sleeping in his own room because they don't have enough space in his in his tiny ass house. Don't so cancel no. him. His house is tiny. I'm sleeping in Alex's room, and you know we the last thing we want is to sleep together in the same yeah, bed. But like Asan's coming out, we have to. We have to. You know, we just have I to. I did do tell it. them something... you don't have to do that, no. and and Alexa insisted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He. Yeah. He insisted. I thought it was a little weird, but it's fine, I guess. I hate doing gay stuff. I'm just a really good host. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Not, just not gay. Yeah. They're they're just, you know, you have to sleep uh, not ass to ass, like ass to penis. Too, oh, yeah, yeah. Which is like... We usually do front to front. Like, yeah. Did we Zocking. sleep before head to foot? I'm was... not going near your feet. No, <laughs> it's so fucked. Oh, yeah. Your feet are fucking gnarly. I'd much rather go ass to dick than face, face to foot. <laughs> yeah. For two different reasons, yeah. it seems. Okay. I'd much rather. Anyway, um, but yeah. So, originally today, we were supposed to go to a Rift Hall Zoo. Okay. Uh, and do a private tour of the facility. And, like, get to pet all the animals and stuff. Except for the koalas, because they have STDs, apparently. Um, is that a meme got, or is that real? No, it's no, real, real. you can pet them. But if you've you got the same them. one as them, if you have chlamydia, oh, okay. then like, what are you It actually cancels, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. It fixes your chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's one thing that, uh, that's one thing that we're going to do today. Turns out it's actually tomorrow. So, uh, we're not doing that today. We're going to be doing that tomorrow. So, what I'm, what my plan is here, guys, I'm just going to do my regular stream, like a desktop stream every day while I'm out here. A lot earlier in the day than right now. Don't worry. Um, hopefully at like 6 a.m. I'll start, which is 12 Los Angeles time. Uh, and then do like a couple hours, three to four hours of like regular content, regular desktop stream shit. And then we'll move on to IRL stuff. So today, they have a very special treat for us. Um, one of the things that they want to do is uh, they want to go uh, snorkeling. I, I keep saying snorkel because that's how you say it in Turkish. Snorkel. 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 Um, <laughs> they want to go snorkeling. You explain to them what you told me. Wait, wait, which bit? Bit, bit about the, 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 the safe beach. The so, safe beach. Well, because I, I understand Hassan is um, reluctant to get in the water. And I thought he would like it if I told him there's these big friendly fish called blue gropers, which they kind of behave a little bit like puppy dogs. They've got big eyes, big lips. And they will, they will come up to you and kind of almost want to pat they think you have food and they're beautiful like beautiful animals they're not it's they're creepy beautiful. as fuck it's creepy as fuck they're that there's like fish that are not afraid of you and want like they literally seem pets. like they want hugs because they think you're giving them food sometimes i've had it if you lift up a rock they know there's food underneath it but they'll get excited by that and they'll literally come over and just start bumping you they'll be like what's that under the rock? freaks me the what's fuck out the that freaks me the fuck out the other part about it was that he was like no 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 you don't understand there's another beach that's like really beautiful Oh, right? It's, yeah, it's called Cabbage Tree Bay. Yeah. But the problem is, it's like, you like you do see sharks there he sometimes. Go, he, he went, when he was describing it to me, <laughs> he went, and I quote, well, there's stuff that you might not want to see there. And I was like, what, is he, what does he mean? Like, are there dicks and, and, and pussies? Like, are people naked? Like, is there just like human fecal matter? He goes, sharks. Like, you might not want to see sharks. I'm like, no, I, that's just the weirdest way to present that. <laughs> Like, it's not just about me being like, oh, a shark. Now my day is ruined because I saw it. It's more like, oh, my God, we're going to fucking die. No, that's, uh, that's, I've been in the water before. And I'm like, when you see a shark, I'm just like, oh, I just, I hope they don't see it. I'm like, I'll just kind of shield them from it so they don't know that there's a shark around. That's like, insane. They will just be there, you know. So you no, it's not, not. I'm not definitely not going in the fucking water at all, dog. There are now. some places where there's like a human-made rock wall. There's no sharks in there. There's kids swimming in there. Australian kids. They probably fucking... They like the sharks. They, <laughs> no, they. it's fine. I just... I feel like they're going to see my Turkish tender meat and think that, like this is a delicacy. <laughs> like they don't... We don't We don't get this like beautiful Los Angeles fermented meat here. Uh, <laughs> and, and they're going to avenge us for Gallipoli. Yeah, oh, oh the shark. Yes. Yeah, and Zach forces the steam, took a big L. The took a big L. We'll get, yeah. yeah. So uh, things that I've learned so far since I've been in Australia, the Lebanese, the Libs, right? The Libos, the Lib, the, the Lebanese. I don't know how. What Perfect. is it? Lebs. <laughs> the Lebs, the Lebs, and the Turks have taken over the fucking bikey gangs, right? And the gangs across the board, they they got criminal syndicates, right? 
Um, and also, the biggest criminal syndicate of all, obviously, uh, Chairman Xi uh, in China. So, that's right. So, uh, today we're going to investigate that, I think, because, like, because I, I want to see what the fuck this is about. Like, apparently, it's Australia is Chinese, uh, is a Chinese vassal state. Yeah. 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 Uh, which means, you know, a number of things like phenomenal food, mm -hmm. right? So, we'll, we'll. That's how they get you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, we'll eat it, but we'll go like this. While yeah. eating it, mm, mm, really bad. Then when we go to the Xinjiang restaurant, oh yeah, oh yeah, we can we can do that as well. We can we can do that as well, and then we'll go. Mm. Also in Chinatown, suspicious. Yeah, that is suspicious. Maybe they want to keep an eye on them. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. true, yeah. true. They're surveilling the Xinjiang restaurant, the Uyghur restaurant in China in Chinatown. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do that. Uh, they have an interview. That they're doing, we can mention that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah they have a they have an interview that they're doing uh, uh, about the the latest video that they did that we watched on stream. If you guys remember the Pine Gap one uh, about how this is an American military base, <laughs> <laughs> just like an unsinkable aircraft carrier in the middle of the <laughs> ocean. That's even um, worse. The Chinese are taking over an American bank. I know. It's, That's yeah. why it's like so damaging. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that you know. It's not even that this is becoming a Chinese vassal state, and there's like. Mandarin uh, everywhere. It's that it's uh, it's America's base originally. So, did they get their soccer ball back? No, no. That's kind of funny. Someone um, put a marker for it on Google Maps. Oh, people really? Leaving, people leaving reviews about <laughs> like boy boy soccer ball, but um, they got taken down. I'm on my eleventh cold brew so far. I think I ordered like eight cold brews here. And I've just been downing him nonstop, even though I slept the entire time. The time difference is so fucked here. It's like so weird because technically it's like an entire day ahead. It's 18 hours ahead, I think, right? Yeah. But I mean, like the more hours, the kind of less it is. Right? Yeah. So it's yeah, like, yeah, like 24 is 5, so. it's like 10 30. Yeah, so but like I, I've seven. like lost an entire day yeah, though yeah. while I was. You gain it when here. you go back though. Yeah. So it's, it's very weird. You need, you've been in Japan two times? I know, I know. But it's just, it still fucks me up. Maybe it fucks me up further because this is, I realize, my first time in the Southern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Yeah, weird. this is the global south, yeah. baby. That's <laughs> right. Bits. Does the sun feel different to you here? No. You, you haven't been really. outside yet. We find that it's, really. what, it's way more, way more burning here. Oh, like, you just feel so it on your yeah. skin. Like, that's compared to LA. I... It's that yeah. hole in the ozone that we got here. Someone said, are you in Sydney already? Yes, dude. I Yesterday, when you watched me live, I was in Los Angeles. Today, when you're watching me live, I'm in fucking Sydney. Even though I technically skipped a day, you guys in LA have not. So you're watching me in, in Australia right now. I'm a fucking globetrotter, baby. Um, and uh, we're also going to have... Uh, we're going to have one special guest come in now. Because he has like a, a unique you're thing that he, that he wanted to fucking show me. <laughs> And at first, I was like, the fuck's this guy? What, what's this guy's deal? Okay. You might also... You were in the Pangea video as yeah. well. Hello. <laughs> All right. Introduce yourself to the stream. Uh, my name is Christo, and uh, I was in the Pine Gap video. You want to zoom out of that? work yeah. with uh, move it Jordan, and I'm uh, childhood friends with oh. Ale Alex's brother. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex's brother is the based one, by the way, that we've established already. He's way sicker, he's way cooler, <laughs> hot act hotter, works yeah. with fucking unions, like, he's the man. Um, I'm always trying to get him into politics. I want him to, like, be PM one day. Lucas, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. No, it, no it's, the focus is fine. It'd be no, like no, our JFK. It, it, it looks dark because this uh, this screen is dark. That's oh, it. Yeah. Here, like, it normally, it just looks like this, yeah, actually. But does Lucas make explosives? No, so. <laughs> That's <laughs> he, true. He'd be in control I have something it. useful about me. Can I just give you, like, the Minister for Defence or something? Oh, yeah. 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 I like that. Yeah, it is weird how nepotistic Australian YouTube is. Everyone, <laughs> everyone famous is just, like, a friend of each other. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's how it is in American YouTube too, though. All right, so you have a uh, you were very excited to show me something, <laughs> and I was a little shocked. But I guess it's like on par with what he does all the fucking yeah, time. This is this, this is, is much worse. This is much worse. But this is much much worse. So yeah. what do you you have you we have a show and tell for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't laugh, but it is it is. Yeah, and tell tell the backstory nuts. of what it. Yeah, actually, I probably started. It's a pretty 
devastating backstory. But um, in 2021, uh, just very, very, very close to Australia, just a few, like a really like, you know, you can basically catch a boat there in, uh, on the island of New Guinea. In the centre of it, there was a, a bit of action between uh, the rebel, the very sparsely armed uh, indigenous rebel army, uh, the TPNPB, the West Papua National Liberation Army, and the Indonesian government. And uh, the Indonesian government reacted to, I guess, a few scattered arson attacks by sending in uh, massive helicopters with uh, rockets made by a European company, Talus. They used, I, I'm pretty certain they used these Chinese uh, AI drones called Blow, Blowfish A3s that use AI to attack in clusters. And they dropped uh, Serbian, modified right. Serbian mortars. Yeah, so I told you we were going to leave that he's out. Got, he's got this. <laughs> he's just, what's up? You got something for Turkey too? What, what did the Turkish do? do? No, it's just we've got, we got, we got, so we got, got a weird alliance. Like of, he hit everyone, dude. We got it's the fucking, French, <laughs> the yeah. Belgians. The, the Indonesian government reacted in the only way that they react anytime something happens, it seems, uh, which is uh, full scale warfare assault. Yeah. And, it's, and it's been pretty much secret. Like, still, the details of this attack have not... Like, I did a video on Jordan's channel last year. True Geordies. Through Friendly Geordies. Or, for, not True Geordies. That's a different YouTuber. Oh, that's <laughs> the English guy. Yeah, that's the... Uh, <laughs> is he, like, a Geordie Shaw type? Yeah, that would be really <laughs> funny if he was, like, out of... Out of nowhere, he's like, today we're going to be... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let me talk to you about Sakana. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he, he swaps it from like men's right activism or whatever the fuck he does to like talking about uh, Indonesia conducting genocidal operations in Papua New Guinea. The West Papua is actually the most masculine They're pretty... of men that we have in... in oh, they'd well. be... The, the Andrew Tates would fucking... Lie. Oh, no, they wouldn't survive there. They wouldn't... They don't have any cars or Bugatti... Bugatti yeah, there's no Bugatti's. Bugatti. There's, there's no, no Bugatti's, Bugatti's there. <laughs> Um, no slippers and, and skin tight jeans that he could wear as well to look as masculine as you physically can in Europe. That's just how it works. <laughs> the skinnier your pants are, the more mask you are. Um, just but yeah, not true Jordy's, noses. friendly Jordy. So you, you were talking about that. Go ahead. Oh, Sorry. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it looked like um, that, yeah, everyone evacuated because of this massive bombing campaign. They say, the people there say that there was 200 mortars dropped and I don't know how many um, Talus rockets um, but everyone fled into the bushes and they've been living there since and the whole kind of airstrip, which is, I guess, the de facto kind of administrative centre of the Kiwi Rock region that's on the border of Indonesia and uh, PNG, is isolated and it just has Indonesian snipers guarding it. And when the indigenous Papuans try and go back to go to their gardens because they're subsistence farmers, they get shot at by snipers. Um, so there's a starvation crisis going on there. And um, I think around... I would say probably around 300 people from like various sources of like independently written down names they've died and no one's been there the PNG government haven't been there the Indonesian or the Indonesian military's been there um, a few church groups have been there they've investigated themselves IDF style and found, <laughs> and found no wrongdoing was, was happening and that they have uh, terror babies I like that like AI drones is the future of warfare that's uh, so sick that because IDF has uh, what is known as the gospel According to 972 Mag, they have an a, a AI targeting structure for uh, for Gaza as well uh, that they utilize on on like figuring out which are uh, children. Uh, yeah. yeah, who's a child? Which, there. Yeah, which 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 uh, Palestinian child deserves it the most today? <laughs> Turns out all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, really I just keep count. <laughs> yeah, really bad vibes across the board for Palestinian children. So like Israel's just like doing that. So very cool that they got. Very cool that that's what's going on. Um, but yeah, go on. So you, you, the the funny, I guess, a part of this not so funny story, is that um, he was very excited to <laughs> to bring this material that he personally collected from the ground. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You can do a reveal here. I'm just a bit. I'm evangelical about this cause because it's just there's n practically no media attention on it, and none of these these are like big Western companies that we were meant to buy. We were meant to buy these big uh, our big submarines from them until we uh, started. The camera over here, here it is. So this is a wing. Where's the camera? This is the wing of a Talus FZ-68 rocket, which is a French multinational company, one of the biggest weapons manufacturers in the world, and it's being used on civilian populations just a few hours north of Australia. Mm. 
That's crazy. Dude. So I don't want to. I don't know if I want to touch it because you said. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you. He literally so casually brought this in Ziploc bags and was like, "Oh, they might be poisoned." I've got a. I got a. I got a new theory that I'm working on in it's a video. But I'm right. <laughs> no, I don't think depleted. Depleted uranium, but a lot of the um, not not on the Talus rocket, but in other areas of the country in Induga, but also here they've been using um, high explosive incendiaries, oh, wow. oh, which you know use sometimes use white phosphorus, but I think they may, might be using smokeless powder. But a lot of the witnesses I spoke to said that people started dropping dead after eating from their subsistence farms a few weeks after the attack. So I need to. That, that, that's a spoiler for the new exciting video I'm working on. But, what's um, interesting, do you know how much these cost? Because what's interesting, like this is aluminium, but yeah. it's some weird special high grade aluminium where it doesn't bend like aluminium or do anything like That's why when I was touching it before, I was like, this is like some weird fucking yeah. metal I've never touched before. It, it breaks into like effective shards like this, like on purpose to be oh. really scrappy and just cut, cut you up. But yeah, and the funny thing about the AI that are, is that's nuts is that the West Papuan army, the guerrillas, most of them still use bows and arrows to fight against the Indonesian military. And the Indonesian military has progressed to using these drones that carry mortars that attack in like a robot swarm against like uh, probably the, one of the most like uh, le worst equipped militaries on earth, but a very skilled, I guess, military. So, yeah, you were saying before, it's literally like, it's like Avatar. Yeah. yeah, it's a yeah, really like Avatar. it's a really poor taste comparison, but like <laughs> it's a really really poor taste comparison. But like it's it's really sad because it's one of the most uh, this is like one of the last like holdouts of like pre-industrial kind of ways of living mm. and like the best people on earth and they're being they're fighting for they're fighting for their culture and their life and just their lives and not not dying and their land using bows and arrows against one of the most vicious, uh, well equipped and just like ruthless militaries and it's happening a tiny bit north of Australia yeah. and there it's is closer, no press it's on It's closer than Bali, isn't it? Yeah, way yeah, closer. Where Australians yeah. go for holidays. Yeah, yeah. It's um, can I say this in the title? Can I put, can I add uh, Friendly Jordies in the title or will you get mad? No, no, no yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. Of course. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm tweeting out, by the way, we're blasting off before I forget. Chat and you can, uh, you know, go Go interact with it. Let the people know that we're live and alive. I don't have a... Oh, you have a blast off meme? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hassan... Oh, my God. Is that from basketball? That's from basketball, yeah. Hassan was asking me earlier. He's like, oh, how short do my shorts actually have to yeah. be? If yeah. I'm look like a hot tradie. We go get you some shorts. You get some tradie shorts. We, go trade yeah. we will go tradie shopping eventually, 100%. Yeah, really good. Okay. Uh, we, we have to. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Um, that's, a, that's a good meme for it. Even though it's not... Like... So my hands are itchy. Oh, for... Wait, oh. really? No, no. I don't... It, this one... No, I've... Let me wash my hands. I've, I've uh... Jesus I've Christ. This one. How do your hands get itchy? Your hands are fucking... <laughs> No, this this one's not going to have anything. And it's 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 just a th it's like a very 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 loose theory at the moment. So don't don't take um. There's still a lot of work to do on it. And that's also this when it wouldn't have been delivered in the Talus rocket. That this one kills you by cutting you up and with shrapnel. It doesn't poison you. I don't We're, think. Sorry. It's more fun. Yeah, it's more fun. If you can yeah. you can pull up a picture if you want want to see what they look like. Hold on, I'll do that. What is it called? Uh, uh, how do you spell yeah, it? T-H-A-L-E-S and then space F-Z-6-8. Z. Sound like, yeah. like a tech YouTuber. You know what the fucking model Oh my God. Sex, and then go, you got images. Marcus Brownlee, it, it, Marcus Brownlee looks at uh, the latest and greatest in drone warfare. <laughs> oh, so is, is it that one? The, it's, the it's, yeah, well, that's it. That that's one. the fin, yeah. Um, no, that's in, an, I think that's in Induga, which is just, no one can get into there because it is the most, it is the last place on earth that's just completely isolated. It's, it's the, got the tallest peak in Oceania there called, um, the, Cart the Cartens Pyramid. So it's this equatorial glacier and this like weird mountainous region where there's guerrilla fighting going on that no one ever, no one can see. It's I don't understand. Insane. Why do they got so much smoke for like 
random indigenous people. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> like, the island is the richest island on earth. It's got the oh, largest coal. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so, so originally it was part of the Dutch East Indies, and then there was a bit of a spat between the Indonesians who wanted to inherit all of the Dutch East Indies, but the Dutch were like, no, no, this is kind of... This is Papua and this is Melanesian. Is Indonesia shouldn't have oh. it. Were they, were they being... The Dutch were being woke? The Dutch were actually... They were being woke. Better, they were... A lot better than the Indonesians, but still, you know. They were, they were like, no, you know what? We're just going to... back to colonialism. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's what, being white saviors. No, that's, my, were... that's my takeaway. <laughs> no, but the, the Dutch, the Dutch were, were fighting Indonesia over, and the U.S. was originally kind of backing in the Dutch, but then they were worried. The U.S. got worried that Sukarno was getting too close with the communists, and so they... A uh, bunch of... Uh, I was going to say RFK, sorry. <laughs> JF, JFK security advisors said we need to have a strategic shift and let Indonesia take over West Papua. And a lot of those advisors went on to work at the massive mine, uh, Freeport Mine, which became the largest gold and copper mine in the world, where it's, where it's a massive hub for all Well, it's because like, they're the most knowledgeable, the, the, I think. <laughs> That's why. They're, they were the most woke. Yeah, about. yeah. <laughs> they said... Well, it was... Actually, it was a woke movement that gave... Um, that robbed uh, West Papua and West Papuans of their independence. It was a woke movement that said, "Oh, we've you know we've taken so much from the Indonesians. We have to give them everything that we had," oh, yeah. and it completely disregarded any of the uh, the will of the actual the indigenous Melanesians on the island. And it was actually the Dutch left that kind of uh, and the Australian left that kind of uh, failed in 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 delivering like. Oh, facilitating an Indonesian genocide, really. And they most, did the same in Timor. Most states can't be racist. Yeah. I think is the, is the takeaway. Sahado yeah. was a uh, hero. <laughs> yeah. He was... He, dude, he was I mean, just... I do like him. Sukarno. Oh, Sukarno, That yeah. dude, that dude... Sukarno was kind of cool. He, he had so much sex. They, <laughs> that's why I, you like him. I think they were like... It was like... He was like culturally fucking polyamorous. Well, do you know the story about the CIA <laughs> trying time, to make... Yeah. They tried to make fake pornography of Sukarno. To like discredit it. To just yeah, discredit it. They got like an actor somewhere in Hollywood. Did they? But was it, was the pipe game solid? Like in the fake porn? <laughs> yeah. Because then it like backfired. So what ended up happening is he ended up distributing it in Indonesia he, because he's like it makes me look sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ladies, if you see this, it's real. Yeah. He he yeah he got he got a lot of play out of that. Um, where's the kangaroos at, homie? Well, we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to do that today. We're going to do that tomorrow. They're linking your video in the chat. The oh sick. Oh yeah, this is the that's, hostage oh, that's, land. That's my channel. That's about um. They still got them. They took a uh, the uh, Induga wing of the West Papuan Army took a um, took a oh. Kiwi pilot hostage uh, last year, and he's been held there for a year in the jungle, just evading the Indonesian military who have been bombing the area. And so I went to hang out with their. I guess de facto spokesman, who's West Papua and kind of lives just in the border well, area. As far as I understand, the greatest way to ensure that you can, uh, you know, retrieve a hostage is by blowing up like <laughs> yeah. densely populated areas. Uh, maybe it's because they're not densely populated that they're having a hard time retrieving the hostage. Because that's what Israel taught me, like that you're <laughs> supposed to blow up areas where like civilians live. There, there's so many parallels with um, Israel and Palestine. Like um, one of the, the the actual fathers of the current hostage takers, they took a bunch of World Wildlife Fund uh, volunteers hostage in the 90s. And uh, it was protracted. It was a protracted ordeal. And they had read, the Red Cross was brought in to negotiate. Um, and eventually the Indonesians kind of got the shits. And the Red Cross colluded with the Indonesians to bring in uh, British special forces and Capacitas, Indonesian special forces, under the guise of the Red Cross. So they flew in on a Red Cross helicopter and just massacred a village. So to, shocking to bring that, in to bring to get the hostages. No, they just back. like fuck like any NGO that wants to work there ever. Oh, it's, yeah, because they're well, like, oh no, well, it's the, British soldiers. The reason why they're taking hostages now, and I've got this will be another thing that I've got a bunch of footage of. The Indonesian army just uses civilian aircrafts to fly in everything because they don't have the capacity. They don't have good enough pilots, so they rely on missionary aircrafts to carry out like Brimob raids. Wait, they, Christians are colluding in ethnic cleansing? Um, what the yeah, fuck? So <laughs> weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm not sure. Sorry, I won't. I actually should. I'm not sure if it's missionary, but it's commercial for sure. And oh. they've used the red. Cro they used the red cross in the '90s to to do a massacre. So yeah. it's just it's kind of similar. To Shocking. It. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, 
you know, here's another very, here's another much more real invasion, um, the Chinese invasion of Australia. <laughs> to, to talk about some serious subjects for yeah, once, yeah, yeah. and not like, um, you know, not this stuff. yeah, not this <laughs> indigenous population <laughs> being wiped out. Um, as far as I understand, much hay has been made about the. Oh, there it is. Much hay has been made about the the uh, Australian island becoming a Chinese vassal state, a colony. And uh, today we're gonna we're gonna be investigating that a little bit by going to guys. Trigger warning, Chinatown. That's right. Um, they, they they have a town. town. Inside Sydney. Yeah, it's they crazy. built a town inside of Sydney, <laughs> and they had the audacity to openly call it Chinatown, <laughs> where a lot of the Chinese live, which is shocking. Um, and they're even you know selling their food, their wares. Yep. And 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 their culture. The street names. Yeah. Have Chinese writing on them. Oh god. Mandarin. It's still like Victoria Road. It's still it's still English modern. Yeah. But and there's statues of the Queen everywhere, but, but yeah. in Mandarin. Yeah. yeah, how do you guys live with that? That's so weird it's, to me. Like, that's like the one in a sea of like awfulness that that America represents. Like, that is the one good thing that they did. Was get rid of the British. Was yeah. like yeah. 1776. Like, we're not cucked by the by the Commonwealth. We're just we're double cucked. I, I feel like we're just so apathetic, right? That's like the defining trait of like. Australian culture. Do you guys get like excited about like Kate Middleton stuff, people like conspiracies? It, like you guys like the royals and shit here? Yeah, I think one of the biggest events, like in the last five years, was when they came to Australia. Yeah, it was it, every it was nonstop coverage about them arriving. Was that Kate all and Will? All you could see on the news. Yeah, I have clips I uploaded on the Twitter in honor of your. Oh, we can look at some of the some of my. Uh, yeah, what the fuck did you do? You put a Vegemite on a Tim Tam. Um, yeah, I was I was broaching into Australian culture. I was learning. This is a learning experience for me. Where I guess I put I don't even remember this. I guess I put Vegemite on a Tim Tam. Tim Tam. That's the real Tim Tam slam. <laughs> okay, what the fuck's going on? Internet's not working down here. Down on the. Oh no. No, no, Very it's good. Fine. Enjoy something here. Has your Australian accent gotten better since I don't know. First I'm gonna improve the taste of this fucking Tim Tam. <laughs> get the one in the tube. And the dash of Vegemite on it. It's just the, the dash. Same. It's the same. It's, it's, exactly the it's same. bad, I know. <laughs> It'll get better. Will it? <laughs> it's, it's good. It's Very fucking good. good. Like, well, yeah. it's, it's better I than our American accent. I think it's actually like one of the oh best. Oh my god. One of the best I've heard. That's really. crazy. Wait, really? Yeah. You get like, you got the heaps. You always say the heat, heaps. Yeah. And I didn't realize, like, we always say it. We always yeah, we say always it. say heaps. Heaps. Yeah, we're going to. I say heaps. Later, later, we're going to go on a walkabout. That's a... Well, we don't say that. <laughs> well, you don't say walkabout? Well, I think it's like an indigenous term. You would do that if, if you wanted to, like, people would say that if you're making fun of indigenous people here. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I, that's what, like, conservatives I thought, say. To be fair, I thought the Australians were indigenous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are. For me. They are indigenous in the Chinese invasion. Yeah. 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 Technically. Yeah. 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 I didn't know. I didn't know that. That's crazy. I thought that was like a, like an Aussie thing. Like, uh. Walkabout is like uh, just when you go out into the nature. Is what? I, what is it? What is it actually? I think it's like a coming of age thing. Yeah. Um, indigenous people do, but yeah, the only time I hear it now is like Pauline Hanson or something, someone like that, mm. making fun of who indigenous is, people. Is Pauline Hanson a racist? Well, Pauline She's Hanson. Pauline Hanson said uh, that we're all white. White Australians are indigenous because we were born here, weren't we? You, you love Pauline Hanson. She's the one who you shared her tweet, which was like, um, "I'm still alive." Um, in spite of what my animal or something, she did, one that, did one she, she do a video from pri- she did, did she do a video from prison? Like she oh no, she made a video. She went to prison. She, yeah, she you went to her. prison. She's like, the one that climbed Uluru and then to say that we should still be able to climb it, and then she got halfway up and started crying. Oh, and like, I remember that. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You guys showed me a video. Yeah. Of her. She wore a burqa to Parliament. Yes, that's yeah. that's. Oh, her. she's so based. Yeah, yeah. she's so sick. <laughs> Yeah, I um I saw a customs and border patrol agent wearing a wearing a hijab, and immediately I was like, "This is scary. What's going on here? <laughs> a secret agent. What's happening? Don't, don't worry, it was Pauline Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was keeping us suspiciously. Safe. Yeah, she was. She was Just trying ginger. to blend in. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, H bomber guys in the chat. What's he saying? 
All my enemies in one room. Nice. <laughs> I was thinking. Uh, uh, Damn. Fuck. You guys are so fucked. He's coming after your channel. No, we got good luck. Yeah, <laughs> Pine Cap wants to do a drone strike. We're all here in one place now. So. He's doing. A, H, H Bomber guy is going to do an eight hour video about how you guys uh, fucked up on the Pine Gap investigation. You're cooked. <laughs> He's, he's coming after you next. First, he canceled... We, we plagiarized yeah. Pine Gap. Technically, it was yeah. a supply issue. <laughs> yeah. First, first, he came after uh, famous gay content creators. Now, he's coming after Australians, which is even gayer than being gay. <laughs> Australia is very gay in many ways. I've talked about this so many times. I feel like it's a meme at this point. But, like, when you guys first told me about the tradies, I was like, this is the gayest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Why are they seemingly, like... Like tough scary guy. tough guys who are like very uh, homophobic, yeah. And it, and it's the same thing. It's like buy keys. Like you, ca I can't take that seriously. I I really want you to see what Bondi looks like, especially Bondi icebergs, because it's compulsory to be kind of fit and wear speedos, and then it's just everyone's naked in the change rooms the whole time. Everyone's in, in speedos, and it's somehow gay, but it's not gay. I just don't. I mean, Part of probably yeah. probably it's very, yeah, <laughs> I just I personally don't understand how you can like like shorten a word and make it so cute and then expect people to be like oh those are the scary guys <laughs> the like are coming. yeah the bikies like it, this doesn't make any sense they ride bicycles yeah <laughs> like I, I, I'm thinking like it's it's a gang of people who are very fit <laughs> where where like like athleisure like really skin tight <laughs> athletic wear. And they ride, they're cyclists. We have those as well. They're pretty they're fucking scary. They're mam called mammals. Middle-aged men in Lycra. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Do you god. have them in LA? We have them in the morning. You'll just there, have gangs. Is there, any way, is there any way to ride bikes? Like <laughs> Without dying? Yeah. No. Um, not really. LA is, uh, LA is the most car-cucked uh, area of all time. So we don't really, oh, I mean, there's people. It was pretty car heavy as well. I feel like most, yeah. most, places. most places in America, <laughs> most places in America are very, very, yeah. Unless you mean like people who bike in their Pelotons in their house and in which case that's <laughs> it. Yeah. That's why it picked up. I was wondering why. It's yeah. Cause Americans so. can't ride bicycles. Can't leave it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, here's me trying to Vegemite with Tim Tim. Jesus. That was scary. <laughs> It was another Australian war crime right there then. <laughs> oh, you seem to like it. Uh, I did, yeah. I, I oh. like Vegemite. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to try it first. I said I would like the turn. Like an olive. Oh, no. Olive face. That's hard. You're a monster. That just looks like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit salty. It's oh. <laughs> oh. It was a bit salty. It's so salty. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not that God. bad. No, it's it is nice. Um, uh, okay, that's that's what we got for Australian culture. What else should we be doing out? Here? Oh shit! What else should we be doing out here? Because like, I came out here with like very little plans. I have like a lot of um, I have a lot of podcasts lined up. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be shooting one uh tomorrow, as well. But as far as like IRL streams goes, I hit up, I hit up uh. Mike Malak, hey Big Mike's uh, like fixer out here, so we could do all the stuff that like him and Logan Paul have done in Australia, basically, because uh, I have no creative ideas of my own, with the exception of going to Chinatown, which was kind of what you guys suggested, and then I said, oh, it's because China is invading Australia. Well, I think beach stuff is fun. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a part of Australian culture. Unique animals, nature's kind of the biggest. We're yeah. Be, yeah, we're doing that. Like that's the difference between Sydney and Melbourne is Sydney is more kind of nature heavy, prettier, and then Melbourne's probably more ugly, yeah, ugly and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, they, just, that's they the say difference. they got stuff. They just make they, they have culture, but I don't know you've got food that. here. That's it. Everyone right in Melbourne always talks about coffees as yeah. a thing, and it's like it's the same, you know. But like, do Sydney? I thought was like the bigger city, isn't it? Not no, no, Melbourne's be bigger. Melbourne's becoming bigger. Yeah. It's like okay. Five million each. They're like yeah, pretty much the same. Melbourne doesn't have as many Chinese people though. Yeah, that's what we Sydney has. On oh, that's what, okay. That's why we like Melbourne. It's not been overtaken by the Chinese. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Pine Gap viral stream. Okay, you guys have one note, dude. Like you only. Everyone has been memeing about Pine Gap. Pine Gap. They right. always. They're like, come on, go to Pine Gap. It's not the only thing in Australia. There's okay. A, there's other American military. Yeah. There's, there's yes. A lot of there's a lot. Yeah. 
I think um, there's an American military ship at Garden Island at the moment. Oh, yeah, we can go there. So you from the Harbour on. Bridge, you can see... You can get a sign Ky- in there Kyle in case you get in trouble here. <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm gonna go there and salute. <laughs> no, just right we're, this way, sir. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a salute off. Whoever <laughs> salutes harder. Um, how Sydney's public transport? Oh. Never tried it yet. We should. That's what we should do. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. There's um, we've got um, like ferries integrated with the public transport system. So you get on one, like you're on a bus, and you get like a nice little tour of the city. I like that. We can do that. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. It's when not is, as good as Tokyo, but... Oh, shit. When do we need to go? Yeah, we it's... Probably 45. Yeah, 45 minutes. Okay. And we also have... Uh, we have uh, Friendly Jordy's, uh who will... He's on his way. Who's uh, Who I think is on his way. He's the one who's going to be showing me around while you guys are gone. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. I've never met the guy. <laughs> and... I have no idea how this is going to work. I feel like he's going to leave me stranded in the middle of fucking Sydney, and I'm just going to be by myself for an hour while I wait for them to conduct their interview. He doesn't have a fucking... He doesn't have a phone. No. So, like, (laughs) we can't get in contact with... Oh! (laughs) He's got handlers, not a phone. That's pretty funny, though, because, like, I also don't have Twitter on my phone, so I can't really connect with anyone either out here because, like, you guys have fake phones, like... You have like Chinese phone. I have, I have a Zeus. Yeah. A Zeus. And I've got an Oppo. So yeah. <laughs> so they literally have like they they don't have like iMessenger, so I can't even like reach out to them. You... <laughs> so you want WeChat? I do not have any of that. No, we don't. How the fuck are we gonna connect with one another? Like, I, wait, you don't. I don't have, have Twitter on my you phone. You don't have internet on your phone. No, you, I do. WhatsApp. No. Wait, can you oh. make calls? Can we just give you our number? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But but if if you're with Jordan, his Friend's gonna be there too. Yeah, Connor. Yeah, so he'll yeah, like we can call him. Okay, good. Um, until he, yeah, I really didn't, I really didn't do my due diligence before this at all. I was just like, fuck it, YOLO. I, I literally just kind of showed up at their house. It's not even a joke. <laughs> yeah. I, I one day like seven a.m. as well. I one day DM them and I was like, I'm coming to your house, <laughs> and and Alice was like, we don't have space for you, and I was like, I didn't even account for that. <laughs> and then and then Alexa was like, oh don't no worries, like we sleep in the same bed and cuddle every night yeah, anyway. We just bunk up. So. The majority of the world uses WhatsApp. Yeah, I don't want to fucking get on it, dude. Do you guys not have Discord? I got we do have Discord. Yeah, I could just we could just yeah. connect the link up through Discord. So Will was right, you didn't plan them out. No, I mean I planned like like basic plane activities. Tickets. Yeah, plane tickets, basic activities like podcasts and shit like that. Normally, the thing is, a lot of people don't also stream for fucking five to six hours when they travel. Like I have enough to justify flying out here for seven days, but I also want to do more of it, which is why uh, everyone always thinks I'm, like, not planning. Are but... we going to go snorkeling after Chinatown? I think so, yeah. Oh, you want to do snorkeling today? Do you want to do it today? Reptile Park will kind of fuck it up. For what? Well, actually, we'll probably get to do it after for the reptile. I don't know. I'm trying to think where we can fit it in, because it's like, we can't do it at night. No, but we could go snorkeling today. We'll but... not bring our swim to the town. Or not. We don't... I mean, whatever you guys think is best. We could also we could also just go to Bondi today. Might be easier. I can't, I can't imagine streaming up there. In Bondi icebergs. Yeah, it's like do, a it, do it in the sun. Bondi icebergs would be easier to stream at than than. If we have to walk through that front gate and with the cameras and shit. Everyone's naked, like it's. Oh, there's like people they're, they're are straight not naked, but it's they're naked like, in the chain. I, I feel like it's, it's the kind of place that it'd be much yeah, easier to stream hard. at the beach than. Yeah, yeah, no, you are right. I thought you had to wait two to three days after flying to go snorkeling so you don't die. Oh, your ear pressure. No, That's you're not. You're real. not diving. If you if you're diving deep, also, yeah. Also, Hassan's barely gonna put his head under the water. It's not real snorkeling. <laughs> <laughs> don't be mean to Hassan. He's gonna. No, I'm. I'm. He's I'm, gonna I'm, gonna I'm touch. setting the expectations low so that when he does, we're all gonna be like. Whoa. There's a famous Turkish chef in Sydney with a bunch of restaurants. One is at Barangaroo, oh, the new slick harborside area called Anason. We're gonna be close to. You got Auburn. It's got a oh, oh, yeah. Gallip- yeah, Gallipoli Mosque. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, I would love to go. Yeah, I would love to go that. honor the veterans of both sides of World War One. You know what <laughs> I mean? I build that mosque. No, yours. Oh yeah, yeah, with pipes. Yeah. He used uh, uh, Sydney water pipes to make the minaret like fucking yeah. a mosque. <laughs> he was like, he was an engineer that would just kind of over-engineer everything, and he was like, no, we don't have to do it properly. We will use water pipes to make the fucking the minaret. The minarets. 
That's cri- Wait, let me find this. What, what does it look and it like? It looks funny. It just looks like water pipes with fake, fake little. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restore. Dude, moth? is it the glibly, glibly, glibly moth? Or is it the big glibly, Auburn? Glibly Auburn moth? I don't know. It's the big one in Auburn. Yeah, Auburn Gallipoli mosque. You like a live stream in a mosque? <laughs> I don't know. I'll take go, it up. Go images. Auburn yeah. Gallipoli mosque. So those those minarets are just made out of big water pipes. Oh, it's I mean, Ramadan now as well. True. No, dude, it's a no, month. It just started. The, we get, the Ramadan markets are a big thing at night. It's so well. crowded, though. It's and like, they kind of they like, kind of suck compared to I just the campus better when they're not. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the restaurants there are sick. Gotta love how New Zealand and Australia don't celebrate the end of the war. We celebrate the day we invaded another country. Wait, really? Well, Anzac Day. Yeah. Oh, Anzac, Anzac Day is it? When we lost the group. So I always thought right. that like the Anzac yeah. thing was they Australia were. Day? No. Oh, yeah. And that. Australia Day is when we oh, invaded yeah, actually, Australia. Yeah. That's the invasion we won. That's yeah. the one war we won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah they, they don't have it for, they, you don't have the emu day, do you? Like, no one actually no, talks about that. No L's, yeah, that no L's. Happen. No L's posted. Anzac is when we got obliterated. Yeah, the Turkish forces just fucking smoked the Anzac soldiers big time. <laughs> but I always thought that it was like more of a resentment that they carried towards like the British, British. Empire it for like. Be, it's no, it's not, no, I think it is right. It's, I think there's a little pissed, bit of that. They're pissed that the British sent them in to get flogged by the Turks. It feels like right? a lot of that's forgotten though in a lot of the celebrations. Like it's not. It's like such a perfect. A lot of it is event. they died for us though. Yeah, like, like these, these kids made a sacrifice. I, I know that Paul Keating, former Australian <laughs> Prime Minister, noted China apologist. <laughs> he, yeah. he he really didn't like uh, Gallipoli. He really wanted to celebrate the Kokoda Trail. He thought like. Celebrating like um, Gallipoli was like celebrating like British, you know, controlling Australia or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I I always thought because of I think the maybe when I visited Chanakkale Gallipoli, like I was shocked that there were so many like straight up uh, Australian and New Zealand tourists that like go there. Yeah, yeah. And the vibes I got from them were more like apologetic, but maybe those are like the woke guys, or maybe they were just like, uh, yeah, maybe just putting on a, putting on a fucking farce, a show. Yeah. I think, I think the more um, reactionary ones are the ones that are. Friendly Jordy's impersonating Hassan. Pretty meaningless phrase from every awful political Twitch streamer ever. ever. Leftist no, than the Democrats. <laughs> It's just transplanting that lazy South Park notion of both major parties are shit and shit like. That I that's not Vosh. That's definitely got to be me. I mean, he we looks like Vosh, but it does look like Vosh. But I say that I, I am the one who says that Vosh is like a dick rider for the Democratic Party. <laughs> he loves yeah. Jordy should like Vosh for that perspective. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird that he's, he's the American. It, it's weird that he like assigned my values to Vosh to shit on Vosh. I don't. <laughs> But I don't think he Jordan's a big fan of the Democratic Party. I think he's a fan of the Labour, Labour Party, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, which is very oh, different. Oh. Yeah, it is different, and I think that fandom is uh, could be waning. I don't. Well, I, I I thought the Labour Party was like your version of our Democratic yeah. Party. Yeah. It's still, yeah. it's yeah. still like, like very different. Well, no, I think our like Liberal Party is more. Yeah. more oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Liberal parties are like identical to the Democratic Party. Yeah. It's you know center right to like far right, depending on which country yeah. you're looking at, but like. Like the UK Labour Party, for example, is now almost entirely like the Democratic yeah, Party. Yeah, that's true. Like, so I feel like that is the that's the that is the future of all Labour parties everywhere with quickly. neoliberalism. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where they just like basically turn into uh, they turn into like a variant of the Democratic Party. And they all all the young Labour people and all the I guess people rising up they all fucking love like. They love the West Wing and all that. Fucking oh, stuff. it's really embarrassing. Oh like no, the West Wing, and they all like, um, you know, they love Obama and just you know oh. like biographies. It's really, really, uh, it's really sad because the Labor, it was the first Labor Party in, in the world. Yeah, the first it, yeah. elected socialists. Mm. Well, mm. and they would like they did a lot of good things that yeah. made Australia, you know, a lot better than it could have been, yeah. and. Um, it could, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll duke it out with friendly Georges. We'll have a friendly <laughs> duke out over... But, I mean, if he doesn't like the Democratic Party, then, you know, then there's not much to disagree on, I think. Um, what? Being Australia equals timeout, I guess? Why? What happened? Why'd you get timed out? 
It's probably for asking me uh, where I'm going to be so you can come and meet me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Problematic fave Obama. Gallipoli Moss. <laughs> I have, for the record, I personally do not understand what Friendly Jordy's is like worldview is at all. I do have a lot of respect for him for all the work that uh, he's done for the the Gamba stuff. You know, putting his life on the line for sure. Um, but beyond that, like, I have no, I don't know what his like domestic opinions are on Australian politics. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we're. I'm gonna. Live. I'm gonna be finding out live in front of a camera. But I am very excited. <laughs> I am very excited too. Have we, we are, boxing gloves as well? If you guys want to, no. Fight it out. How tall is he? Is he a big boy? Okay, good. Big ten. Big head though. Like yeah, head. yeah. He does have a big head. <laughs> <laughs> he exposed. Hassan's all... got a small head. <laughs> 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 <It's famous>. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up, man. It's fucked up. <laughs> you have the whole Ottoman Empire here: you have Serbian, Croatian, Turkey. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got my forces. I got my dev shooter with me. Okay, we're riding. We ride at dawn. Well, I guess he's a dev shooter too, right? I think I think he was only colonized by the Italians. They, the Turks yeah, never made it. He oh, was, he was from he's from like Split, which is like oh okay. Where my guys are from as well, but they're mm. different ethnicity. True, yes. true. Go to the Uyghur noodle place in Chinatown. It's, it's unique good. and fucking bangs. Also, Emperor good. Puffs. Yeah, we have to get Emperor Puff. It is a natural defense to the big head insults. Okay. <laughs> what time is it in Australia? It is currently uh, 11.56 a.m. I am... Labor's not a left party at all. They are the Dems now. Yeah, Got to visit yeah. Newtown for some leftist culture. <laughs> Much I always have <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Please watch Christian Walker's TikTok series. Okay. Friendly Jordy said cringe opinions a couple years ago, basically espousing, don't waste your vote on Greens, vote Labour instead, even though they d have ranked choice voting. But I mean, he is in the trenches now getting firebomb, covering Gamba, so he's fine. Only annoying internet people who post as practice of massive issues with him. Yeah, I just know him as like, back when I was the American hot guy that uh, likes Noam Chomsky, he was the Australian hot guy, like model guy that likes Noam Chomsky out here. So that's like the only thing I knew about him, but that was like 10 years ago. So I don't really know what has happened since then, with the exception of like his new stuff, his new coverage. He won't see any of this because he doesn't have a phone. No, so I can, no, I can, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah I can, like, I can hey, talk shit. Jordan. This is my favorite Australian. Asani, you need to bring up uh, with the friendly Jordies that the politician he, that he does a lot of hit pieces on said that people were being racist to him because he's Italian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. who? We got sued for being, uh, Jordan got sued. A Croatian man got sued for being racist towards Italian. an Italian man. His yeah, the thing His is, yeah. Yeah. okay. First of all, this fucking arm hasn't stopped moving. Yeah, what I kind of know. Chinese wizardry is Perpetual this? Perpetual motion, bro. There's no motor. Wait, there's no battery. Bro, what is this? Oh wait, no. Now you slow it down. Yeah, but if you do that, it stays the same. Bro, that bro. is weird. Luck. That's weird, man. That's like. How does that work? You just need to hook your house up to this. Yeah. Energy, Fucking, yeah. That's, I don't really understand. I don't That's really... how they're phasing out coal in China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cat with the arm. <laughs> what, is this sim what does this signify? What does this symbolize? What does that mean? What is the, what's the significance of the, of the cat? Someone in chat, no? You're asking us. I'm asking the, you guys. The, the you're you're kind of Chinese. Well, my parents were born in China. Yeah, there you go. This is actually their cat from China. That's how they made it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was rowing for them. He sat on it yeah. In a dinghy. I have no idea. Is it just it's good just, luck? Or... You're luck. saying good luck? Yeah. Do I rub its head? Or is that a big no-no? I don't know why I rubbed it so sexually. It's so dusty. It's so yeah. Dusty. I told you, it's from, it's from China. My good luck and good fortune. <laughs> Go to Kuji in Japan. Okay, well, you know. Yo, let's go there. Uh, the Maneki Neko Be Beckoning Cat is a common Japanese. Wait, what? It's not, it's not, it's not, even, it's not even Chinese. Even seen Chinese places. Oh no! Just... Oh my God! It Let's turns out, out it turns out it's not even in. It's not even Chinese, bro. It must be. Okay, we've, re we've replaced the cat. With... Okay. Yes. Yeah, finally. Oh, the no. chairman. Oh. Not move? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's he. He is not Japanese. We know that <laughs> for a fact. Okay. Um, I'm going to be taking them uh, with me to China in October. We're definitely doing it, by the way. It is set up in stores to invite people in. That's why the cat is waving. It's prosperity. Yeah. Come on in. 
There's a small Chinese on the inside. Okay. I love going to look at the Chinese. It's like yeah. some old school. Yeah. yeah. They have all there's of these. In there. There's all. There's a. They have it in all the Chinese restaurants, but yeah. it, it's uh, I guess of Japanese origin. It's probably stolen from the Chinese. Yeah. Why'd you skip slash cancel Japan? Have you moved on to greener pastures? I just didn't want to be away from home for 14 days straight. I thought it was like far too long to be away from freedom and prosperity and the free world. You know what I mean? I'm already in the global south right now and I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I already feel uncomfortable. I, it's sick, dude. It's beautiful with the exception of this one fucking thing that I don't want. I can't show you, but there is a massive spider web up there in one of the window panels and the spider is like captured a dragonfly i think yeah multiple it's like multiple dragonflies it is fucking terrifying you should see it in the morning in the yard every time you walk out you have to dismantle like 10 spider webs just to get down the back of the yard i don't like that yeah that's not i've heard a lot my cousin told me my turkish cousin told me that there are snakes that are hiding in the toilets no like there, you get water python, diamond pythons that will go in the toilets, but it's not like they regularly live there, and that's in like up north as well. So wait, so they so, are, but it's not like what the fuck? That is a thing. About, you know the yeah. one you, you found one the other day, right? Which one? The the really big one in your toilet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, okay, that okay, was yeah, a carpet yeah. python. I can so tell. I can tell he's yeah, fucking around. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. I don't like that. Um, there what the fuck? In the backyard, though, like I. Yeah, but rare, like red right. bellies and stuff. Yeah, are they poisonous or venomous? They wouldn't yeah, kill they you. They can kill a child, but not. Um, There's brown snakes though. Yeah, so they'd probably kill you. What are you saying? What the <laughs> fuck? Like. So no, there's it's, like it's so annoying. Australians always do like play it up. Like yeah, <laughs> it is annoying. Like we were telling David, like when David was over here and he was freaking out about walking around the yard. He's like, "You've told me you've caught funnel webs in your pool." I'm like. They only, the only reason they fall in the pool is because they come out at night. If you're walking around, you won't also ever they see hide. them. They're so they hide. They're what so scared. What, 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 like, what is he talking about? The funnel web spider. Funnel web spider. Like we should have just didn't tell most, you because he won't believe the us. The most dangerous like. spider. Oh, the most poisonous? Oh! Uh, what? Got, and they're only in small. Sydney. Sydney funnel web. I get them in my pool all the time. But you what never... are you saying like, right now? Nice and we're so prepared with anti-venom in Australia. It's what the... F so, like, it can bite, but at least, like, you have... You got a couple of minutes. You got a while. You got a while. We got an anti. Bro, why did the Google Google immediately was like, "Do you want a precise location like <laughs> next to your?" <laughs> Google's like, "Here, they're here. We'll tell you where the funnel web spiders are next to your house, <laughs> right now." This is fucking terrifying. But California is scary. Right? It's got like bears and like no cougars. bears. You got cougars. Yeah, like we don't have anything like that. No, but they're like they're fine. They don't like fuck with people ever. You know what I mean? They. Yeah. Do these guys? I don't believe that now. <laughs> did you, did you hear what happened in Queensland? There was a daycare centre and there was a snake in the yard um, and one of the workers wanted to protect the kids. So he went to like save the kids, picked up the snake and then he got bitten and died. Sad story. And Sad story. I don't know why I said it was like it was funny. And the kindergarten is liable because he got injured at work. Okay, yeah. here's what I don't understand. Are you guys so caught up on like snake issues that it's like a global thing? Australians like know about snake attacks yeah. in america even because like i don't know that i never heard about this <laughs> that's you know mark the lawyer in the pine gap video yeah, yeah. he's got a big polemic about snakes he's going he likes them? no he fucking hates them and he goes really? like he goes why the fuck do australians think snakes are good what the hell like we're sick this is some sick adoration yeah. of them we kill everything else and he, well that's why i feel about sharks them. like sharks. Everyone, all they keep is like save the sharks don't kill every I think shark. He thinks I agree. With, I agree with Donald Trump on, on sharks. Dude, he's, he's so shark. right about sharks. Will he, we get more fish? We'll get like... more fish to eat. Fish less. The scariest Aussie animals. <laughs> the real scariest Aussie animals. The top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour. If you no longer want to see him, though, all you need to do is subscribe, mate, for five dollars, for five Australian dollars, which is like half the fucking price of a real American dollar. All for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription. Are you cringing? Is it bad? Is it, no, he said it was yeah, good. I think it's like, it's pretty, it's not bad. I think it's just, you it goes in and out. it's like a slip in and out. Like sometimes it's good. Good. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> that, that was good. 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 You get, good. The, dip, you get good. the dip thong right. The oi. Oi. No. oi. It's kind of like Vietnamese. Yeah. 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 Right, here's the free minute ad break now. Did you say free? No. 
How do you say free? For free minute. <laughs> three. 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 Really three. 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 three minute ad break it's now. More Australian here. This is awesome. Yeah. What's the biggest thing that's different? It's like water. 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 I, I want to ask the boys on what do they think of the French Socialist Party? We have like Salt, Socialist Alliance, etc. Oh my oh. God. I mean, this is your wheelhouse. I, mean, I, I think I like what they I do. Fine. I just, the, the thing that I don't like is the way that the, the time you experience them is when you're at university. <laughs> it's and it's just annoying. It's, it's pretty thing. annoying <laughs> and like cult like. I um, think the best thing about them is that they're just, they're all splintered and fractured. It's yeah, just yeah. great. <laughs> There's like a million different ones. Yeah. Oh, that's just, classic. We've got like the Communist Party of Australia and the Australian Communist Party. And, it's like uh, the IRA. They're newspaper yeah. jockeys? Oh God, are they Trotsky is? Is yes. that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. So fine in the, Classic. You know, in Compared to uh, and then yeah. other politics. So. Yeah, it's all fine. All, and I like it. Buddies. They're exposing people. Sounds like that. Revcom? No, it's probably not as bad as Revcom. Unless they're like a cult. Are they like cultish? Well, they just listed two different things. You've got Socialist Alliance and Socialist Alternative. And Socialist yeah. Alliance is like the one that you can vote for. And Socialist Alternative is like the uni one, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, SALT is a cult that always takes control over protests and splinters protests. Oh, so they are like Revcom. Yeah. In America, we have Revolutionary Communists, Bob, Chairman Bob Avakian's party, and they're like insane. Well, the Palestine protest here did annoy me a bit when they were just like, they're there to sign people up to SALT. Yeah. Are they, were they the ones that were saying uh, the death of Jews? <laughs> 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 Which then oh, turned out every single person turned out turned out that they weren't even saying that uh, apparently, yeah. like that was insane. That was like one of the first like pro Palestine oh, rallies. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was all over, bro. First of all, if there's anywhere, if someone has associated free Palestine movement with like anti-Semitism, American media is on <laughs> it, dude. Okay, there could be like a four-person gathering. Where one guy said something that could be misconstrued as anti-Semitic, American media would be like, "That's see, <laughs> see, they all hate the Jews. They want to kill all the Jews. They want to genocide the Jews." Like, our media is so bad, bro. Our media is so bad that I, since October seven, have probably relied more on Israeli media to cover what the fuck is going on. And the Israeli media is obviously bad too, in many different respects. But like, I have relied more for regular uh, coverage and analysis on Israeli media than American media. But, Dog shit. But have you condemned Hamas? I oh <laughs> my god, so much, so much condemnation of Hamas. No, I I now have um, I now openly will be like, no, I'm I'm a lesser evil voter. That's why I vote Hamas every election. <laughs> stop, lesser stop evil. Israeli Trump. <laughs> no, because it's like because like think about it. Lesser evil. Hamas is the lesser evil when you compare it to like the Israeli Knesset, with with some exceptions. You know, shouts out to Doctor Ofer Kassif. And some of the other people, but like overall, the Israeli war cabinet has killed way more civilians uh, it, it, as, a, as a percentage overall uh, than Hamas has. Mm. Yeah. Lesser evil voting. That's, I'm a lesser evil voter. That's why I vote Democrat every election, and that's why I vote Hamas every election. Um, you're talking to Hamas, Piker brother. What do you think? Exactly. <laughs> um, there's a free Palestine rally at Hyde Park, Sydney, Sunday at 1 30 p.m. Uh, we you're will not. Oh, we actually have a perpetual. Uh... At, Al at Albo's office. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't say it, but oh, oh, no, 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 no. Albo's yeah. office. Oh, dude. Yeah. You guys. But they're all they've been up. there for like a month. You guys fucked up by having an Albanian people. run the country. Yeah. <laughs> an Albanian. <laughs> a secret Albanian. <laughs> That's what it means. It means that in yeah. Italian, doesn't it? Yeah, he's a secret <laughs> Albanian, isn't he? <laughs> Crypto Albanian. Oh. The serve jumped out. That's crazy. Yeah. Alexa got me a gift as well, which I can't show you <laughs> on screen, or I will burn it as soon as I reach America. Just it's a poster that says "Kill Albanians." No, <laughs> no it, it doesn't say it doesn't say "Kill Albanians," but it is literally like I, I likened it to like a like a Rhodesian <laughs> propaganda poster in on a T-shirt about Serbia <laughs> being protected only by the Serbs. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just we like to we like to give each other little treats like that, you know. Yeah. There's different versions yeah. of different versions of fascist merchandise. I brought them, uh, you know, American fascism a little bit. Not the Cox one. That one is normal. But <laughs> yeah, um, I want to ask. Oh yeah, they, we just talked about the socialist uh, fringe socialist parties. Oh, how, how does everyone... 
Look up the Australian Greens. They're the biggest left wing grassroots party in the country, which is solid. They're I just, they I just, I refuse. I refuse. I don't trust the Greens across the board. I, I thought that. Why, just because of their name? I have a universal distrust for the Green Party everywhere. They, <laughs> uh, maybe because of like what I know about the American Green Party or the like. One's pretty great. The, the European, oh yeah. Did you, did you hear about the one, the lady that had to resign? Or there were calls for her resignation because at the Berlin festival, there was a Palestinian guy and, uh, and, a, and a Jewish dude. And they, they came up together and they talked about like the ongoing ethnic cleansing campaign in Israel. And she clapped alongside everyone else. And then she had to come out and release a statement that she was only <laughs> clapping at the Jewish guy and not the Palestinian guy, and they still want her to resign. That's amazing. Which is awesome. She was like, no, 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 not the Palestinian one. They said the same thing, but I only clapped when the Jewish guy was speaking, which <laughs> I think is so awesome. Crazy. Yeah, here, this is, it's a real fucking story, which I think is hilarious. It, it sounds like the kind of caricature of, like, Stalinist. Yeah, well. yeah. Like, yeah. I, was, I was actually clapping in one direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the German Ministry of Culture puts out an official statement that the award ceremony at which no other land received the prize, Green Minister Claudia Roth was only clapping for the Jewish-Israeli member of the filmmaking team, not the Palestinian. They were saying, boo words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking love that. In his speech, the Jewish-Israeli journalist Yuval Abraham was, wait for it, complaining that he and his Palestinian colleague were... <laughs> are treated differently under Israeli rule. <laughs> so even then, you can't even clap for the Jewish guy in, in Germany. <laughs> like, honestly, if they're not fucking unconditionally dick-riding Israel. Um, I don't even care about Israel. They just love the pop. Yeah, they, yeah, that's my favorite thing when I hear, like, a German person unironically and uncritically, without a shred of irony, say, we know the genocide. Like, we are... And I'm like... <laughs> Are you owning? Like, what is happening here? <laughs> yeah. Like, you did it though. You can't yeah. say that. Like, they'll say that while simultaneously criticizing South Africans for having that position. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like, you know, you guys are on like the different sides of the genocide, <laughs> right? Like, it, it's ridiculous. I think they were pre the Germans were pretending to do genocide to get on the inside to take down all the other genocides. They were white hat genociders. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. like Jer like Donald Trump is a white hat pedophile. To, to stop genocide, you got to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just got to do it. And oops, sometimes it gets out of control, you know? Major lessons learned. Um, but yeah, start shitting on Germany, please. I came for this. I mean, I, I do all the time. It was really nice when we uploaded the Pine Gap video. There were so many Germans talking about Rammstein and all these other American Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. They're huge over there. Yeah, they are. They're also, you know, very important for, for NATO in general. When is this? Google Cassowary? Oh, you see one of those tomorrow. Oh, it's so cool. What is it? Castle. Cassowary. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're like prehistoric. The guy at the Reptile Park them. last time actually arced it up a little bit for us. Yeah, he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean arced it? Just, like got it aggressive. Got it like... That's, so this is the only bird that just killed people. Sebi, Sebi did that in West... Oh, yeah. In West Yo, yeah. this shit looks crazy. Wait, I, I, dude... The other prehistoric bird, I don't know if they have it in Australia, is the, the stone bill or whatever. The shoe bill. Oh, yeah, the shoe bill. Yeah. The one that fucking bird. sounds like AK-47. <laughs> that shit's... Have you seen how big they are? Dude, I ha they look like an animatronic. Yeah. So cassowaries are big as well. They're like six foot. They're so tall. Um, and they kill people. They got a spike on their foot and they'll stab people. With them. In, in the town in um, Papua what is that? New Guinea. Did I, did I get that? Did I order it? I didn't realize there were six in the thing. <laughs> You got meat pies? They're Australian, four and twenty. It's what tradies eat. You said you want to be a tradie. Yeah, we, we can LARP as a tradie a little bit. In the um, town in uh, Papua New Guinea, they have they have them to eat. Like they have them in these stick. Uh, oh, this really? fucking thing. I'll show, you, I'll show you in the video. <laughs> and the guy I was with was antagonizing it and like putting his hand near it, but it's just held in there by a few sticks. So Here, it's, uh, it's in it's in another one called uh, Paradise Bomb. Hold on. Uh, it's on it's on Jordan's channel. Oh, those are the oh yeah, I ordered a shit ton of waters too. You know you can drink the water. Here. It's on uh, Jordan's channel, Paradise Bomb. But they ate it since when I went back. Uh, oh, was that the one you were playing with? They ate. They ate it. Yeah, they've got a few more, but oh. they. <laughs> I guess that makes sense if you can raise a chicken yeah. that's ten times the size of a chicken. And then they but then they use the bones as well as knives. That's sick. Uh, where is it? I uh, just got. <laughs> I'm gonna subscribe to him. I was not. Um, there, that's it. Oh, that one. Home. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Paradise Bomb. 
Shit, glass. dude. One point. Like halfway through. He misses with a yeah, bit further, slightly further, slightly further. Probably at the, yeah, probably at the spike, yeah. So he grew up with eating cassowaries. Oh! Yeah, he grew up eating cassowaries. And it's just a few sticks. And he would just go in and oh, shove oh, his hand in it. Come, come back. Cassowary. Dangerous attack. <laughs> wow, you're fucking mansplaining. Yeah, yeah. You're white splaining you to the dude. You're white. You know they can kill you. Yeah. Bro, that shit looks angry. Oh my god, that looks so angry, bro. He, he made it angry. That's so beautiful. He, uh... <laughs> bro, it looks like it's got. I would not say it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at its eyes. It's pretty cool. Blue it's cool. Blue. It's cool looking, but it's like I, I, I don't know. It's got like a ball sack on his fucking face. How's Aussie Covey? This the cold brew that I have is not that good. I'll be honest. Okay, okay, okay. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back from the Okay. Come back. We got that. We got that. No, no, no. Come on, Zevi. Come on, Zevi. Come back. Oh yeah, he's the spokesman for the Gorilla Army. Oh, good one. Good. Good one. What do you feel like after that? <laughs> have you, his dad was a are there cassowary in Pass Valley? His dad was a uh, yeah. cannibal. Warrior. There are, so Every, you've seen many. Everywhere. For the Yali tribe. Does anyone have my uh, my link up, my hugging video from Alveas? I want to show these Aussie boys how I fucking roll, okay? Does anyone have that quickly ready to go? Because uh, I want to show I want to show the Australians like how I actually don't fear one of their natural predators. Yeah, that's right. Here it is, dude. Are you impressed? Snacky mate. Okay. No, not this oh, one. Which one is it? You guys say the magic word. Oh, that's a, that's a backwards and forwards word? one. I, dude, you fucking nailed it. It is a blue tongue lizard. Oh. But I think it is, yeah, blue tongue lizard, smoker. but that's not even what I was looking we got, for. We got the other one that has two heads. This like is a canned food for stinks that he eats sometimes. Oh, he's giving it a lick. Toast's favorite food is snails, um, but... Here it is. <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've ever pet a cow before. Oh, he just came out. Oh my f***ing god, stop. What's that? That's a tiny monkey. That's worse than anything in Australia. If that bites you. Yeah, he's getting fucking... Here it is, dude. Look at this, dude. Look what? at how just brave I am. I'm, I'm a little worried. <laughs> That's how oh. they get you, though. You think you're friends oh. and they take over. Did you give him your ring? I didn't. I was trying to go for the pet. There, go pet him on the back of his neck. Well, okay. Oh, he's... Yeah, good job. Oh, Aww. what's up? You chill like that? Oh, he, oh, the shiny stuff he likes. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You can have, you can have the shiny stuff. Oh, kind of gross. What? I mean, like the feeling of it. She's a cool. She's a cool animal. I'm just saying. I, I'm gonna show you how to give stone. Dude, how how terrifying is that for you as an Australian man on a scale of it's one fake. to ten? It's CG, obviously. Yeah, no this one's is brave enough to do that. This They're is like, like we hug emus in America. That's how little. Like, that's how little of a threat they present, that we have completely made them docile and we hug them as friends. You got two, a Gallipoli reminder and an email. I want to yeah. yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah. so came from a zoo in California. Terms, his mom did not sit on his egg, so he was incubated and raised by people at a zoo and then was transferred here. Oh my God, horsey. Oh my. Yeah, there's another, dude, I love this cow so much. This is Winnie. She's my best friend. Um, yeah, chinchillas. We're gonna basically do this uh, tomorrow, by the way. But like this time, they're gonna be like rocking. They're gonna be in the out outback, right? Is that uh, this is what you changed into for your interview? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's insane. You you had a way more presentable look before before you put on the tradie shorts that are cum stained into oblivion, dude. What the fuck, yo? Show the chat. What you're right, wearing. I, I need to cop me a pair of those, 100%. Yeah, we can go nearby. Do you and want you're wearing, as well, yeah, I, I need, before I leave Australia, I need to get tradie shorts, and I also need to get the Rebana short, a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. The thing is, that fuck. doesn't even exist. That's, that's, not real. that's, that's an Alexa out. special. Yeah. 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 I got that working for Rebana, so you're going to have to get a job. Maybe if we go to like a, <laughs> like, like uh, we could do like a, uh, I go to... I go to every thrift store in Australia before I find a Rebana shirt. <laughs> the stream doesn't end until I find a Rebana shirt. I feel like we'll Newtown, we might. Hey, I've never seen it anywhere. No, no. I want one so bad. Did you work at Rebana? 
I um I handed out my beaner in um in supermarkets as like a seventeen year old, and I get abused by so many people. And they're like, "You're poisoning our kids, you fucking it, sugar." It does taste like vomit. Yeah. yeah but you were a kid when you're doing it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> take this straight to the top. Yeah. <laughs> you need to do a Xiaomi TikTok of speaking in Australian. Oh, I, uh, yeah. You guys don't know about Shalma. Shalma, New York City. Right. Like he's always he actually has pretty solid uh, uh, Mandarin, pretty That's decent. So funny. This, oh, this person yeah. said, "What? Where is not an engineer? Do you know who that is? That's Rowan. That's Rowan's oh, YouTube channel. Oh, really? That's so funny. Because so our should, friend started a YouTube oh, channel, man. and it's so funny that like Wait. so many people are like, oh, every Australian YouTube knows uh, YouTuber knows each other. Dude, you way. know what he went saying? I went to school with him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to I have to mention something here. Yeah. My brother, who is an engineer, as you guys know, I don't know if you don't know that, but he actually literally told me he has a new favorite engineering channel, and it was not an engineer. It's Rowan! Uh, Wait, he, there is a video where Alexa is returning his lawnmower back to Rowan, and then Rowan just filmed that, and everyone was like, what the fuck is this? Every Australian YouTuber, he borrows his lot, he lends his lawnmower to Alexa. That's crazy that... Uh, I'm going to tell Rowan he, that. In case he randomly didn't brought it up. He randomly was like, yeah, my new favorite channel that I've been watching is not an engineer. I mean, he, it's very much an engineer's channel. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like he, he knows how to make stuff on, like, I didn't think... Well, that Rowan was the guy that <laughs> I was going to send photos True. of bombs. He only knows how to he only knows how to fucking bomb shit. <laughs> it's like the Ben Shapiro uh, tweet: Israelis <laughs> like to build, Arabs only like to live in sewage and bomb shit. Literally, dude, this guy. That's very very funny. I need a precision straight edge, so I made three. I made a steel rest because I suck at planning. This is, cl dude, this. Is so in my brother's wheelhouse. It's not even funny. <laughs> Sometimes I'll turn around and I'll hear like loud noises coming from his phone, and I just watch. I, I'm like, "What the fuck are you watching?" And he's watching like Instagram reels of just like heavy industrial machinery, That's like making do. widgets or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, "Why are you? You are so autistic. Like this makes no sense. <laughs> like how is this?" content that you're consuming it, it doesn't make any yeah, hydraulic presses and shit like that so no wonder he loves this oh, channel love the guy who does the hydraulic presses <laughs> have content. you seen that guy? wait what no chinese guy okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. He's, wrong. Uh, he's great lots of chatter saying the green zaws are pretty based and their policy page aligns really well with your politics okay i think the green no good. i think that yeah. they're good Okay, I trust them now. You know, the, the first time we came on your stream, the Green Party messaged me, and they were like, "Good luck on Hassan's stream. Yeah. We'll be watching you." <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn. I, I. Okay. I like the and reason. I feel bad. Pulled in some like really good people, like a bunch of just like genuine socialists. Yeah. Depends on which state you're in, but yeah. They're... Yeah. I feel attacked. Like CNC stuff. Uh, CNC stuff is cool. Okay. A lot of engineers watch stuff like that, though. To be honest, it's just have, it's just called being having autism. That's what it is. You're describing like a sensory experience that people that don't have autism don't understand. It's like our version of ASMR. Yeah. yeah. The Xiaomao uh, classic. Oh, here. This is the. I've seen this guy. Oh, yeah. oh. yo, Python. Well, you should do that here. Yeah. Speak in American accent. No, no, no. no, that's what they, they want me to do. You would be like, no, can I have some water? And they'll be like, water. <laughs> Whoa! But you have to have the soundboard ready. Yeah. Beer, 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 beer. That's what I mean. Like, that, that's what I got to do. Like, uh, fucking American orders in perfect Aussie <laughs> slang. Can I have a little bottle of water? Shocks everyone. Wait, what? A, a bottle of. Can I have a little bottle of water? Yeah. No, bo wait, what was bottle of? Bottle is just bottle store. Yeah, like, bottle of. Need to go to the bottle of, mate. Fucking hell. Uh, Show me where the nearest bottle is, please. Um, Jordy's going to be here in 10 minutes. Yeah. And we're okay. probably leaving in like uh, So you're going to be on your own. So maybe we'll just say hey. Wait, fuck. Oh no, he's he's late. He's late. He'll be, he'll be here in 10 minutes. Dude, I, you're I'm, on your scared. Own. <laughs> I'm scared of fucking linking up with him by myself, dude. He's going to kill me. The bikies are watching your stream. They'll know where both of you are. Oh no! I mean, that's to, fun. I do want to meet them. So. I literally told them like I want to do like one of those. You know how like uh, uh, the the Pooty, the YouTuber that we were watching the other day, like did a meeting up with the Yakuza uh, uh, video. I kind of want to do that with the bikies and like get a better feel and get a better understanding of like what their what their uh, situation looks like because I feel like as uh, as an American, like it just isn't very intimidating to be called bikies 
especially with an Australian accent, but I'm sure they are intimidating and very scary. But like, I don't know what it is about like criminal elements. The thing called like soprano isn't that scary either, right? Like it's the oh. highest. Yeah, yeah. But, but, <laughs> but the thing is, like, but but the, no one like the Italian mafia doesn't call themselves soprano. What are they called? The yeah, yeah. I guess not. That's a TV yeah. show. You, know, yeah. you need to meet. You need to meet Spaniard. Yeah. When oh, you're here. you should get Spaniard. Oh. Do you know who Spaniard is? He's kind of this uh, YouTuber who went he's to prison. He's gun lad. And he, now his kind of big thing is going to like the housing dodgiest commission areas, areas, dodgiest areas. He also just reviews food. Reviews yeah, food. He's, but he's in the dodgy like, areas? He's it's kind of everywhere. like... Is he in Sydney? Is he, yeah. is he like a, is he like a yeah. fucking sick he's prison actually, abolitionist? Or is he like... No, uh, is he doing like, Tyler Oliveira content no, he's where he's like... To prison. I went to the fucking worst parts of Australia. But he does it in it's, a better way. It's Tyler Oliveira, but he's had life experience. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. and like a lot of the people there know him and are kind of like... Mates. Not personally, but some of them are mates with him and it's kind of like... Yeah. Also, he's like really charming and funny. Yeah. yeah. He's but, massive. And he does so he's boxing and he could kill you. So he's not like Tyler Oliveira no, no, in he's, any he's way. He's a fucking sick guy, yeah. Mr. the guy, Spanian, yeah. The Hood, Melbourne's most notorious suburbs, and part, like fr- part one of three. The best storytellers. Yeah, he's, like, he's good. He's fun yeah. to watch. Inside Brisbane's roughest area. He, they he caused a riot in Brisbane. Did you see that? <laughs> Wait, what? Trying to what? Get photos. Oh, I love it, my like a city, baby. Okay, that guy is not like a gangster, bro. There's no fucking that's shot. That's the Australian standard for. Oh, I love it. Like this guy is this guy like a who? Oh, no, no, I know, but I'm saying like he he he's got the same fucking like Gucci bag that I have. Like what, what's yeah, going on? This, this is what our labs That's... look like here, and they're the guys that were like. city, baby. What's your like version of Naperville? Because like Chicago, South Side of Chicago is like notorious, right? You got Old Block. Like, there's a lot of gang activity there, but there's a lot of poverty there. And a lot of, like, white kids that live in the suburbs in Naperville claim that they're from Chicago oh, right. and fake it as though they're, like, um, they're saying Bankstown, Punchbowl. Yeah. It's like, like a really, do you have, like, a really rich area where a lot of, like, suburban kids... Oh, maybe oh, Redford, but, Redford, Redford, oh, Redford. But, Redford. But also, for some reason, if you go to Balmain, which is one of the like richest areas in Sydney, you yeah. see more people dressed like Adelaide's yeah, than yeah, anywhere, yeah. anywhere else. But Red, also, Redford nature, a little bit, but Red... Oh, Maroubra. Maroubra. Oh, yeah, like like art, art, students, art students love wearing TNs now. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. you can't tell. Yeah. So Mount Druid and all that, that's like still the rough areas, but still not like LA. Like, you're no. still safe but to walk around. Crime like. in Sydney is a lot... Because we've got the, like, the most inflated cocaine prices on earth and the most inflated yeah. housing prices on earth. It's very like white collar and like kind <laughs> so, of con- contained so, in a way. So you know? inflation has made it so profitable that it's, like most criminal elements are just like... Well yeah. So yeah. Rich. yeah. Oh, that's sick. Good for them. That's a way to solve the problem, it seems. Because we, li- we can't link up with him because he doesn't have any... I don't have any access to him or his... Can you put his phone, his homie's phone number in here so, like, I have it? Uh, do you want me to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Here you go. Just don't show it on camera. Uh-huh. How do I do it? Do you not have an iPhone too? Oh, thank no, God you have a fucking yeah, iPhone. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. The thing is, Bank- Bankstown and all those places are still... It's, right, right. it's like an ethnic community as well. Yeah. Like, you just got don't, don't show it. You're oh, showing oh, your... It's like as the suburbs yeah. get bigger, people oh, go to these areas. It's fine. <laughs> um... Our gang activity is kids with Gucci and Adidas attire, bored and faking gang lifestyle, hanging out in line wise and acting tough during drugs and wanting to stall fist fights. There's like like that, that, but then there is the actual criminal element, which is like, which is just cleaning drug money through property yeah, development yeah, and yeah. Like rorts with childcare, which is huge at the moment. Like it's, there's been more, I mean, it's big by Sydney standards. There's been more like gangland killings recently than there has been in a long time. Yeah. And that's because, uh, that's because coke's reached a very high level, but also because it's been like, yeah, people warring over turf and. and what is this? Don't link up with bikies or Spanian. It'll be a disaster. If you want to explore multiculturalism, you need to do it in Melbourne. It's a lot more chill there. In Sydney, you'll probably end up getting robbed. No. What are they gonna fucking rob me of? I don't have anything. Like all of this shit is fake, dude. It's not like fucking expensive. You know what I mean? It's like stainless steel. What are they gonna do? That doesn't like. Oh, so you don't no one gets rolled anymore. Yeah, it's like not, you're it's still. Wow. There's too much. Yeah. There's too much money to be made. It's like, not worth it. Yeah. 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 Bringing in. 
It's not as big as it's, it's <laughs> so much blue collar crime. They're, they're gonna rob me of my stream key so they can stream <laughs> on my Twitch <laughs> channel, I guess. Spaniard would love that. Yeah, just don't ask Spaniard's opinion on trans people. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. I'm Look sure. At him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he doesn't have the best of opinions on a lot of things that I I uh, will will disagree with him on. They aren't wrong. I know little Mick Kosenko, president of the QLD Rebels. The issue is they're racist and assholes. And it's problematic, to be honest. <laughs> Leftist <laughs> chat. Yeah, dude. Yeah, well, you know <laughs> these organized crime people haven't read their theory. That's you know? so what's, what's funny. <laughs> Laser beam at his camera equipment, Rob. I mean, they, uh, you know, it is what it is. If it happens, GG's, right? That's because laser beam's a little weak gaming streamer. <laughs> But like, it's not like the song variety. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have the variety Just, muscles yeah. that I have. You know what I mean? Um, why do they even call the gangs bikies? Anyway, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not disrespecting the bikies. Okay, if your fucking bikey friends are in the chat right now, I'm not like, this is not like a, I'm not like calling them out or anything. I am just fascinated by it in general. Uh, I like to, I like to, you know, find out more about like local. Uh, you know, I guess the, the local criminal element, it's not worth it to give them the platform. What? Spanian is a mad cooker and was spitting hella anti-vax shit during COVID law. Guys, I think we've already established that, like, yeah. I uh, probably won't agree with him on it much, I, but that's not the whole point. Um, bro, I IRL'd at, like, 3 a.m. everywhere. The only sketch shit was on the train, but they were all just drunk. No one wanted to jack my shit. Yeah, that's where the only place that's dodgy in Sydney is outside, like, a pub. Like when yeah. people are drunk. Really no, I've I've had yeah. lads like staunch me on a train. Yeah, but it's staunch, they, staunch like they arc kind of up, they like, arc up like up they want to yeah. fight you. These guys are doing graffiti, and I was like, I was like, oh, what are you guys writing? Because they're doing it in my carriage, and then the other lads from another carriage came in, and they were like, you fucking talking to my brother? You fucking talking to my brother? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. That's as bad as it gets. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's such a good one where you had the lads trying to take out. Oh, so annoying. I tried to be cool and I was like, boys, if you're stealing, don't be obvious about it. And then he kind of walked up, showed me a knife under his shirt. And he's like, what the fuck are you saying to me? I was like, so what did they shank people? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So, yes. uh, you almost got a shank in? No, I don't think they were going to shank me. I just tried to be cool. I was like, yeah. boys, I'm like you. Look at me. Yeah, it's all funny. I steal money from the till. I just do it. <laughs> yeah. I steal money from the door, mate. That's right. That's, that's how we're going to fix Australia, mate. We're going to fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. The, the fucking driver was talking to me about how... He tried to explain to me what a nanny state is. <laughs> I just remembered. It's like, Australia is uh, what is known as a nanny state. <laughs> Can't do anything. And I immediately hit him with the... Bro, I fucking... I'm American. We paid the same amount of taxes as you, and we get nothing in return. <laughs> and immediately he was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. No, he literally was like... You know, at least the government does take care of, like, disabled people and shit. Like, that was his... <laughs> he backed away from that position immediately. Our American hogs will be literally, like, disabled on welfare, on disability, and still shit on it. That's, that's like, the best part of, like, Australian culture. Just going, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, cool. Especially with, like, welfare and stuff. Like, yeah. a lot of people went from it. It's like a third of... That government spending as well. You, you know what's a fun Australian thing we should do with you? What? Is shoplifting from Woolies and Coles from self service. Okay, I don't want to fucking do that. Oh, Hold on, I gotta pee. All right. Jordan's here. Yeah. We gotta get going. So we, uh, we'll link up with you guys in Chinatown. Okay. Um, who should. You have our phone numbers. Bro, Alexis has been eating all of the stuff. He's eating chocolate milk. Shoplifting is your daily pastime. Yeah, that's the thing. You can do the classic. You uh, you get steak and then you, you know, scan it as carrots, and that works well. I'm putting the fucking chocolate milk. Have you had? Uh, chocolate milk. I definitely oh, had chocolate yeah. milk before. Oh, you guys are. Wait, I gotta pee. What's up, dude? Yo, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Just make sure the camera's on. It's live hey, right hey. now. So yeah. you won't see this after. Yeah, it's on, dude. It's live now. If you want to come in. Well, it's not like he, you say whatever you want. Skip. Fuck. I gotta get it. I changed my mind. Uh, uh, is it what? Just heaps of screw kids. Heaps of what? Screw kids. That's Hassan's nicotine that he's fucking with. Oh, damn. <laughs> he doesn't vape like a normal person. Alright, Alexa and I are getting out of here, Will.
See you guys. Oh, we got a bit. We got a bit. We got a bit. But just, I mean, we'll wait till the guy confirmed it comes in. Alex, bring your brother on stream. I don't know if he wants to be on stream. Oh. How does he keep up with chat every time I, know, I come every back? Every time it's I just... sit down and try to read it. Can, Can you rank, rank all the Sydney beaches? I, I think, it might be controversial, I think Maruba is not one for me. A little Kong Wong? A little... The, n the nude one? Oh, Kong cool. yeah, that's nice. Lady Bay is nice, another nude beach. I think Barubra. I really like Clavelli. Clavelli's nice for snorkeling. And just like, it's easy, in and out, no sand to fuck around with. Alex, use your scroll to stop the chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can do so that. We've got power. Cronulla's not that nice. I don't like Cronulla that much. Fuck, I can't yeah. even wear his mouth. Why is his sensitivity like this? Is he gaming? Damn, Freddy Geordies is so old compared to I used to watch his videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the haircut. Yeah, do you want to oh, turn yeah. it on? Yeah. Yeah. It's getting hot in yeah. here, bro. There's a lot of big boys in here. Yeah, Fucking. I know. <laughs> um, do you want to pull up on? Yeah. Say what's up? Uh, all right. We're going to go. Out to the okay. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna. We're gonna set this up before you guys leave. I so I. I, need to, I, need, I don't know. I have friends. Here, I'm gonna give okay. you. Will, Will. Have you I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, do it like hold this. on. I don't, dude. I'm yeah. such a fucking boomer with Discord no, too. But oh shit, here it is. Here it is. Ad friend, but I think I don't know what mine is. Is yours? Yeah. Oh wait, mine. It uh, says it right four. here, bro. <laughs> You're such a fucking <laughs> boomer. Five eyes to get stronger in Australia. It was very, very funny. What? Like, so, so what is that man's feed? Though? Don't worry about that. I forgot. What yeah, we're on stream. What are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, I added you. Um, give it to give it to uh, Alex too, and then or tell Alex to do it as well. Um, all right, so you guys are leaving right now, and then we are gonna go. Um, we are also going to go to where like the vicinity of where you guys are after we chill here for a little bit, and then we'll like just Uber. Is that fine? You want to come in? What do you want me to call do you? Want, do I sit down, bro? Yeah, just sit down, bro. Um, Sick. Friendly Jordy's is in the building, uh, everybody. This is like every Australian YouTuber knows each other. Make no mistake. They're all they're all friends with one another. They all know each other. There's like eight of them, and they all know each other. This is a, a video of yours that we were looking at. This is the first time we're uh, we're meeting up. For those of you who don't know, Friendly Jordy's is um, are you a former male model? Mm. Former <laughs> former former male model, uh, Chomsky enjoyer. Uh, and he does a lot of great work uh, investigating and exposing Australian war crimes. And also, uh, obviously, recently, uh, you uh, uncovered a lot of, of uh, you know, gambling-related things and the connection that it has to the Australian government and the criminal element, the buy keys uh, and, and whatnot. And um, I guess we're going to go in and venture into uh, different parts of Sydney. This is not going to be about like any of those things, but instead we're going to investigate together uh, whether or not <laughs> Australia has been overtaken by the Chinese. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. So that's what I've heard. What's happening? That's what I've heard. That's what what, it, why are you here, Hassan? Like, <laughs> what, 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 what inspired you? Was this the, was this the drive, was it? No. Uh, I, I flew <laughs> for 15 fucking hours. Yeah. Uh, to Australia just to hang out with the boys. Uh, just I, to hang out and, with the boys. And I also have like um, you know I have some podcasts that I'm doing out here. Yes, yes. But I, uh, <laughs> I I wanted to while I'm here, aside from the podcast and whatnot, I wanted to also uh, you know do some IRL streams and hmm. walk around town hmm, hmm. and potentially go tomorrow. Like we're gonna go to a petting zoo. Well, not a petting zoo, like a real zoo, but we're gonna get like a private. Can I uh, ask you about that? Yeah. What's with all the animal content recently? Not that I don't love it. I've been watching it heaps. I'm really into it. But what got you into animals all of a sudden? I've always loved animals. Okay. I've okay. always I've always been a fan. Yes. Um, but I, I don't know. It's just so it's so dope. It's so nice. It, is. it makes me feel happy. Yeah. And and sometimes you gotta like uh, pull out of the whole constant fucking uh, cycle of just uh, talking about humans and their politics and how yeah. shitty it is yeah totally. to to just go and pet some animals and learn a little bit about uh about that sort of thing did you lip that zin or are you free mounting it like a fucking demon oh do you want a zin look this i'm not a, gonna say no this is an american delicacy is it 
Yeah. I when thought I, this was like a Finnish thing or something. Was it? So originally, you're right. Yeah, it, okay. It's a snus is like the, I think like Swedish or yeah. Finnish. I don't know. Yeah. But this is, this is non-tobacco. It's not a tobacco product. It's just nicotine. Straight nicotine. Just hook it to my veins. I'll take I don't know. Do you, do you, do you. So what, you're like battling the smokes hard. Is oh yeah, no, I just brought all of this because uh, I I'm gonna Maybe be here for like seven days. Yes. Oh, here thank you go. You, it's a six milligram one. It might give you a little It'll buzz. Fuck me up, okay. All right. I don't know. You just you just uh, <laughs> you just lip it a little bit, like douse it with a little bit of spit, and then pack it up top. I, that's where I pack I, it. I kind of fucked it, but look, it's all we'll good. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's all good. Yeah. I from what I understand, the, there's like a massive tax on tobacco products out here. Oh yeah. Huge. They were. I got. How I got much stuff. Are they in the states? Like how much is it, if you want to get a pack of cigarettes? I have no idea. Down, no idea. I, okay. I genuinely don't. I, I quit smoking years ago. Yes. Okay. So I don't even fucking know. I'm sure He's chat will boy, tell. So you've like stayed off it. Yeah. Well, I stayed of off of it mostly because of nicotine gum, but now yes. I zin as well. But yeah. nicotine gum helped me a lot and and helped me quit. Good. Good. good so they're good. saying ten bucks, eight to nine bucks. Cali, eight to ten bucks. Seven bucks in Ohio. Obviously, state by state is different. How much Look, is if it? If I was in, in America, I would smoke. Like, how, it how much? Does help a lot that it costs like forty bucks. Forty bucks? Yes. Yeah. That's why. So I got stopped by Customs and Border Patrol, and they were like real adamant. They they played it off as like, oh, we really care about like the ecosystem, the delicate ecosystem. It's an <laughs> island, right? But then they snuck in the tobacco products into that conversation as well. Mm. And I thought like maybe there's something about like the in the indigenous tobacco products that they have here or something like the. Uh, versus, uh, I don't know, like the tobacco that they get from elsewhere that will like pollute the tobacco ecosystem. Nah, no, it's just money. Yeah, you're just scalping ciggies. That's what oh, they're, they're scared okay. about, you know? Okay, I didn't There's like a big that. illegal tobacco industry here because of how expensive it is. I don't even know if you guys have the word for it. Chop chop? You ever heard a of A chop that? shop? No, it's called chop chop. It's, I don't even know what it is. I know that it's tobacco, but I don't know how they get it. But it's like oh. crap tobacco that you cut up. It's almost like prison cigarettes. It's That's like crazy. That level. Yeah. No, we don't. I don't think we have an illegal tobacco industry because it's like too. Like, why it's would you cheap. bother? <laughs> yeah, it's cheap. I mean, it, there's still an illegal weed industry, specifically because of tax evasion. Oh. Even though weed is like now legal in many places in America, but they still do it like illegally to just like, you know, not get. Uh, and like where passed. you are in California, it's like harder for you to not be high at this point. Right? Yeah, I, I don't smoke any weed uh, either. Like I, I uh, quit smoking weed a while back as yes, well. Yes. But, you know, it is um, it is pretty easy. You just like walk up to any kind of store and you can just easily acquire whatever kind of weed product that you want. Mm. They've been like 20 gangland shootings in Melbourne because of black market ciggies and gang territory. What the fuck? I That's crazy. I don't know why it's that profitable a product, but there you go. Um, so, yeah. Um, do you... So, what do you think? Do you think China is invading Australia? Let's let's get right down to it. Let's discuss. Damn. And you is that... Break and, from the politics. And then the, and then the, and then the second question, the follow-up <laughs> is, do you think that's a good thing? The Chinese invasion. The Chinese invasion. That's do all you think I that see. That's even like the model anymore. Like, didn't we kind of just learn after like Iraq that it's like, this oh yeah, isn't no, flying any. Well, it's too expensive. From where I'm sitting, or from where I'm standing as an American, the way I understand it in our, and I'm being like obviously sarcastic, but uh, when China does anything that uh, that that like is even in the same territory as like what the Western powers have done historically, like IMF, World Bank loans and whatnot. And austerity measures that come afterwards, if China even offers loans without the same level of conditions that the American or the Western loans are as, as uh, like awful and as like over encompassing, then it's imperialism. When America does it, it's not imperialism. We're helping mm. economic prosperity. <laughs> it, when China does it, it's imperialism and it's very bad. Yeah. So um, it's kind of like uh, the, the white genocide rhetoric that you hear a lot in American politics where, uh, you know, it's it's the indigenous genocide, not real, totally fake. They were barbarians. They deserved it. But the real genocide is white genocide. Why? Because um, black and brown people are having uh, consensual sex with white women. 
and and what? vice versa. That is genocide. That's the real genocide. That's what they I'm, believe. I'm really behind on the American politics because I try and stay out of it because I'm just I'm, it, 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 it it seeps into Australia too much. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna be like slow on the speed. I had um, a guy drive me over here that was talking to me about how America can only be fixed by a second Trump uh, presidency. He was very adamant. He's like, you need a business person to run the country. Oh yeah, the business person argument. Yeah. Is that one still flying in America, or is it? Is, are we past that? Is it the we need a business oh, yeah. to fix things? I, I mean, they're it's not saying it as much because, like, right now Trump has a lot of issues with his businesses specifically. <laughs> um, he's in a lot of uh, he's under a lot of legal scrutiny. Yes, of course. Yeah. By the by the uh, Chicom backed, um, you know, uh, fucked up uh, Biden Banana Republic that's uh, investigating him, even though he's the least criminal president of all time. Um, but overall, I don't think that they talk about that as much anymore because he's kind of broke. <laughs> he can't pay. He has like a five hundred a million dollars that he has to pay. He doesn't have it. And in your opinion, do you think that he's going to be able to run? Or yeah. Or do you think it's? Oh yeah, he's no. going for it. Oh, he's definitely going for it. He's going for it out of self-preservation for sure. Yes. But the one thing that America does do really well, I do agree with this. Like this is, I'm not even being, I'm being sincere, uh, is that you can run from prison. You can't vote if you're a prisoner in many states, in almost all the states. You can't even vote if you get out of prison as a felon in many states. But you can run for president from prison. Isn't that incredible? No, I love that. And, but yeah, exactly. Don't you want to see it? Don't oh, you yeah. want to see yeah, a yeah, it's president content. behind bars? It's content. Like, isn't it? Because at this point, I feel like we're fucked anyway. So, you know, either You got way, to that point? Either way. Oh, we're definitely at that point. I mean, look at this. We got a fucking 88-year-old... Uh, who has like relatively solid domestic policy, but just dog shit foreign policy that is identical but to do Donald think, Trump. Do you think that it's possible for an American president to not have dog shit foreign policy? No, it's not. It's not, is it? Yeah, no, no, no. I, so I don't I've really see them as, well. as that position. Like, I kind of see them as like a mirror or something. It's like, I, what can I, you I've do said this before, like, like, if Bernie somehow magically became the president, like, yes. he would not have like changed course dramatically. Uh, you cannot you alter can't. the trajectory of the American empire. No. I mean, you can in some ways. I feel like uh, you can you can pick and choose here and there, but like, there's just not you get really... get some captain's calls. Yeah. What there's... drone strikes do you want to do? Which ones don't you want to do? That yeah. Kind of I, I feel like you just, you can't like really sway away from wherever our trajectory is, like which direction we're heading in. And it's it's a self-defeating trajectory for sure. Like, I think what that... What do you mean it, by that? I think that... Um, I have a suspicion that, like, post 9-11, War on Terror and the acceleration of American Empire was, like, the final chapter in, in uh, American Empire, like, in American history, yeah. I think we are, we are currently witnessing American hegemonic power diminish in the mm. global stage mm. and other countries taking advantage of that, understandably, because they have their own geopolitical interests. Um, with uh, Russia invading Ukraine, uh, you have uh, Azerbaijan, uh, you know, wiping out uh, uh, Nagorno-Karabakh mm -hmm. with Israeli weapons and with like um, Russian disinterest, I guess, in the past, like they were at least like holding that relatively stable. Um, you have Turkey in the Northern Syrian corridor. Um, it's just like everybody is either with American permission or without American supervision, doing whatever the fuck they want to do yes. regionally. You yes. even have with Israel, like Israel, in my opinion, is like greatly over leveraged and overextended uh, what would have been permissible with American political cover in the global stage by this recent incursion into Gaza. Mm. So I think that all is is basically. I think that. All of that is basically a consequence of like America setting the standard of like how you do, how you operate, and then not really having a lot of, uh, not really having enough um, soft power or even hard military power to like control uh, all of these other regional actors now. Yes, because we're all over the fucking place. Yeah, we're we, we're too spread out as a as an empire to be able to like genuinely control every minutia and all the conflicts and as an american citizen how do you feel about your power diminishing oh i don't care i don't give a shit don't give a shit at all no 
I, I personally, because like I have no loyalty. What, what do you think about the argument that America is the global cop? What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like we're the world police in the sense that like if you have a negative opinion of the police, which I, I think that uh, policing as an institution is a necessity, but like policing in America is completely fucked. Then yeah, I think that that fits that role for sure. Mm. It's brutal. But are you it's suppressive. The, the argument that other people will take that vacuum and they're going to be more oppressive than the Americans. Do you think I, that that's? I what do you don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Neither I can, do I. I, 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 I look at like what China has done so far, and there's always the what if they decide to turn the switch and act like America question. And it's a funny one because, like, it comes with the recognition that America is already doing that. <laughs> but it's, like, good that we're doing that. Um, and and it hasn't happened yet. Like, even with the loans, like, for years and years, we're like, one belt, one road is imperialism, is economic imperialism. Yeah. And, yeah, like... Back to the TPP. And, yeah. And, and it's, like, funny to say that because, like, then, you know, you have all of these, like, Western institutions, Western magazines, like, Foreign Policy Magazine, which is not fond of China by any means, right? Um... All of them have had to openly recognize and admit that like Chinese loans and Chinese loan forgiveness was like a better policy. And that if we want to compete with China when it comes to soft power, when it comes to like, uh, you know, uh, relitigating some of the relationships that we have in the global south, we have to offer competitive loans to China and not do business as usual. Mm. Um, mm, mm. So I think that that to me shows that uh, it, it, is a, it is a softer approach that they have and not as militant. Yes. But, but I don't know. I mean, I think that, like, it can definitely turn. Uh, I mean, certainly. I, and I don't know what that would look like. The other thing is I just don't think that the model that you guys have with sort of like a, a system that does have some sort of change, like it does matter significantly if the Republicans or the Democrats are in, probably not in terms of like foreign policy, but in terms of like setting your guys' economy and the trajectory of where the economy is going in the future. If the Republicans get in, from my like cursory knowledge of it, it seems like every time they go in, everything just goes fucking down. Yeah, so they, they, they have a policy of like very openly very openly having like taking the most ascetic approach to like federal agencies they have basically the republican the modern republican party now for the past couple of decades especially has decided that there is no use for the legislative body like the federal the federal legislative body is only good for cutting taxes and cutting social security which you know the, they can get democrats enough democrats on board to be able to like advance that agenda from time to time they have, right? Um, however, uh, beyond that, as far as like even civil liberties and whatnot, like even, even, the, the, um, even when they want to regress on civil liberties, which is like what they do so they can like captivate certain bases like the white evangelical Protestants and whatnot, um, like abortion, yes. they completely sidestepped the federal legislative body Congress is all only there to obstruct, mm. right? What they do instead is they court packed for like 35 to 40 years now mm. with the Federalist Society. Mm. 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 So all the way from lower courts, all the way up to the Supreme Court, they have their guys in. Yeah. And these are zealots. They're yeah. like ideologically aligned with the, with the Republican Party and they're very far right. And, and they're what like they groomed from, yeah, they, they pick from college. Yeah. Yes, yes, groomed yes, yes. from college. Like yeah. that's your job. That's your purpose. Yes. That's why you're in the position that you're in. So what they do now is they utilize the state legislatures because every single state has like its own little government. You have the state house of representatives and you have the state, um, you have the state Senate. I don't know how anything gets done in your country. It doesn't. It's amazing. It doesn't. It, it, it only, there's only one direction that policy heads in in America. You can either like utilize the federal agencies like Biden has done fairly well, like the NLRB or the EPA. Well, the EPA is not so great under Biden either. But no. well, in, in comparison, to the Republicans, I guess it, it at least exists. But uh, Biden's uh, environmental policies have not been great either, especially compared to like what he promised. Now, do you give him leeway for that? Because my thing that I'm always seeing with, happens with the Labor Party here in Australia, right? is you have the fucking liberals in for like a decade. They just run every bureaucracy into the ground. They put their, like with the courts, they put their guys in there. 
and then the government just keeps running even though you have a different party in power and it takes you'd have to have a decade to pull everybody out yeah. and, and reinstate it do you think that that's what's happened to the EPA um, in some respects sure but I think that like that corruption is baked into the institution from the jump because of capital interest like EPA for the most part has like genuine like really good people that want to do the right thing but it's still completely undermined by the massive amounts of people that work in the EPA that previously worked for the polluters mm. you know what I mean in, in many instances in many instances oh you want to take a photo oh sorry okay. <laughs> in many instances uh and just like, get up yeah. there buddy. Hey. in many instances what like the EPA has done is like allow these corporations to self-regulate for example like uh dark water is a really good uh movie about a real thing that happened with like dupont chemical uh where they were you know polluting water supplies like killing farmland killing animals destroying agricultural output and and they were the ones who were regulating the the chemicals because like it's proprietary and also and there's a lot of protection over that sort of thing in america uh, and also, like, they just didn't have access. They didn't have knowledge. Like, the EPA didn't know what the fuck this chemical even was. So for years and years, they were able to pollute the water supply until, like, everybody got fucking cancer and, like, animals started, you know, perishing. The, that there was any kind of investigation conducted into it. Yeah, and by then, and, the ecology is just yeah. fucked anyway. So I think, like, overall, all of these institutions have uh, the same setbacks. And it is... It, it, it's it's just what the government is supposed to do. Like it's what the government was designed for, is my belief at least. So you can move it in the right direction a little bit. You know, uh, one one step in the right direction, ten steps back, over and over again. But when you look at it with a larger, with a when you pull yourself out of it and look at it in like decades, and what that has done to American society, the eco the the, the economy. In every in every aspect of like American existence, it's just like we're barreling towards uh, this this uh, dystopia that we're kind of in in many respects. Feels like it. Yeah. So, Even though I've never been there, but from what I've witnessed. Yeah. No. It is. It, yeah. It is very dystopian. Like, it's it's really fucked up. But yeah, that's what the Republican Party does now. They 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 um. They utilize state legislatures to like push for like anti-trans bills, right? Like mm -hmm. there'll be like four trans girls competing in like high school athletics, and mm. they'll write this like insane, overreaching, psychopathic, like bloodthirsty bill that ends up harming almost every single cis uh, girl that is competing in like high school athletics because like they do stuff like in Ohio, like penis inspection day. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's a laughable concept, but like. They they write this kind of stuff, and then and then they challenge it in the courts, and all the way it goes up all the way to the fucking su Supreme Court, yeah. Um, and and it it goes uh, unchallenged and unquestioned, and there's really not anything you can do about it. Uh, if you are an institutionalist, if you are like trying to do it the right way by trying to like combat it the right way, but the Republicans don't give a fuck about institutions at all. They they're 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 openly antagonistic towards it. Um, and they will do anything that that suits their agenda. So, you know, I uh, I think that the Democratic Party should be way more aggressive if they actually did care about like combating Republican uh, policies. But but don't you think that when there is <coughs> a block, especially when you have two parties, uh, but it, it, look, even when you have minor parties, it comes it comes with its own problems. But yeah, you, you have, have build coalitions. A, 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 block that's just there to say i'm going to obstruct everything uh -huh. it's really hard to do anything when you are the party that's supposed to be building things after that because you've I got agree. somebody that's sitting there constantly just saying this is shit this sucks this is terrible and that's a very persuasive argument because you can always just sit there and say all right we're going to put in this little implementation no no that's way too far that's way too extreme so, yeah well, what the fuck do you want us to do i don't know i just i feel very sorry for public servants in general i feel like they have a very shit job and everything's always their fault. And, and you know, the public's always angry at them. I yeah, feel like this is... Like, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it, it, when one party decides to just be obstructionist, it, it, you are kind of creating this sort of political domestic terrorism, you know, where it's just like you have really 
created like a stagnation in the system at that point. For sure. Uh, my frustration with the Democratic Party early on, before I became like infinitely more uh, cynical of the Democratic Party's existence as anything but like basically playing the role of controlled opposition, was like I just could not comprehend it. Like my earlier analysis, like if you go back 10 years, uh, is always like, why won't the Democrats fight back? Like, why won't they do this? Why won't they do that? Like, um, there are so many instances where like it, there are only so many lapses in judgment from the Democratic administrations when they have like a supermajority under the, uh, you know, first Obama term and the mm. first like mm. um, up until the midterms, like where they could have made tremendous amounts of change that they just like completely uh, dropped the ball on. Mm. Uh, only then, only after like, you know, 10 years of this where I'm like, yeah, I don't think that they're doing it uh, on accident. I think that it's like more so by design. Yeah. One example I will use is this. Um, immigration has always been a right wing issue, right? Like immigrants are coming into the country. They're flooding the borders. It's an invasion, yada, yada, yada. We have a very like deliberately designed white nativist immigration policy so that we can you know consistently have a, a new cycle of migrants that we can use and abuse and and exploit further than like the american labor force that is documented right um it is a deliberately designed system so that there's a permanent underclass basically yes and everybody takes advantage of it yes. uh, regardless of political affiliation yeah and um, and Democrats are supposed to be the party that cares about immigrants and says like no 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 like you guys are the racist ones. Joe Biden specifically ran on first 100 days of immigration. We're implementing amnesty for for a, like an amnesty policy. We're gonna do all we're gonna do a lot of stuff like we're gonna you know take uh, DACA dreamers, the deferred action on arrival, childhood uh, arrivals, and we're gonna make them permanent citizens. These guys have already like incredibly rigorous checks that they have to abide by in order to even maintain their um, their their like temporary protected status basically mm. and the 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 Biden administration completely dropped the ball on that and now 4 years in are actually pushing for a right wing border bill currently like Biden repositioned his stance on immigration saw that there was a lot of like anger towards migrants because like they never counter messaged against it. The Republicans kept pushing that line over and over again. And now the Biden administration is personally pushing for a incredibly right wing uh, anti immigrant border bill that has $22 billion specifically allotted for security border security measures, giving more money to customs and border patrol. It was literally backed by the border patrol union. Uh, that has billions specifically carved out for building Trump's border wall, like for completing Trump's border wall, which is insane to think about because he ran against that four years prior. He was like, that's racist. That's racist. It's not a real solution. It's actually just like uh, bullshit, which is correct. That was the correct position. Back then, he was more popular than he is now on the issue of immigration. Mm. Um, the Republicans were still winning on the issue of immigration, but Biden was closer to the to mm. the uh, uh, to Donald Trump as as far as like popularity on border uh, on the border issue specifically than he is now. Now that fucking now that position is like flown out of control. Where Trump is infinitely more popular on the border. I believe that that is the absolute bad policy and bad politics like to to engage with. Why do I say this? Because all they do when, when the Democrats capitulate or cave to the right on issues like this, instead of like saying, this is our position, here's why it's wrong. All you've done now is concede that this is a national security problem, which immigration never is a national security problem. There's no empirical evidence to suggest that like undocumented migrants are responsible for a larger percentage of crime per capita than like documented US citizens or national born US citizens. It's actually the opposite, undocumented migrants due to uh, the threat of deportation are, are uh, less likely to commit crimes than natural born US citizens. There is evidence for the exact opposite. And yet they've caved on this issue on the right wing framing and now are themselves pushing a right wing border bill that the Republicans are saying, no, we're not gonna push, we're not gonna pass. Yes, yeah. So to me, that's like- 
Yeah, to me, that's like you're doing that because either you are the worst politician I've ever encountered in my entire fucking life, or you just don't give a shit and and you're you're making a you have bad political instincts, and you have now, as a consequence of your bad political instincts, have basically uh, moved the country further right on immigration. Right. Which is terrifying. Yes. Yes. That's true. However, how's Biden polling at the moment? Is he still doing bad? No, it's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, Biden is... Every week, a new poll comes out where Donald Trump is, like, increasing his margins. There are areas where Biden could fucking clobber, clobber Donald Trump on and has actually polled very well on. Areas such as abortion. Areas such as protecting democracy. Like, uh, the way that the American population looks at Trump is that he is volatile he is bad we still remember the four years of trump and 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 aren't too fond of it Mm -hmm. um and yet because i think because of his framing on the the border because of his like hyper focus specifically on the border and i think he's doing that because he wants to continue uh maintaining his like solid lead in the suburbs which is uh which used to be like Purple, I guess, somewhat Republican, somewhat Democrat, but now, now it's, it's like fully no, no suburbs are all Democrat now. Okay, okay. Like a lot of, like Biden has, uh, has has flipped the the table on demographics as far as like uh, older white populations. Like okay. he has captivated a lot of people that don't like Trump's aesthetics and think that Trump is like too volatile and like scary. And will undermine democracy because they, you know, believe that in that sort of thing. They think it's like real, um, and and yet while doing so, he has completely dropped the ball on. Uh, he's completely dropped the ball on young voters. Trump is winning on young voters, actually. Really? Yes. Which is insane. What, what is young voter? Eighteen to twenty-five. Um, I think under thirty-five. Under 18 35. to thirty-five, okay, which yeah. is crazy to think about. That's a big demo. Yeah, that's a that's a big demo. And, you know, they're not like a lot of them don't vote. Oh, hold on. Oh, I got to run the three minute ad break here at the top of the hour. Do it. Um, but but uh, overall, it is um, yeah, eighteen to thirty-five. Trump is winning over Biden on some of the polls. I I think it's like that's an that is an aberration. Like I, I feel like that has to be wrong. Like I can't comprehend how that happened. And he's losing he's losing the margin that he had on black voters and and uh, Latino voters, mm-hmm. which are again like the black voter base is a stronghold for the Democratic Party. Yes, yes. Always ninety percent plus. Yeah. And in in recent years, uh, Trump I think like last election it was like eight percent. Now some of the polls show him at 22%, which is un- My word. imaginable, unheard of. So, do you think that that's to Trump's credit? No, I think that's I, I don't I don't think it's like Trump's credit. I mean, I'm sure like he Because he is a phenomenon, right? Like Yeah. What what do you think that once Trump goes, the Republicans have nothing after that? I do agree. You think it is Okay, so it yeah. is just a thing of like it is him that's like driving all of this. Yeah, I think Trump has like caused a major rift in the Republican Party because he went he was too successful uh-huh. in many instances like from a Republican perspective. He was way too successful as far as like pushing super far right bills and communicating uh-huh. uh super far right bills and super far right ideology uh that that the Republicans at least like would uh dial back a little bit. He just openly would say, he'd be like, Mexicans are rapists. Mm-hmm. We have to do a border wall because they're going to come and rape you. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. And, and that, for a lot of people who have been voting for right-wing Republicans, was almost like liberating. Or they were like, oh yeah, that is right. We do think that. Mm. <laughs> Which is mm. terrifying. But he's also winning on Latino voters, though. Yeah, because, because so here, this is a fascinating phenomenon. I don't know what the Australian equivalent would be, but... Um, 60 plus percent, 62 percent of Latino voters in America identify as white, according oh, to the census. Oh, okay. Right. So Latinos have now been like captured in the in the white umbrella, um, in in many respects. So there's a lot of like, you even hear like anti-immigrant sentiment. Depending on which area you're looking at, you don't have that in like younger Latino uh, voter bases in like places like Arizona, uh, in places like Nevada, but you do see that with like. 
third generation, fourth generation Latino voters like in Texas, for example, or you see that with like specific Latino voters, like the Cuban voter population, the voter bloc, it's always been very reactionary. The only time it flipped in the democratic direction was Barack Obama. Why? Because young Cubans were voting for Barack Obama. Yes. So it's a, it's really, it's really interesting to see. And I think that the Texas GOP has always done like a really solid job. I hate to admit this of, of, targeting what Latino voters care about because they have to win Latino voters in Texas if you want to maintain Texas as like uh -huh. solidly red. Uh -huh. And um, the thing is, as far as like all of the studies I've looked at, Pew Center research, like when they poll Latino voters in Texas and across the board, with the exception of like uh, Florida, where you have a lot of like hotbeds of, of right wing reactionary politics amongst the Latino population, the thing that Latino voters care about across all demographics is they are interested in more government spending, big government, which is like right wing framing, big government, right? That's like mm -hmm. supposed to be a scary framing. Even on even on incredibly slanted questioning, Latino voters still consistently outperform or, or uh, vote and say that they favor uh, more government spending. So they care about social safety nets, but they also in many instances, especially older Latino voters, care about uh, socially conservative policies, anti-abortion, or uh, you know the the trans panic, things like that, uh, actually play decently well with Latino voters. So if the Democratic Party is not going to push for more social spending, which they don't, right? They're always in a defensive posture, as you uh, uh, mentioned, um, and the other side is at least like hitting them on wedge issues that they care about then they make this calculation of of voting with the guy that is going to give them at least something you know what i mean mm. whereas the other guy is only saying the other guy is racist vote for us instead and yeah they are racist but for many uh especially considering that like uh, a, a lot of uh, older latino voters or even like latino voters of uh, of of different like multiple generations in uh because they view themselves as white under the white umbrella they make that choice in the same way that like a lot of white voters do uh -huh, uh -huh. for social conservatism. Okay. So they are moving, you think, permanently to the Republicans. It's not that they're attracted know, to Trump. I don't know if they're moving permanently to the Republicans because like Trump is, is uniquely captivating, right? So um, I think that Trump in many respects is very similar to Obama, in the opposite direction. Barack Obama was a once in a lifetime candidate, uniquely charismatic, right? Mm -hmm. um, and Trump is, Trump in the same way is like a singular force uh, compared to Barack Obama. You're not gonna have like someone as charismatic as Barack Obama. Mm. You're just not, it's mm. not gonna happen. Mm. Uh, and I think in the same way, like uh, that's why I always jokingly say like Trump is the white man's Barack Obama mm -hmm. where Trump is uniquely captivating to anyone who has like even a, a little bit of like reactionary opinions. Well, to anyone, right? Yeah. Like, surely you're captivated by him. I mean, I'm captivated. You can't by him. not watch like if he's doing oh, a, a oh. rally or something like that. You're watching the whole thing. Yeah, I, I I always say that like Trump is the best when he's uh, outside of power. Like when he has no power, when he has no <laughs> not even the bully pulpit. Like like put him in a fucking twenty four seven like TV circumstance, <laughs> and it's a win win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Put him in prison. Put him on TV all day yes. every day. He's yes. happy. Give him a gold toilet or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and then let him fucking tweet. Let him, you know, let him do his shit from prison. That's why you need awesome. a prime minister and a president. I'm always thinking that if he had an honorary <laughs> position where he didn't really have any power, but he still had a title, that's Could a win-win. Win. You work. know, like a king of America. <laughs> <laughs> he would he would be great at that. But um, but when he's in power and he actually acts out on the right wing agenda that he has, then it becomes really damaging to. Not just like discourse, but now all of a sudden you're like actually hurting people and that sucks. Yes, but this is the thing. He has his views because that's what gets him into office. Right? Yeah. Like if it was a completely yeah, different agenda, it would be com he, he would be pushing that agenda. Yeah, he is, he is only motivated by self-interest. Yes. And as like a rich guy, obviously part of that self-interest completely aligns with, uh, with, with Republican values perfectly. And I'm like, I don't think he's like an anti-racist by any means. You know what I mean? Like, I think he also personally doesn't give a shit enough to be like, yeah, I don't give a fuck if like people are being put in concentration camps at the border. So 
it works very well in his favor that like a lot of Americans uh, are are hungry for someone who is like a proto fascist, not like straight up ideologically aligned with fascism. Like I don't think he's like reading culture of critique and 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 is like legitimately invested in in turning America into like this white utopia. But I do think that he doesn't give a shit enough. And if it if it wins him votes, like he'll say it. Like he'll say those things. Have you ever heard of Tim Nichols? Tim Nichols? Sounds familiar. Yeah, I don't even know if that's his name. I just remember reading this book and I I'm gonna grab a water. Do you want something to drink? Can I get a water? Yeah. No, no. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Thank you for offering, sir. I do very much appreciate that. Here you go. Damn. I, I you don't fuck did. around, do you? I, I, yeah, I came <laughs> in here. Little teacups here. Like a fucking wrecking ball. I already ordered like a shit ton of diet. <laughs> All right, I'm good. I need my sodas and I need my waters to to punch it. Fucking hot in here. Yeah, we all have them, don't we? Yeah. We've all got our vices. Mine's tea, and I'm not allowed to have it at the moment. You're not allowed to have. No, uh, because we're getting frozen babies that we're putting in little Han Solo. Cryogenic freezing for when we're ready to have kids. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're freezing your sperm? I'm freezing my sperm. Oh, nice. And so apparently it's not allowed to be caffeinated. Frankly, I think it'd give it more energy. Oh my god, my sperm is so fucking dead. It fucks it apparently. It fucks it. What? Well, I mean, it fucks everything, doesn't it? Yeah. But I'm in the same boat. I think it's just. Did this start happening in your 30s where you're just like, I just fucking need it to function? Yeah. I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm 32. Yeah, yeah, you get to that stage. Hey, man. That's good. All right, where were we? Oh, yeah, so, anyway. The, the general throwaway from his argument, and I'd be very interested to hear your opinion on this, which is that, all right, all throughout human history, whether people knew it or not, it's really, I, I really don't like using these phrases because they're messy, but let's just go with this general phrase, right? Like, it, it's always just been, like, a Marxist struggle. From like organized society until very recently, maybe uh -huh. post World War. II. I mean, uh, class is struggle. Class is struggle. Let's go with that. Class is struggle up until then. Then, standard of living in the developed world got to a point where you can be pretty fucking poor. I don't know what it's like in America, but in Australia, yeah, you can be poor. You can be a crack addict. You can be in serious shit. You'll probably still have a standard of living that would probably exceed the mightiest of Roman emperors, you know, generally uh -huh. speaking. Now, because of that, because most people's basic needs are met to the point that you'll probably have clean water. You're probably not going to starve. You've probably got access to electricity. You've probably got yeah. access to the internet, even if you're extremely poor. As a result of that, society and the institutions that kept society going, which, you know, for its part, you, you probably greatly disagree with this, but, you know, churches, unions these kinds of things, they're all eroding. And these are the things that sort of kept society functioning, gave citizens a purpose and a direction to move things forward. You mean social cohesion? Like instilling social cohesion through public institutions and, and even, is that what you mean? Well, not even social cohesion. I'm just talking about the basics of being a citizen, that you're contributing in some way towards advancing the state. Mm -hmm. Now it kind of seems like people think, well, I don't need that shit, and they move away from it. Yes, I understand that there is big business interests that are pushing unions to dis dissipate and whatnot. But still, there was those business interests, say, in 1850 and in 1750. Those still existed. They probably weren't as organised as they are now. Generally, though... I think it's also the mode of production changing uh, with the internet, with, like, automation. We don't have, like, the assembly line structure that yes. made it so perfect for union organising. One of the methods that yes. Amazon employs here, for example, is turnover, where they will literally pay you to leave the, like, in, in areas that are closest to, like, old school industrial revolution style, uh, like, um, like a labor structure, when you're, like, working side by side with other people and recognizing that you have, like, similar interests and wanting to organize, mm. like, in a distribution facility, Amazon mm. is, like, basically formulaic. They figured out that, like, two years is, like, the perfect cutoff so they'll literally pay you to leave the company if you're in a distribution facility and this actually has created a very unique problem for Amazon where they are running out of people because they have to be everywhere because they're doing delivery 
you can't, you have to have a distribution facility everywhere, right? If you want to be able to deliver products in an expedient manner, they have churned so much in every single state that they are now running out of people that haven't worked at Amazon, which is a fascinating Incredible. development. Yeah. Because I mean, it's, it's self-destructive inherently. Like it, it's a, it's a classic capitalist problem that they are so good at uh, destroying any kind of like uh, any semblance of, of social cohesion from a class perspective, any kind of like a assembly line worker coming together and being like, we need to organize. And it's, it's helped them in the short term, right? Yield tremendous profit, uh, eviscerate any kind of labor protection that could have existed. But now it's getting to a point where they're just running out of people. They, they just don't wow. have any, they don't have enough people. I had no idea that was so dominant. Yeah, that's, it's, it's literally, I mean, it, it's, uh, it is like the profit rate and its tendency to decline in, in, in an identical way where it's always this self-defeating phenomena that exists under capitalism. And if you're super dominant, no matter what you are going to inevitably run into that problem. And now they're running into that problem. Mm. But say something like, uh, Walmart, for instance, you would still have that cohesion of a bunch of workers working together and yeah. realizing that they're getting fucked over in terms of pay and, yeah. and like overtime and all that kind of stuff. That's like. where regulation comes in. That's or, where regulation rather, comes in, but it's also a thing of back in the day, they would join unions. Mm -hmm. They're not joining unions anymore. There's two different things here too, especially when it comes to convenience store workers. They have a concept called company unions. So there are like unions, like for example, Croger's uh, is trying to merge right now with uh, the other big uh, grocery store chain. They're saying that they cannot compete against Amazon because Amazon has grocery delivery as well. They bought Walmart, they bought, uh, they bought Walmart and Sprouts and they're super dominant in grocery now. Amazon Fresh, Amazon Whole Foods, Amazon uh, uh, has Sprouts. Albertsons and Kroger, not Kroger, I say it wrong all the time, are trying to merge. And uh, Biden's FTC is actually holding that back, saying that, and they're suing them in multiple states, saying that this is anti-competition. Uh, Their argument is we can't compete against Amazon, so we have to, we are pro-union, because there are union shops. So you're eviscerating like the 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 last like grocery union backed like chains right but in reality they want to merge so they fucking gut the union even though they have a union but that union is dog shit why because in many instances they're like uh they are a pro company union mm. that makes decisions at the behest of the company and not necessarily for uh workers mm. so we have like we have so many uh different variants at this point that like uh, even the structure of a union has been completely bastardized, completely captured by capital interests. There are others, like the UAW, uh, the United Auto Workers, they're doing a great job, led by uh, Sean Fain. Um, Teamsters are doing a decent job as well, even though I don't have the same uh, attitude towards Sean O'Brien. And um, regardless, like when we talk about even unions, even they don't represent what it's what like you you would understand unions are supposed to represent in in practice really so they're kind of like unions in say korea or japan or something it's, it's, well, it's like a you know hyundai presents union yeah 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 so but but the funny thing is like even korean unions like have more of a history of militancy uh -huh. um all things considered in comparison to like what uh, these other like unions have played a a, a role of like sedating uh and, and completely sidestepping any kind of like labor militancy whatsoever in, in the specific unions that I'm mentioning. Um, and not others, but still. So not all unions are even equal is what I'm trying to say. Mm. So they even have that. Yes. Uh, I guess that kind of does answer the question. His argument is that when all of these things erode, you have someone like Donald Trump that comes along and generally, he, 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 it, was, it was a really interesting point. He was saying, can you imagine if Donald Trump ran in the 50s? The average Republican, Republican 
would be horrified by it. They just yeah. Who is this man? He's he's his a mental vibe, patient. His, you know, his it's, vibes would be. I mean, there's like this is why it makes sense like, that like that how the you were saying that older voters are moving towards Biden because they kind of remember when there was a. Like it's a public servant of, there. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's, it's, he's he's not a public servant. You like, know, he's, he's a celebrity. That's what he. That's what that's what Biden represented. One hundred percent. He was like, we're gonna get back to business as usual politics. Yes. And obviously, for someone like myself, who has been, but don't you think trying that, to move yeah. the Democratic Party in the direction of like actual progressive legislation, even before Trump, even before Biden, who was very critical of Barack Obama for his failures, in my opinion, like I was already dissatisfied. Right, so Biden's coming uh, back into office, who I voted for, uh, was not a signal for America moving in the right direction. It was basically slowing the car down a little bit as we are like barreling towards the cliff of fascism, and that's I feel like the role that the Democratic Party plays nowadays, which is we won't accelerate on the gas. We're heading towards the cliff. We'll just slow it down a little bit. So you think that this is, we're really witnessing like the end of American democracy? You, th- this is your view. I think that I mean, in, I have two competing opinions on this because, like, on the one hand, I'm I'm very much a I'm very much a a, a, a nothing ever happens kind of guy. You know what I mean? No. Um, <laughs> there's this there's this principle that like like nothing nothing like genuinely world changing ever actually occurs. And it only happens over the course of, like, American Empire. But I do think that, like, things are going to get increasingly more violent for the third world. Increasingly more violent for, uh, you know, those in the global south uh, uh, as, we, as we flail around and, like, you know, in our last gasp of air mm. before full tilt uh, fascism and then inevitable collapse. As in America or globally? I don't know what that looks like. But America, for sure. It's a very scary thought, isn't it? Yeah. Because regardless of whether you agree or disagree with it, that, that idea of it being the light on the hill, this sort of, this is the standard, this is what the rest of the world is sort of aiming for. If that goes out... Yeah. What I, I just don't know, because like, in the past, at least there was, like, for all of its failures and for all of its uh, controversies, for all of its violence... There was at least like a counterbalance in the, during the Cold War. Post World War II, you had the USSR, right? Uh, and there were many issues within the USSR, of course, a ton. Um, but at least there was like a counterweight to capitalism, mm-hmm. and capitalism won. Mm-hmm. Like it just completely dominated, mm-hmm. right? America completely dominated, and and now we're living in that post USSR collapse world where there is no counter ba- uh, counterbalance, counterweight. And I'm not entirely certain that China fills that void. I don't think that like everything that I've seen from China, uh, it, it they are infinitely more self-interested than they are like ideologically communist. If that makes sense, mm. like I don't think that they are. Uh, I I think that they are out for the interests of China and China alone, and they have a different approach to dominance, right? But I don't think that that like they are they have any kind of like interest in arming or or defending uh, like socialist institutions in order to uh, dominate in a similar in a similar fashion to like America was interested in like aligning with fascists right as as long as like that meant the destruction of any kind of like democratically uh democratically aligned socialist movement Mm -hmm. so there is no i don't know if there's like a real counterbalance in the way that it existed in in prior uh multipolar uh formations no yeah but it seems like the history of the world is always eventually the state that has i'm guessing kind of like the most efficient bureaucracy that kind of just acts as this uh cohesive machine that moves things forward that's the one that's going to win out eventually that is china at the moment right oh yeah for like sure. it's, it's just so it's much better question. at getting things oh, done than america is it's not even a fucking like anyone that disagrees with this is hopped up on so much copium it blows my mind like i've never understood the argument either no yeah. no it's it's pure because it's not a rational 
approach. It is completely irrational. You're looking at it and you're going, I'm scared. They're different. <laughs> I'm scared. Look at what they will do. Look at what they uh, could do potentially. It is, it's kind of like this. Um, there's always been a very real fear in America, in the antebellum South, that once we liberate, if you allow the slaves to be liberated, then they will do to us and much worse than what we have done to them. Mm -hmm. Now that never pans out in history. Like, obviously there's exceptions to it. Like if you look at the Haitian revolution, for example, but ultimately, ultimately the, the fears, depending on the actions taken by uh, the state in facilitating the reconstruction, for example, the fears are greatly overblown in many instances, but it's kind of similar to that where I think uh, the fear from the Western world, especially from America and Americans, is that if China comes into power, they're going to do to us what <laughs> we we've done to, to them, them. <laughs> and much worse. And I think that that is an overblown fear for sure. Um, but it's entirely dependent on what America does in that time frame. You know? As in like a dog backed into the corner if they're going to bite or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that scares me more than anything is the uh, ramping up of nuclear proliferation. And you can really see that in Australia. That's really freaking yeah. me out. The, the fucking, the AUKUS, uh, the, the, the nuclear submarines. So scary. Yeah. Because what is the point of them other than to act as this like constant threat on China's border? You know? Yeah, and, and just and realigning also... all of these bases along China. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. But... No, 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 go ahead. You're right. Well, it's just like, it seems that's what they're gearing for. They're gearing for a rumble. Yeah. And that's fucking terrifying in this day and age. Yeah. You know, like... No, for sure. That ends in nuclear war. That ends in nuclear war. So I don't know, like, maybe cool heads will prevail. It doesn't seem like anybody is that mad capped enough to think, no, no, we can win this. I don't know. Is, it, is, is that like a pre prevalent thought in America? No, that's the but It's thing. sort of just like it's just moving that way. So any... It, it's again reactionary thinking in the sense that like they're both simultaneously not strong enough to put up against us but they're so strong and so powerful and so scary that we have to build nuclear bases like everywhere and uh, we have to have like missiles directly pointed at China it's Cold War politics in, in many respects um, yes but this time America is not on the up no exactly yeah. you're right and it's really interesting because like when Xi Jinping did the summit in San Francisco one of the issues that he brought forward was nuclear proliferation of China. He's the one who personally brought it up because, like, uh, according to, you know, what uh, China is communicating, their nuclear proliferation is simply a defensive posture against the militarization of Japan and many other uh, countries in the, uh, in the South China Sea and, like, surrounding mm -hmm. uh, China mm -hmm. in, like, a NATO-style uh, in like a NATO style formation basically mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's we have one note in America that's that's all we know how to do is like secure allegiances and alliances with every surrounding region surround the fucking foreign adversary and and hope that it doesn't go to shit because like America is dominant and what are you going to do go up against America you can't you'll get fucking owned um, but now that you're now that you're actually going up against a country that is like uh an economic engine that is incredibly important for the rest of the planet for us to get our treats at a low price that we need so we feel sedated America and shut included. the fuck up yeah, yeah exactly mm. uh, all of a sudden uh, I think the calculation changes dramatically we did not have the same trade uh, alliance or trade relationship with the USSR as we do with China No. so it's a, no. It's, a, it's a very different dynamic it's no way integrated. Do you think yeah. when it comes to administration in the United States generally, and I'm not, I'm not even talking about the parties at the moment, I'm kind of just talking about the government as an entity, do you think that their attitude is we are not managing decline at this point, uh, we're on the low but we'll get back up again, or do you think that they're sitting there and uh, thinking like, no, we've got to fucking do something about China to maintain America's dominance? You know what I'm saying? Like, so instead of instead of just thinking w what is just naturally happening, which is America is no longer becoming a global power, it's more just becoming a regional power, similar to what China would be in Asia, like 50 years from now. 
Do you think that they think like that? That like, no, no. we're just going to be... A re- they still think, no, no, we're number one. We're going to be the global dominant power. And that's their line of thinking. Because if that is their line of thinking, that's like... It's cooked. It's very scary. I think it's a third thing, which is even dumber. I think it's short-term profit-seeking. I think that every singular problem that you can point to in American existence, from fucking Boeing planes, like, you know, having their tires flown off, <laughs> uh, all the way down to, like... Uh, the, the infrastructure uh, withering away because it's still resting on the laurels of the New Deal. Every single aspect of American existence is always about short-term profit-seeking. So I think like right now, Americans or and American politicians are not operating on like, and this is another benefit for the Chinese government, by the way, a major benefit for the Chinese government because they have the allowance Their for like... Their 100-year plans. Think, yeah, to think yes. 100 years in the future. Yeah. No American politician, I think, thinks that there is like uh, anything but a short law. Been twenty twenty four. Like, yeah, they're <laughs> like they're thinking, how do we max out for our corporations in the short term for our corporate benefactors, and like along the way, there's like pet issues or things that like people sometimes care about. Like, what do we do about gun control? Oh, well, our hands are tied, but maybe we can put like some kind of comprehensive gun legislation uh, on the agenda and like maybe people will shut the fuck up not really solving the issue at all because like that requires what Americans would probably consider authoritarian measures right like uh, things that because when the government is actually taking action there's always going to be people that say well I don't like that you know what I mean mm-hmm. whereas like when you do that in China there is no yeah, you know too bad it, well to a certain degree because we saw it with COVID zero in China, like COVID zero policies were insanely restrictive and also impossible to uphold. And what happened? People revolted, like literally revolted. And the Chinese government was like, all right, my bad. We're going to, we're, we're dropping it. Mm. Right. Mm. So there mm. are instances like, uh, of, of, uh, change, mm. like, uh, you know, where, where people like the Chinese government does respond to like the absolute worst thing that people can do, which is like basically fucking riot and revolt against the, the government. Mm. Um, but beyond that, like in America, if you were to, let's say, uh, enact comprehensive uh, gun reform, I'm not even talking about just like something that has 90% approval rating, which is like expanding universal background checks. So there's no like straw purchases of guns or there's no, like everyone, if you buy a gun, you have to get a background check. Makes sense, right? One way to like at least uh, try and and um, get some kind of uh, control over this over this this madness where there are more guns in circulation in the United States of America than there are people, right? Um, I'm talking beyond that. I'm talking like straight up, no more assault rifles. Let's say we're gonna come, we're gonna take your assault rifles away. The American population would go crazy. They wouldn't take it. Mm-hmm. Like they, they would lose their fucking minds mm-hmm. because that's a treat. Mm-hmm. Guns are a treat in the mm-hmm. same. It's a commodity that you consume, and it's a very important one for American culture. Yes. You yes, know? it seems it. Yes. Um, that's why I don't believe that TikTok will be banned in America, for example, because TikTok also a treat, very popular, very successful treat for Americans. 170 million Americans use TikTok. You take that treat away, people are going to get very mad. Mm-hmm. Like people will lose their fucking minds over it. Yes. Yes. So, um, you know, you can't really do that. You can't do anything, really. You can't uh, do anything. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you're a uh, quite despondent man then at this point. Yeah. Whatever happens, whatever happens. You, you, you're I big, mean, you're a bit checked out. I wouldn't say I'm checked out because like, well, you're definitely I, not checked out. Like you cover politics like yeah. ten hours a day. I'm not also, checked out, but you 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 have this feeling of like ah, well, you know, enjoy the ride. There's nothing you can really do about it. In, in it is very respects, depressing thinking about politics for a long time, isn't it? it yeah. In some it respects, is. yes. But I also um, obviously maintain the belief that, like, uh, you know, outside of, like, the normal political uh, institutions, like, uh, there is a necessity to keep building them no matter what, right? Because I think that... If there is an inevitable collapse, like you have to have some institutions that remain, labor unions being one of them. Um, but so they that don't barely exist in America, right? Yeah, ten percent of the labor force. Yeah, we're getting there. Here's, too. A, here's a fun it's, fact. It's terrifying. Here's a fun fact. So we destroyed Chile, 
like specifically deliberately destroyed Chile. And yeah, it's like a little beacon experiment. Yeah, right? uh, uh, yeah. We did neoliberalism in Chile. It was like the first implementation of it, uh, first successful, I guess, implementation of it with a dictator um, that we put into power. And Chile, in spite of that, has a higher union participation rate than the United States of America. The Chilean union participation uh, rate is 15%. Hmm. So Chile is like has a 50% higher uh, union participation rate than the United States of America. Mm-hmm. How fucking crazy is that? Isn't that strange? That like America is so hyper capitalist. So hyper capitalist that like our like uh, Latin American testing grounds for neoliberalism is like still has like still some countermeasures that are uh, that are, are you know stronger than the United States of America. Now We're cooking ourselves. Yes, that's true. If you are in the Democrats' position and you have a weak union movement, obviously you're going to be more behest to corporations. Yeah. So what the fuck do they do? This is what I'm saying. I, what do, I, oh, I, I think Democratic it's some point, like what I'm getting more and more into. The more that I look into politics, the more that I've just realized, I, I think that that guy, who I've even forgotten, I'm just, I think it's Tim Nichols, but I think that he was right about it. I think that there is this point where you, you, you've got to take some responsibility as a citizen. Like, you have to join these institutions. Maybe they're shit. Maybe you don't agree with them. That's I mean, really I, I, I advocate point. for, I advocate for, for that all the time. I think yes. that it's important. It, yes. Especially because like change is marginal and it doesn't happen overnight. Yep. And I always say that like uh, I mean it's the it's the fucking Chinese proverb: society only fosters when old men plant seeds for trees they'll never sit in the shade. Right, of. isn't it? Yeah. That's what I believe in. That's, That's why great. I advocate for the things I advocate for, regardless of my pessimism. But um, ultimately, can I spit mine out? Yeah. Where do I put it? I just know. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Um. So that's why I advocate for the things I advocate for in spite of everything else. Because, um, you know, there, someone's got to do it. You have to, you have to keep pushing regardless. Because if you take a completely defeatist approach, like this nihilistic approach, which many people do, especially like young people, because they look at all these social movements and they see like, uh, see no positive change and they become so pessimistic and so nihilistic that like they end up either moving away from uh, any kind of politics or just like they allow reactionaries to take over or they become reactionary yes. themselves. I think that that's a new phenomenon in itself though, isn't it? Again, if you went back to the 50s, young people would be joining unions. They would be going to their churches and they would be doing charitable organizations and, and, and that kind of stuff. Like the, It seems like now there's this option of, ah, fuck it, I don't have to do anything. It's everyone else's fault. Well, that's and what they're not joining you, it. That's what happens when you wither away everything, though. Like, yes, that's definitely true. But the, the 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 understanding of those people was like, yeah, my life's shit. Yeah, the union doesn't get everything that I want. I'm still going to join it anyway. It's gone. Well, it's it's because I think like um, there was like I don't fault people for for uh, for feeling pessimistic. I try to try to instill class consciousness in them regardless. And, you know, I, I see relative success. Yeah, how's that going for you with your audience? Do I they mean, join the unions? Do they do all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. I have that's, a lot a, of, that's amazing. I, I, I have a that's a great ton, accomplishment. Yeah, I have a shit ton of labor organizers in my community. I have a shit ton of, like, union members in my community that have, like, unionized their work uh, places. Where? Um, in Lansing, Michigan. In, you got to be proud of that. Oh, no, I am. Absolutely. It, it is why I do what I do in spite of, like, the metric ton of hatred I get, uh, regardless. Because, like, yeah, I do... Being an internet figure, thing. it's fucked, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, listen, ain't nobody's fu- firebombing my house, so at least I got that going. <laughs> yeah, that's not an internet beef. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's true. I'm saying that, like... Um, my, my point... I mean, there's other things that happen, but... Um, I won't even get into that because I don't, I don't talk about it publicly. But um, ultimately, I think that it's, it's uh, for, a, for a better future for everyone. And I do think that you can like marginally improve your living circumstances by being able to advocate successfully for your own interests in the workforce. Yes. So, 
Yeah. And what do you think about joining the Democratic Party? Or are you one of these, I'm starting my own party? No. It, there is no... So, I'm in a really uh, interesting... I have a really interesting mindset on this. Like, I believe in entryism to the Democratic Party. I'm, a perp- I'm an advocate for that. Love that, you know, we have some individuals who have done that successfully. Even if I don't align with them 100% of the way. AOC being one, you know what I mean? Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar. Um... But no, I'm not a, a a third party pusher at all because like there is no it doesn't work like that in America. Like we have a firmly held duopoly. Here, I'll tell you this much. And this was fascinating. <clears throat> RFK Jr. running as a third party candidate. What is this man? What he is, he? is very very fascinating individual. Massive okay. anti vaxxer uh-huh. right? Total fucking nut job. Yeah. But that's Every a person. Single, that's a, that's a big demographic. It, yes, because American politics is so fucked. But, the, but everywhere you know really though, there's like there's a type of person that's like that. that yeah. Re, but sorry, go on. But, but you yeah. know what's really interesting about him? His positions are almost one to one aligned with Joe Biden, with the exception of like anti-vaxxer, like Israel. He literally is like completely aligned with the with the Democratic Party on every issue. He's completely aligned with the Democratic Party, except he's an anti-vaxxer. Like a massive anti-vaxxer. He's also very interesting because he was uh, like a very big advocate for indigenous rights throughout his career. Uh, he has like successfully defended tribes in America. He was a very big environmentalist throughout his career. Um, he's He used to have, I think he was like on a show with one of my uh, friends and, and peers who I jokingly call my real uncle uh, Sam Cedar of the majority report so like like he has like this background and obviously in recent years obviously in recent years he's just gone completely crazy and and, and is has you know said things like COVID, COVID did something to boomers yeah COVID it really did oh, for a lot of people I think I think it was like the the isolation that they felt in overdrive like completely broke their brains I think yeah um, he's like He's like a, if you like the Democratic Party, but like are really invested in conspiracy theories, like that's your guy. He, he even said COVID was a Chinese Ashkenazi Jewish conspiracy. Yeah? Yeah. Which I think is, I He's mean, deep crazy. down the rabbit hole. Yeah. This man has done his research. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> he literally, like, that's a crazy fucking thing to say. <laughs> um, I, I find that really strange that like, how do you arrive at that? So why is he so propped up then? Why do I see him everywhere? I don't think he's like that propped up in America. He might be more propped up in like independent media and like independent channels. Uh So you're probably seeing like more of him. Uh, Yeah. He's just always in my feed. Constantly. Okay, so he's not not as big of a phenomenon as... No, 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 no. Also, he's a Kennedy. And Americans love like... The Kennedys. Yeah, they do. Mm. So there's that. Mm, mm, mm. But, um... But yeah, the reason why I brought up RFK wasn't because of his own policies, though. It was actually because of, like, he is running as a third-party candidate. To show you how difficult it is to run as a third-party candidate that is not aligned with the Greens or Libertarian Party. In some of the states like California, you need to get 250,000 votes, like, authorized, uh, authorized signatures to be put on the ballot. So there are severe hurdles to overcome. In some states, you actually can only do it in between the primaries and the general election. So there's like this very small, very deliberately limited time frame for you to even secure 100,000 votes. <laughs> 250,000 signatures is like more voters than fucking, you know, the Wyoming Republican Party. You mm, know what I mean? Like mm, mm, that's mm, an mm, insane mm. number of signatures. Mm. Sure, California is massive. But that is like a crazy fucking uh, like hurdle to overcome. Mm. And I think that that is by design. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's cooked in that. The, the books are cooked, uh, so to speak, in that regard, in that direction. And you don't have the same like infrastructure, like the party infrastructure that you can rely on. You don't have the same funding mechanisms that you desperately need. Because you pay to play in American politics, obviously. So, um, regardless of uh, my opinion of him, like I do see that it is virtually impossible for a third-party candidacy to be like viable in this country, 
even if you are from the previously ordained third parties that do get that ballot access, like the, the Green Party and the Libertarian Party, especially because of the way that the Electoral College is designed, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's, uh, you know, there's not really anything you can, there's not really anything you can do. So I'm not like a pusher of third party uh, politicians at all. Yes. I do definitely take a more uh, nihilistic approach to like the top of the ballot. Uh, rather than uh, all of the local elections that I think are way, way more important, ballot measures that are way more important, and also, uh, you know, the the outside of the party politics machine, you know, labor unions and community organizing that I think is like way more important for self preservation. Yes. yes. And I'd imagine on a state and local level, you're able to do a lot more than you are on a federal level in the United States. Yeah, unless you're in fucking California, which is like a a nation in and of itself, and is like a democratic stronghold. So what's your your thoughts on Newsom? Oh, sucks. You hate him? I I do like the 80s bad guy aesthetic. Yeah, he has the aesthetic. He looks like a guy in Robocop. Yeah, he he has the aesthetics of like a B-movie politician. Like a straight to DVD politician. It's incredible. Yeah, but he is... one-to-one. And he's glib as well. He's really articulate. Yeah. you got to give him that. No, for sure, I do. I think that, honestly, I know that the uh, Democratic Party is pushing him, clearly, to be the successor of Biden. That se- it seems to be what they're trying to do. Right? I think he would get owned. Now, tell me why. Because I look at that man and I see somebody that is just like, I've not seen somebody that is that cogent at arguing. I mean, Biden was good back in his day, but this guy, like, it, here's he knows why, how to get to the point. Here's why he would get owned. Way too much baggage, like baggage, eh? Uh, sex stuff. Uh, you know, constantly cucking his friends. He's like he's a bit of a dynamo in the bedroom. So there's one aspect, <laughs> and that hurts Democrats. That doesn't hurt a Republican like Trump, but that will definitely hurt the Democrats because they have to be like hoity-toity, uptight. We are the party of like adults, right? Uh, and not adultery, which Gavin Newsom does. But beyond that, what is way more important is that. For, uh, for Americans, when you think California, you think, and some of this is very real, and some of this is like greatly overblown. You think crime everywhere. People are doing heroin on the streets. There's like literal zombies walking around, and massive, massive amounts of homelessness, and debauchery, degeneracy, immorality galore, How and true also do you think undocumented that is? immigrants. So. Out of everything that I mentioned, the only part of that that actually is a real problem is homelessness. And homelessness is a very... Not uh, drug abuse. No. Uh, homelessness is the major issue here. Uh, homelessness ties into everything. It is at the heart of, like, it is at the intersectionality of, like, all of the issues. Uh, it, it captures everything that I just mentioned. When you see a homeless person in the street... Yeah. You immediately think drug abuse because... The homeless, per- the homeless people that you see, the most visible aspect of homelessness is not the 40% of homeless in California that actually are living out of their cars, but you see the homeless person that's on the street. You see mental health problems because uh, obviously your, your mental health degrades when you don't have shelter and you're homeless for years and years and years and then you start self-medicating. That's where the drug abuse comes in. Um, and, and, uh, and, and crime as well. You think like vagrancy, you think crime... That is like why so many people think that it, like Los Angeles is a crime ridden shithole, for example, because they see homeless people and they go, oh, that's crime. That guy's doing crimes for sure. Sometimes <laughs> literally, like if his dick is out or whatever. And other times, like you're like, he's probably going to do crime eventually. He's going to yell at someone. He's going to threaten someone. So that issue is born out of our dog shit housing policies which exists in Australia as well, in Sydney specifically. Imagine the entire developed world in, at this exactly. point. Exactly. Yeah. And, and but there are developed nations that don't have these issues. Uh-huh. You look at Helsinki. You look at Vienna. These are massive cities that have almost entirely eviscerated homelessness. What do they do? They fucking kill the homeless? No. They build they houses. Oh, right. <laughs> they build fucking yeah. houses. That's it. And it's like, and that is the problem. What do you think about Bill Maher's argument about it, though? That it's just like there's so many middlemen involved with building social housing in California that it's just like this I, I think empty I, bucket. Well, I, I hate Bill Maher. So I think that it's like... You hate him? Oh, I hate him so much. He's such a piece of shit. Go he's, on. 
He's such a fucking know-it-all asshole who doesn't know anything he's talking about. And doesn't I doesn't make you laugh. No, no. I think <laughs> I, I'm a Bill Burr fan. I don't like Bill Maher. Um, but I'll say it like I'll say it like this. I think he's like such a classic. Like I'm different from the rest of the liberals. I'm more tuned in. And but what that means is that he's just like an arrogant piece of shit that also is like kind of reactionary on a lot of social issues. So he thinks like. You know, he's captivating this, like, broad demographic. Um, but as far as, like, homelessness and housing, in America and in many places in the developed uh, world, in capitalist nations, we see housing as a, a, a vehicle for upward social mobility. We see it as an investment, right? Almost every single person that owns a home in the United States of America sees that home as a way to get mortgages, more money when they need it in times of need, as a as an investment vehicle so that they have some level of like a nest egg or, or some kind of uh, future for their children, right? Housing is supposed to be shelter. It's not supposed to be an investment vehicle. And because that is that mentality is so ingrained in the minds of Americans, and this is not like an insignificant number. This is, we're talking like 40% of Californians that own their own homes, right? Like that's a massive number of people who are looking at that and it's like that's my investment like that's my yes that's my future yes like you cannot diminish housing property values in any way mm -hmm. without incurring severe political penalties for absolutely it. and uh and and authoritarianism is the way to go in that regard where you're like it's not even technically authoritarian because california is unique because we do vote for like more housing all the time we vote in every regard where you're like it's not even technically authoritarian because California is unique because we do vote for like more housing all the time. We vote in every ballot measure by like wide fucking margins to like, you know, add additional taxes to homes that are over five million dollars so we can build social housing. We we have like Project Home Key and so many other initiatives that we launch that we raise billions of dollars in capital for that are deliberately uh, uh, that are deliberately back pocketed by the Newsom administration, um, because. But here's here's the question though: Is it just the Newsom administration? It, I mean, it would be anyone who's. I would imagine there would be a fuck ton of consultants involved in this. Yeah. I would imagine that there would be a bunch of developers that would be taking rigorous advantage of this and saying, you know, oh, they could build it for a hundred thousand, but they'll, they'll charge three hundred thousand. You know, there's, there's I mean, kind of stuff. an example of that exists in like the the high speed rail initiative. That was launched like I don't know, like twenty fucking years ago in California, and that project is like, yes, uh, that project is like middlemen hell. Um, it would greatly boost commerce. It would make the state better. It's great. It's wonderful. There's no downsides to it, and it has been milked by middlemen after middlemen after middlemen uh, permanently, uh, and and constantly in like red tape hell. Mm. right mm. Um, the thing is if there's a will there's a way so why is it that uh, whenever it is an initiative in a in a reactionary direction there is no more middlemen we fucking have, we got through that easily Trump's tax cuts in 2019 were like 700 fucking pages right um, that got passed in like a day and a half Nobody yeah. read that shit. Lobbyists yeah. wrote it. Yeah. And they got that through Congress like that, super swift. Obviously, it's much easier to break than it is to build. I understand that. Having said that, however, we always, uh, we always find a way when it comes to deregulation and when it comes to like actually building shit, um, there's always a... A public meeting that you have to have, and then every fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry, every small business fascist, every fucking homeowner goes there and is like screaming at the top of their lungs that like we cannot have housing here. We don't want their kind here. We don't want the undesirables living in our neighborhood. They're gonna rape our daughters and whatever. Yeah, it doesn't take much for a liberal to like turn into a fucking Nazi at the tip of a hat when it comes to like, you know, <laughs> finding solutions that we democratically voted for. So I say authoritarianism in the in the regard in the sense that like once a ballot initiative passes i think it is on you 
as a public servant to see that project through without any kind of corruption, without any kind of like fucking third party guys that are milking the funds for all it's worth. That is very advantageous for you because then you can say, well, I'm trying and it's just not happening. We yeah, you're not going to give them any, you're not going to give them any sympathy for that. Mm -mm. I'm very sympathetic towards that argument. No, very fucked up. You reckon? No. No. As a public servant, you don't think that like all of these interests coming in and just like hounding you and saying you better pass this or fucking else, and then your top guy over you saying like what the fuck are you doing? Get rid of this. This is something that I've learned a lot from talking to public servants. I know guys that have saved entire parks from being demolished and just turned into slum, essentially, you know, uh, or you know some some cheap development program or a mall or anything like that. Uh, they tell me all the time, you just have to pick your battles. Because there's always a superior over the top of you that wants that past. And a lot of the times you just have to yield because what happens otherwise? No, you I, get fired, I get that. they replace that. I get that, for sure. I understand that. I think that good leadership requires moral courage. Mm. And, and mm. sometimes you have to utilize your bully pulpit and say enough is enough. And in this circumstance, you have the public on your side. They voted for it. Mm. And I think Gavin Newsom, well, we were talking about Gavin Newsom originally, like why I don't like Gavin Newsom. He stands in front of all of the progressive momentum in a state like California that is supposed to be the most progressive state in the country. And he stands against that and he stops it dead in his fucking tracks. New York and California are two states that are supposed to be progressive strongholds. They are the Democratic Party strongholds, right? And because they have such dominance, uh, as far as politics goes, like as far in the direction of the Democratic Party, they, in my opinion, use that to just, you know, stop any kind of like, any kind of serious progress dead in its tracks. And I think it's really fucked up. So I'm, I'm way more aggressive on like my, uh, my politicians that I vote for than anybody else mm. in that regard. Mm. Yeah. So who do you vote for in California then? I mean, I still end up... You go with Newsom. I still end because up... Because like, the last time it was like a re-election or, or there, was a, there was an initiative led by Larry Elder. You know what I mean? I'm not going to fucking vote for that guy. I debated him. <laughs> He's a fucking dickhead. Um, so there's no, there's no option. There's no alternative <laughs> usually. That's the other part. Yes, there's no alternative. Would you say that Newsom has done anything right? Every now and then. I mean, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sure chat would be uh, helpful in that regard. Every now and then there's like a initiative here Do you think that the trajectory is going this way for anything? Generally? In that way? Like, I don't know, like environmentally, education, health, anything like that? Mm. Because I'm guessing that like homelessness is the overarching... This is like the federal issue where it would be immigration. Everything is just filtered through immigration. Immigration, 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 right? Yeah. Housing would be that... For California on a state. Oh shit, boy, boy, and then finish. By the way, we can we can venture off into Chinatown. Oh, um, do it then. Yeah, do it. But he did some marginal union shit. Yeah. It, what is it? Taking over city zoning at the state level if cities don't build enough houses. I mean, that seems good. It's just like I haven't seen uh, productive results from that. That's what it is, and I've seen a shit ton more. Uh, holding up uh, progressive legislation by veto. Wait, hold on. Okay. Let's figure this out. I don't know how I'm going to do this real quick. But, um, except immigration isn't a real problem, at least in the way Republicans now and our Dems are framing it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like we're just cucking ourselves every step of the way in America. Like, it's, it's, uh, we always cast aside long-term benefits that would yield tremendous results for American prosperity. I'm using that in the Chinese way. You know about Chinese prosperity? Like American prosperity could flourish, but we are so, we are so laser focused on, on quarterly profits and every step of the fucking way that we're just like, nope, that's not even a question. We're not doing that. We just like immediately yeah. hand wave it away. Yeah. And it's really fucking stupid. It's really brutal. It's really stupid. And it is uh, responsible for our diminishing quality of life. Yeah. Yeah, it's depressing. It yeah. really is. Yeah, I, I look, 
can't really disagree with any of it, and it rings true to a lot of what happens here. Although I will say that it is nowhere near as bleak as yeah, it is in America. Yeah, you because have, you have, like, better institutions, I think. Like, even the inception of the Labour Party in and of itself, like, that, that, that difference is important. No, yeah, like, what's the deal with that? We don't... The Democratic Party is not the Labour Party. What is no, it? Like, like, how did it get its roots? How did it start? If it wasn't from the Labour movement, it's always this thing of, like, they're kind of friendly to the unions or something. You know what it is? I think the difference in American politics is that, like, our party's structure was actually aligned more on geopolitical interests from the jump because America had, like, the antebellum South versus the industrial North. Yes. And I do think that that played a big role in the parties actually operating for many, many years on, like, a pro-slavery versus, like, anti-slavery position. Uh, like, if you're a Democrat or a Republican in the South, you were... Um, if you were a Democrat or a Republican in the South, you were, like, pro-slavery. Or mm -hmm. at least, like, you were in defense of it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that, like, there was... Uh, we talk about, like, the party shift happening on the issue of slavery. Republicans oh. abolished slavery. Abraham Lincoln. But, like, in... Uh, there's, like, a... There's, like, a Southern strategy... And then there's a shifting of interest. But I think that shifting of interest actually came from, um, from both parties basically adopting the same exact positions on the economy, uh, slowly but surely through neoliberalism, and then hyper-focusing on, and this is like accelerated greatly after Newt Gingrich, uh, wedge issues. Wedge issues like social issues. Issues that the Republican Party basically cooks up in a laboratory <laughs> the, to, no but like literally that's what they no, do no, they yes, focus no, test it they yes, focus test yes, it and they're yeah. like how can we get polarization happening in american politics when there is no real polarization when it comes to american imperialism and and the interests of capitalists like there's no po polarization uh there's no real polarization when it comes to that stuff that's always bipartisan that's why democrats will openly literally be like hey you want to do these tax cuts, but like, why don't you consult us? And the Republicans are like, fuck off, you're going to vote for it anyway. And then they do. Some of them, enough of them uh, do vote for it, right? So um, that's, that's basically what it is. It's like a, it's like a fake political theater to, to show that there is some kind of like difference between the two parties. And of course there is a difference between the two parties in the way that like, um, like obviously if your position is like kill gay people versus don't kill gay people, that is going to yield a lot of differences on the ground for gay people. But my point is, that was completely made up. Like the Yeah, I don't know anything about Twitch, but I've got to say, it's hard. I, I think you figured out life pretty damn well. This is not bad. This is not bad. You can work anywhere. You're one of those uh, techno nomads. You can yeah. do it anywhere. You know, yeah, no, I mean, that's, LA. That's, just fucking leave and go to Vienna if you want. Go no, there. literally, that's like that is why I'm here. Like I can, I can straight up do. Where this the is fuck you like? this is damn near identical to like my. It's almost like a one to one identical to like my home setup. Basically. Really? Well, my home setup is like way more, um, more gamer chairs. Yeah, there's a lot more going on in my home setup, obviously, but like I've basically. Figured out a way to to try to recreate my home setup as best as possible anywhere around the world, um, and then I also have the IRL backpack that I swap to. Incredible. Camera's better here though. Can't beat that. That's what I hear. They say my camera is always better uh, when I'm away from home. All right. oh, there you go. There's a little improvement here. They're, don't have the to boys be so are, down and out. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's even better. Yeah, um, That's cool. the boys are the boys are done. They wrapped up. We're gonna. I'm gonna get us an Uber. Uh -huh. Right, unless you guys drove. Did you drive? Yeah, we drove. Yeah. Oh, we can go if you want to go in your car. We can do that as well. It's up to you guys. Well, I mean, you've got room in the back. Don't you? I'll sit in the back. He's a big boy. He'll, he'll stay in the front. Yeah, I'll, I'll be the best. Yeah, we can. I can. I mean, it just depends. Like. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, uh, is before I swap it over to the camera, we'll like drive away to the location. Um, I'll text you the address of where uh, we're gonna go to. Oh wait, they said they're gonna Uber they, home to grab they, us. They said they're back in ten minutes. They, I was just on the phone. Group. Oh okay, yeah. then we can just like go with them. I guess we'll just wait for them to come here and then we'll go together. Um, Done. 
Yeah, I'll be interested to think what you think about Chinatown. I'm just I interested mean, in what your takes, as the kids say, are going to be about anything in Australia. No, I, 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 I joke. I'm, I'm fucking around when I talk about, like, Chinese invasion or whatever. I don't... Well, not me. <laughs> but, like, look, it'll be interesting to see what you think about Sydney. Like, what have you yeah. done so far? Like, how long have you Nothing. been here? Nothing. I just got here this morning. I literally... Yeah. Yesterday, I was streaming in Los Angeles. I flew overnight... Woke like I mean I slept through the whole flight, awesome. and and uh, and and basically planted in here in the in their living room. Yeah, set up my Embedded setup, yourself. nice, and then and and now I'm like streaming again. So like people basically were watching yesterday in Los Angeles, and now they're watching here in in Sydney. Nuts, yeah. Boy, come up to oh, Brisbane. Yeah. Um, you should. Brisbane is the best city in Australia, I reckon. They've got it right. Why, I think why do you say that? You know what I think it is? I think it's... Look, when it, when a city gets above, like, say, two or three million, I think it's just too many fucking people to manage. It's, just, <laughs> it's too hard. I don't know how fucking Beijing does it. <laughs> how do you do that? Like, imagine... Like, that, that, that is... Everyone in Australia, that's who they have to deal with, is the fucking mayor, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, it's insane. And I think that when you go to like Brisbane or something like that, it's just at that nice point where you're still sort of a country town and you see familiar faces. It's a Brisbane land. Yeah, Brisbane land. <laughs> Bris Vegas, that's the other one as well. Bullshit. Even though that's stupid. Bullshit. Tasmania is the place to be. Hobart yeah. for the win. Yeah, go down there, Hassan. <laughs> yeah. Accent check. You go underground, trains, trains, trains. Marsh needs to be on the podcast with so little cast. No, we got it. Don't worry. Um... There are even more people in Beijing than the official figures. Take him to Cabra Mata. Yeah, Cabra Mata is pretty cool as well. That's kind of like Vietnam town. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the difference. Used to be, and this is an incredible thing I just learned recently, it used to be a hotbed of uh, gangland crime. It used mm -hmm. to be like rife in the 80s and 90s. And the Vietnamese community themselves turned it out and were just like, no, we're fucking getting rid of these cunts. Huh. Now it's like one of the best fucking suburbs in the city. That's nice. You know, it's, it's a really nice story. Yeah. I like Cabernet a lot. They got more than one type of Chinese? Yeah. The joke in my stream is, uh, the joke in my community is like, we say, what kind of Chinese are you? Because like, uh, did you listen to the TikTok? Uh, one of the TikTok Senate hearings where Senator Tom Cotton, who's like a straight up fucking piece of shit, right wing fascist monster, was uh, grilling the Singaporean CEO of TikTok and was like, <laughs> What's your affiliation with the Chinese? Like, <laughs> like he was, he was like, I'm Singaporean senator. Like he's like, have you ever wanted to be Chinese? Like he literally what? said that. Yeah, he was like, have you ever attempted? <laughs> you wanted to? Do, uh, here, let's watch. <laughs> but what's that question? Man? What's he getting at? What's? Uh, he, well, what a grilling. So, you said today, as you often say, that you. Oh, what an accent too. Of what nation are you a citizen? Singapore. <laughs> Are you a citizen of any other nation? No, Senator. Have you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? Senator, I serve my nation I'm in asked, Singapore. I, no, I, I did not. Do you have a Singaporean passport? Yes, and I served my military <laughs> for two, two and a half years in Singapore. Do you, have any other, do you have any other passports from any other nation? No, Senator. Your wife is an American citizen. Your children are American citizens. That's have correct. You, have you ever applied for American citizenship? Not, no, not yet. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? <laughs> no. He comes back. He's like, I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough. He's like, I, I asked. I didn't. I didn't understand you. You're looking. You're looking real Chinese to me. What do you mean? There's <laughs> Mr. Chu. <laughs> there's 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 other kinds of Chinese. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Mr. Communist Party? Cotton. No, it's yeah. not. Again, I'm okay. Singaporean. Let me ask you something. Dude, that's he, like a Mr. Cotton versus Mr. Chu. That is American <laughs> politics, though. Like, that that literally is like... That is how American politics works, okay? <laughs> so, that's... That's awesome. Yeah. No wonder you've got fucking 10 hours of content a day. So I mean, it's just it, all these... <laughs> it, it happens, yeah. <laughs> this is like... I mean, it's funny, but it's also like... <laughs> kind of devastating when you think about it because like there's a lot of motherfuckers who believe that shit you know what i mean there's like he's an elected of, representative there's tens of millions of people that see that and go 
yeah, you should have grilled that Chinese man further. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, Senator Cotton, you could not figure out what kind of Chinese he is. And that's you the question really I have. You really the bull on this one. Yeah. Cotton. And it's just like, it's so, it's so fucking crazy. So Tom Cotton famously uh, wrote uh, during the Black Lives Matter protests that were happening about how, like, the American government should just, like, kill them on the New York Times. What? The way. Yeah. As a senator, he wrote an op-ed piece on the New York Times famously being like, you should kill the fucking BLM protesters. Here, I'll show you that. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, so it's like, oh my god, why haven't I heard of this man before? Well, because so, like, like, this is incredible. So, but th this is the so it's it, it's a kind of known here in Australia that if you get into the Senate, look, there's there's some very 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 talented senators, but there's a lot of dead shits there. You know, it's like where you go if you're like owed a favor in the party or whatever. So you don't have to be remotely talented. He wrote this article titled. Send in the troops. <laughs> like, this is like straight. Look at it. Look at that fight. He means yeah. business. The nation must restore <laughs> order. The military stands ready. <laughs> and then the Eric Times got yelled at so much they fucking wrote an editor's note. <laughs> After publication, this essay met strong criticism from many readers and many times colleagues, prompting editors to review the piece and the editing process. Based on that review, we've concluded that the essay fell short of our standards and should not have been published. <laughs> <laughs> the basic arguments advanced by Senator Cotton, however objectionable <laughs> people may find them, represent a newsworthy part of the current debate. It's like, no, dude, it doesn't. He, you, you let like this fucking psycho, who is an elected representative, argue in the paper of record that you should send in the military to like fucking shoot BLM protesters. <laughs> that is insane. That is nutty. Yeah. That is nutty. Is he? Like, uh, you know, like, like, does he, does he exceed all others as an American Republican in the Senate, or are they kind of all on the same page? They're pretty much all on the same page. I mean, you got... Is he an outlier, is what I'm saying? Uh, anyway. I mean, this take was, uh, I think, this take was very popular by the Republican Party. <laughs> I mean, Trump said that, too, when the looting sh uh, starts, the, the shooting, shooting starts. starts. Yeah. So, like... Yeah. Um, there was another one. Uh, here, I'll show you Kennedy. Someone brought up Kennedy. That was uh, that was another one who read excerpts from like uh, some some like gender queer novel or something in Congress. That was a really funny moment. I'd imagine you, that's like a big part of the Senate, right? Uh, Them picking yeah. some book in California and well, waving it around. That's the so that's that's like House of Representatives. That's even worse. So back in the day, the Senate used to be considered the greatest deliberative body, right? Like it was a it was an institution that uh, supposed that was supposed to have like a, like a higher regard for democracy and and um, you know back and forth conversation. It's fucking bullshit. Obviously, it's like that was how it was presented. But they would always say like, "Oh, we're not crazy like the House of Representatives, where there's like three hundred and however four hundred however many fucking representatives and they're kooky as hell." You have the likes of. Of Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example. I think the president's new tactic Wait, is star spangled stupid. <laughs> what is this? Oh, who's this guy? So this is Senator Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. Now okay. he's huge. He's everywhere. I mean, not really. He's no. just like an old school uh, Republican senator. Just to show, but he's from Louisiana, so like you gotta, you know, there's some in the water down there. You know what I'm saying? There's just like here. I, I think the president's new tactic is star-spangled stupid. <laughs> Opinions are kind of like belly buttons. Everyone has one. Some are innies, some are outies. Select the clown, expect the circus. He once famously also <laughs> ran a campaign ad that said, if you got a problem with the police, next time you got an issue, call a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Which was it's awesome. Like, I mean... My car does not run on unicorn <laughs> urine or fairy dust. Look at Washington, D.C., and, the, and they ask them themselves, how did these people... Oh, this um, is not RFK. RFK is a different guy. This is a... No, 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 yes. Yeah. No, I've seen this guy uh, around a lot, it and it's always just like uh, all over like a Republican day. Twitter Maybe and stuff. Maybe on a day, day like pass from somewhere. the nursing home, happily eating ice cream. It, I thought attorney... The, the better one, I think, is the gender book ban where he reads this, like, insane Thank shit. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What are you asking us to do? 
lube on and got him on his dick. Oh, here, 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 here. Disgust. I love that he reads uh, this stuff. It's so awesome. The first one is called All Boys Aren't Blue. And I will quote from it. <laughs> I put some lube on and got him on his knees. And I began to slide into him from behind. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. He asked me to turn over while he slipped a condom on himself. This was my ass, and I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. <laughs> he got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. It was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Eventually, I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain. Close quote. All boys aren't blue. The second is a, a another much oh, he's got more. discussed book. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's called Gender Queer. Okay, let me read an excerpt from that. Quote: I got a new strap home, strap on harness today. <laughs> I can't wait to put it on you. It will fit my favorite dildo perfectly. You're going to look so hot. I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. Then I want you inside of me. Boys, <laughs> you just caught it. You, we were just reading. Oh, fuck. Uh, we were not reading smut. Uh, we were not. Uh, sitting... Senator was talking about it. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> I, was not, I was not showing uh, Friendly Jordy's my, uh, my favorite smut. Yeah. This is like erotica. Uh, Making kids gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's my favorite hobby. We got caught. This is embarrassing. I don't it's know awesome because it. you can tell that this guy needed to look up what like a strap on was and a dildo. Like yeah. you can tell. Like he's he's he's. Yeah, it's a it's a new world he's, for him. He's so into he, it. So he's, he brings this up a lot, does he? This is he's being not really. Say. I mean, this was just like for the Senate Judiciary Committee holding a hearing examining book bans and how these books should be banned. And now. They present it as though this is like uh, reading material that is given to like kindergartners as like uh, a part of public curriculum. It is not. It's simply books that they find that are available in libraries mm -hmm. uh, at the discretion of the librarian. Uh, and and yet, you know, they ban them regardless because they're like, this can't not stand. You know, this <laughs> this is making my child gay. So I'm starving, by the way. Oh, I am. Yeah. Should we get some? Well, we can that? go to Chinatown and get food. Yeah, let's do it. This is probably the... What oh, yeah, it? you got to get it in the middle for our sponsors. <laughs> is it it's, a... It's like the most common snack kids will be given. What is it? Shite? It's, it's, it's shapes. Shite? Oh, he doesn't know what shapes are. The, the, no, the, no. The bottom is flavour you can see, so it's so covered in the MSG that you can see. Oh, I love that. And the ad... Was the ad like little pizza little, man yeah. dancing on the... No, yeah. You got like a little Mexican woman dancing for like the Mexican woman flavour. Oh, I love that. Barbecue. The ranches are all just little barbecues. Yeah, There's a little cowboy yeah, just like so sweeping on the barbecues. Should I just call us a like a fat Uber? Or yeah, I could drive a thing. If I'll make it are we gonna fit? Thing. Are we all gonna fit? It's One, two, small three, small four, small. five. I mean, it's it's the cabin space is the well, same. I could just not go. Just not trying to dodge the camera. Yeah, don't get away. Yeah, yeah. Um, because like we have I'm not investigated. Trying. He keeps telling me that China's not invading Australia, yeah, and I. Are. I'm. I feel like that's not true. I've. I've heard. Well, you got to see it with your My. Eyes. My favorite political commentator, Drew Pavlov, has told me China has invaded. <laughs> as, a matter, <laughs> as a matter of fact. So he's more researched on the topic. So I'm yeah, it seems judgment. like it seems like he knows what he's talking about. So I. I think. <laughs> Did you guys introduce him to Drew, did you? Oh, no, I was introduced myself. They, you introduced yourself? No, no, I, I only found out about him because he, like, tweets at me all the you. fucking time. Oh, does he? Yeah, he was, like, very mad that I had a... I, I did a, a, a new release uh, at ideology.shop uh, called Capitalism in Crisis or Capitalism in Decay. And it's about, like, uh, it's, it's uh, fashioned after, like, tour merch. And it's, like, just dates of American coups. Because, you know, imperialism, the final stage of capitalism. Mm. Um, mm. And he was, like, very mad that... Uh, or he wasn't mad, but he was like, look at this guy saying capitalism in crisis while selling a t-shirt. And I was like, thanks for promoting it. And I quote tweeted him and I was like, thanks for promoting my, my union-made, American-made merchandise. Uh, you know, at, uh, available at ideology.shop. 
And every time I've like ever interacted with him or even acknowledge him, he I think he busts a nut. Like he just loses mm, his mind. He mm. gets so excited. Sounds like Drew. Yeah. Yeah, he gets so fucking excited. Mm. Um and because he's my favorite political commentator, I I I, I feel like <laughs> he keeps talking about how like didn't didn't he like go to jail or something for like <laughs> <laughs> trying to burn a Chinese embassy or some shit. <laughs> Sounds like classic truth. Yeah. So, you know, he's he's fighting the good fight by doing heinous race crimes. What are you talking about, dude? Direct political action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's done more than we've ever done. Yeah, yeah. no, for Christ's sake. Yeah. What we do, we didn't even enter his firebase. No, exactly. Yeah. No. Fucking. All we do is sit around and talk. Yeah. Yeah, no. you talk about the American invasion, you invited an American into your home. You know what yeah. I mean? Like... Yeah. Like Drew would never invite a Chinese person <laughs> to his house. <laughs> that much is certain. We were talking about Pauline Hanson earlier. That's what one of her famous things. She was selling her house. She's like, No, it's my right to not sell it to a Muslim. Like, no, that's it's my house. That's, really? It's that's my she, I don't, Yeah, I think she said that. She was like, No. That's crazy. No. <laughs> uh, he hates Pauline. you because he's Greek. Yeah, I heard he's Cypriot, which is, you know, another word for Turkish, I guess. Oh, yes, by the way, uh, happy conquest, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> wait, so wait, is that... Wait, is that today? Yeah. Oh. What the hell? I Man, didn't... Where's your fucking nationalism? I What's don't today? know. Huh? What's today? Conquest day, baby. Of, of Cyprus. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. yeah, that was the big win of the Ottoman Empire. That was, <laughs> that was the big... Yeah. <laughs> That's when they all lost it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is, like... Is... is Wait, is it actually like, uh, is it like Anzac Remembrance Day or some shit? Like, actually, I anytime know, soon? I remember the 24th of April. I remember them every day. Oh, so fuck. I, I, came one, I came one month too early. Yeah. I invaded you guys like you tried to invade Gallipoli. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What the hell? Unannounced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this would happen. So, okay. Let's, um... Let's let's do it. Let's do the yeah, let's do the damn thing. Let's, do we want swimmers or is it, we're not gonna have time to go to Chinatown? No, I don't think I don't think we're gonna have time. No. All right. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to have some Chinese food because oh, I'm yeah. fucking let's starving. Food, yeah. But you know, under the guise of doing political activism, <laughs> <laughs> you know, figuring out what this invasion is about. Um, oh, we just came back from a. ABC podcast. Uh, they, were, they were grilling me. They were, they were talking about um, like, so what if like if if China invades Taiwan, are we just meant to like let it happen? Yes. <laughs> I've got nothing to do with me. It was Tom Tilly, and he mentioned that you had. Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? <laughs> oh my he's god! Like, my friend. Drew Pevlu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's Jesus. like, oh, the friend of Joy's has said some things about me or something like that. <laughs> oh no! Nice. Yeah, but Tom, you fucking love it. Any I'm, attention's good attention to Tom. I'm I'm trying to have a succulent Chinese meal. Yeah, I'll do it. Right. Hopefully. Dude, how does he know all this stuff? Unhand my penis. So this is very, very. I can't believe it. All right, yeah. like after he's I, eating shapes, he's, yeah. he's experienced. Yeah. I, I see. I see. You know your judo. It's, it's making me not like it though. The fact yeah. that all the Americans, like Charlie, Moist Critic, who keeps doing it. I'm like, we fuck, love. You, we you love killed, the succulent Chinese the meat. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the best. We had one joke. You guys got heaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's so good. I'm so I, democracy I'm so manifest. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it'll come back. It'll come back. You'll 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 cycle back around to liking it again if I keep repeating it over oh, and over again. Let's see. What can I play here? Wait, Wait, what, what, so just... what? Tom Tilly got you on to sit there and just be like, oh, no, we, no, pro Chinese activist. He, he was very nice. We were just we were talking mainly about the video, and he was giving a lot of compliments. That was just like a tiny bit of pushback against like our and he was like extreme pro China <laughs> so He was like, you know, this stuff about oh, you know, you guys have your point of view, not necessarily the truth. Do you, yeah. you have a responsibility to tell the truth? I'm like, I think it's the truth. Yeah, well, well, well like doing that. Everyone has propaganda and comes from a certain point of view. Yeah. It's like. Wait, 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 what did you say to that, sorry? Well, we, we were just like, we we're just like, look, when we watch mainstream media, we see a very, very biased opinion. I don't think there's much of like a respect for truth in that environment. And we're just providing the... Because, dude, I, like, I grew up my entire life being like, yeah, you couldn't get a bill passed. Yeah, and that's so what, it, like that. <laughs> that, that, was, that, was my, that was my answer. I'm like, look, I did year nine history as well. I'm like, I understand. Yeah. I know about I know the, the official yeah, story. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I just think it's true. There's another better answer. Yeah. Which makes more sense. <laughs> 
It doesn't make any sense at all, does it? Like when you think back at it, it was just no. you just accepted it. Well, right? I remember it sounding stupid at the time. I was just like, "Did you?" Yeah, I was, this I was just like, what, what do you mean you can, you can just, you can just, the opposition party can just do a thing that means that they're, they're prime minister yeah. there for the <laughs> next like, seven that years. That doesn't make any sense. All right, here's what we're going to do, boys. Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Kaya's birthday party Aww. on here while we get in the car and rush over to Chinatown so to see once and for all if China is actually invite, <laughs> inviting Australia, right? right? Okay. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side in, like, uh, five minutes, okay? See you soon. Aya. She's the birthday girl. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, my god. Wait. She's gonna cook. No, that's very sweet. Oh, she's cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Am I white? No. Not Brian, not Snoopy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Come on, Kaya. All right, we're here, ladies and gentlemen. It is the first ever Kaya birthday party. This is her first birthday. She's already... Honestly, I think we could just have that on stream for 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> Hello, darkness, smile. <laughs> what do we think? Should we should we go outside? Oh my gosh, little nugget. Oh my god. It's blinded. 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 It's uh, so far so good. No piss accidents, even though there is a baby. Oh, Nobby's pissing. Good job, Mama. Little. Oh. A whole cupboard. Oh my God, that's the best picture ever. That sounds like a dog. Let's start off by having people just like sit, uh, okay, there with their dogs, and one by one dog. introduce their dogs. Where's Austin? My dog. Austin left. <laughs> no dog for me. This is my overwhelmed, very stressed. Anxiety ridden dog. He's a sheep Inu. I got him at six months old and he's um, just turned six on January 8th. We have the same birthday. This is Spencer. He's also about to be six. He's an Australian Shepherd mix. He was abandoned on the side of the road. Oh. Uh, he hates horses. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, horses go on TV. I watch Game of Thrones. Oh, he, wait. Like oh. <laughs> he also doesn't like. Matt Damon, specifically. <laughs> just weird. He did do a crypto rug pull, kind of. Clipping it over, I'm not going to show so the camera, but... So when they learn, for example, right. that the what the fuck the the bro, what the fuck are you listening to right now? 92.1, Voice of Islam, it's the best channel in Australia. I had to show oh, you guys. It's swapped over to Android or No! How do we go back That's to crazy, it? that is crazy. I'm swapping it back to the regular... I'm just going to pan over you guys. <laughs> Guys, I'm Michael. This is Huxley. He's almost three. He's a purebred Belgian Malinois. He loves going to the park and catching frisbees and jumping off walls, and he speaks with buttons. This is Honey. She's a purebred Belgian. She is eight and a half weeks old, and we got her on Wednesday. She likes pooping. This is Dipper. Oh. He's a husky pit bull mix. He's a rescue. Uh, he's very overstimulated right now. Yeah. I got him when he was 12 weeks old, and he's now... Almost three. This is Finn. Yeah. I know this little man. Finn is, Finn actually just turned four. He's a Sharpe Doberman. I got him from off Craigslist to where most of us got our dogs. His two favorite hobbies, the beach and skateboarding. This is Kaya. She's the birthday girl. She just turned one on March 5th. She loves chewing this tennis ball and exploding it apparently, but she um, she is uh, mixed with uh, Tibetan Mastiff, St. Bernard, and Chow Chow. We could start with the doggy obstacle course. Each owner, you grab your dog. You're going to go one at a time. I'm going to time it, and if you win, you win a treat for your dog, a cupcake. Kaya, are you ready? Time goes. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, <laughs> 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 come on.
No. Uh, uh, I'm, maybe. Wait, <laughs> hold knows? on. I'm, I'm flipping over to, to our ingest, by the way. I'm just letting you know so they can hear us. They won't see us, but they they can hear us. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Alexa is driving a stick shift car. Hell yeah. And a real man. For one, um, that is fucking nutty. That you buy since his dad like keep, keeps logs of oh, like yeah. every time you fill up what the fuel efficiency of the car is. Yeah. And Alexa started doing that again and I asked him, I was like, why do you do that? I don't like, know. Uh, I just have to know. It's just what you do with cars. <laughs> why? What do you get there? What do you get? <laughs> just ingrained is it. Okay, yeah. But you do Look, talk? man, it's, I like the manual. I yeah. don't like it. Because you feel like you're in control. It always just feels like with the computer at any point. Is it really? There's no way it's this bad. It, yeah. I mean, this is impossible. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Wait, who are you using? What's your... You know, you know this your... is... Not... Connor, Connor was doing this all right somehow. I don't know who, who yeah. he was with. Oh, no, Connor, not the different Connor. The streamer. Your sea dog He had crazy... All right, yeah, it's uh, it's upping again. Okay. Well, it, he probably didn't, like, drive around in the car. No, no we, we drove all the way out of Sydney. We were down at the Reptile Park, and we it was all fun. We were in Gosford, and we had, like, 600... <laughs> Uh oh. No, you need Gosford's to get better. The police are coming inside. <laughs> yeah. You need to get 6K, uh, which he, I'm sure he has. It's going up now. Um, I think there was like a like a shitty spot there. Oh, there'll be more of those. Like spots where there's just no internet. I'll tell you something. Uh, for a long time, I don't know if they we're still they're still like trouncing us, but Kenya had far faster internet than us for like a very long time. Really? Kenya? Yeah. Yeah, I remember we were like fiftieth in the world. We're so bad. <laughs> remember back in back in uni, I was studying Spanish, and they they thought of this cool system where we could have like pen pals where we do like Zoom classes with a Spanish class that's learning English, and it was all organised. And then the the Mexican the Mexican class ended up um, bailing because they were like, "Sorry, Australia's internet's too shit for us." That's crazy. Yeah, they yeah, got much better better internet in Mexico that than they do here. Very sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so what, just, they're just, they're I assume just, everyone got a credit. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> does, does opening a window make it better? <laughs> no. Is that how internet works? Yeah, his car is a Faraday cage <laughs> now. Yeah. Can I, tell you me can, when I can like show it. You can it. show. You can show now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Farrow Road is fine. Yeah, Farrow Road, this is the main bloody artery of The main Sydney. bloody artery of Sydney. This will take you back to LA. You know what Parramatta meal means? No. Place, Place of, of eels. eels. Oh, is that why they're the fucking eels? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they used to have cool eel traps there. Take your oh fuck, we lost the internet again. What? It'll happen. Oh man. That's Look, insane. honestly, I think that when you go to Chinatown, it'll be better. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got those five G boosters. Oh, <laughs> I hope so. There's gonna be something good about it. <laughs> I'm I'll tell you what I'm using right now. Four G Optus, which is eighty two kilobytes. 3G oh, Telstra, me. which is 1.9, what? But going down to like two megabytes, so that's good. That's like the only thing that's Telstra's keeping it. Telstra is one of the better ones. Yeah, and then there's another Optus that's zero kilobytes, which is crazy. Out of the six interfaces, only three of them are working, and two of them are Optus, and they're so fucking bad. Wait, how do I even? I'm gonna check it on my phone just to see if this is normally what we put up with. Optus is my provider, and they are shit. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm getting 350 down. Are you talking about upload? Really? I'm getting 25 megabits per second. Whoa! Upload. Yeah, that's oh, wait, what no, I'm getting. getting. That's what I'm currently getting, getting, but from from uh, Optus. You're getting 30, or not from Optus? From you're getting 35, or did you say one? 2.5 megabits uh, from Op, uh, from Telstra. Optus is zero and zero kilobits, kilobytes. I think kilobytes. I don't know how to say it. And then the other one is uh, 1.5 kilobytes. That's so it's, incredibly slow. It, yeah, no, it's like it's like a joke. The zero one is like is it's laughing at me. Why does it even exist? I'm going to scan available mobile networks. It's gonna take one to two minutes. Hopefully, I mean, it just wait. It's not online. No, no, no. I think it's. We'll see. Uh, no, no, no. There's. I have multiple modems in here. Okay. Oh. I have multiple modems in here, uh, and the reason why you have multiple modems is because when one provider sucks donkey dick, the other one is supposed to hold on to it, and it collects all of the, it collects the 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 bandwidth from every single one, and then pumps it into one like collective yeah. 
Damn. Yeah. Um, well, it's a good theory. But the problem is it's not working because uh, two of the... Out of the six, only three are working. And out of the three that's working, two of them are fucking Optus. Wait, so did you have to get new sims and put it in it when you came to Australia? No, it, it, it's international sims, so it automatically... It's kind of like... To the companions. Sorry. I was trying to work out how to get it back to Voice of Islam. <laughs> that was a Voice of Islam? That was it. Yeah, okay, let's listen. Let's listen in to Voice of Islam. You said that was not Voice of Islam. This is no overnight success. Yeah. Are you sure about that? I don't know what happened. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Carl Sandyland's going to be. Strange. Yeah. So we used to um, work setting up jumping castles, and our boss was like, like an actual fascist, like this Italian dude, and he like hated Muslims so much. So we'd always turn all the trucks to Voice of Islam, yeah. and then we're just now we're just used to it. And every every channel has to be Voice of Islam. Yeah. It's distracting. It's hard to talk when he's he's spitting, dude. Yeah. You could learn a thing or two. What should we? Uh, what do you want to get in Chinatown? Oh, uh, let's go dumplings, the normal place. Normal dumpling place? I do want okay. protein, if possible. There's a lot of meat in that, right? Oh, mate, yeah. <laughs> Not in the dumplings, no. It's very carb-heavy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, well... Wait, you just shut it off. I don't know what sunnah he was talking Sorry. about. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. I need to know. What it was. to do so. The authors said, by looking at the prophetic seerah, Muslims learn the explanation of the Quranic verses and the circumstances of revealing these verses. For okay. example, yeah. Allah they, they, have much, they have much more interesting guys on. I think the last time. This guy's mid. Yeah. This is a mid prophet. I mean, no, not a prophet, no, no, sorry. No. This, is a mid, they, this is a mid imam. They have like life lessons. Like yesterday when I was in there, this guy was telling you about saving. And he's talking about not making stupid purchases. Like, you don't need to buy a new muffler, okay? You just <laughs> save up your money. It's really great. Yes. That is great advice. Oh I, do, one of the most famous, like, financial guys, financial gurus in America is literally this, but Christian. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, what's his fucking face? Chat will tell me. Um, chat, you know what I'm talking about? The, the guy who, like, they even show in schools, by the way. Oh my god. And he says, don't buy a new muffler. <laughs> well, he says that as well. The factory muffler is fine. Yeah. Dave Ramsey. Oh yeah. Dave Ramsey. If I can, uh, hold on, let me see if I can find it. So America is like if Voice of Islam was the entire country for Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a lot, yes. Yeah. Yeah. A great way to describe it is like, yes, Christian Sharia is 100% real <laughs> and also infinitely more effective than like, Christian Sharia is what like, Christians think Sharia is <laughs> like projection. Yeah, it's just pure projection, and it literally is like successfully implemented in the United States of America. Is March tied to the roof or in the trunk? March is not here. He's coming tomorrow. Um, Could you that's... fit March in your trunk? There's a little space between you guys. A good car. You can fit anyone in anyway. This is a this is a ridiculous vehicle. Suzuki Swift. Oh, you're from America. Yeah. <laughs> All your vehicles look like that. With Ford Raptor. Yeah. Yeah, oh, big God. old. Dude, you know you know what's beautiful about Australia that uh, doesn't make me miss home at all? It's very car cocked. Australia? Yeah. I will see when you get to Chinatown. There's, I, a lot, there's a lot of walking around. Oh, disgusting. Ew, gross. Oh, typical Chinese communist agenda, trying to get That's us to fucking wall. walk and be physically fit and not have diabetes. It's just bullshit, dude. What was that? Oh, no, it was diabetes. It was that cancer thing in China. Huh? That cancer thing. What yeah. cancer thing in China? Yeah. Apparently they don't get cancer. You mean the <laughs> Wuhan flu? Oh, are you talking about the milk? Uh, yeah, the, what is that? The milk study. Or the, it's like a, the relation between where countries that drink milk and cancer rates. I think that was disproven. Oh, really? But interesting theory. Oh, the, nice, dude. We you all, you got fucking fake news. You're literally promoting fake news. I just When it's about China and it's positive, I'll believe it. <laughs> they no, Alexa, cured cancer. Alexa drinks like two drinks of milk. Two cups of milk a day. It's not true. Well, maybe, but like. <laughs> what? I'm a, I'm a milky boy. What was the last time you had a cup of milk? Well, it's not a cup of milk. Yeah, I, I, I have know, a milk fix not... every day. Huh? I, like, a, like a real Australian. I do. I, I drink a lot of uh, protein milk. Like uh, the one, the brand I was talking about, uh, Elite Core. Mm. It's like 43 grams of protein, which is insane for 230 oh. calories. I feel like it's made of magic. So I drink it, that every day. But it's also lactose free. <gasps> Oh, we're gonna be fucked by the stream when we get into the parking garage. I'll just hop out before the. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, sick. You're and I'll just sit there. by myself with this big ass camera. Oh no, we're gonna have to gets... park in Wilson. Shit. Yeah, 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 well said. Um, yeah, car cucked. So car cucked. Oh my god. I mean, having public transport, we probably should have done that. I just would have yeah. felt weird. Having to map trip. out. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> having having to map out your your uh, you know parking ahead of time very car cucked. Well, you don't have to do that. There's another way. No, no, I'm saying like that's very American. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's no why I'm left. Not. Yeah, this is the other thing now. Yeah, oh, well, I think you can turn left at the next next one and do a big old circle. So we're on the kind of outskirts of Chinatown now. Go go go! So go. It's, you can't turn here. It's all gonna start go. changing soon. Why is there? No you can't turn here, it's one way. Why is there no kangaroo transport? Asks a chatter. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just expensive. Well, we're going past Central Station. So kangaroos are unionized. You can't really. Yeah. Be a bigger station. They unionize so they can get smoke breaks and also one punch every time you ride them. They one get a free one. Again. Yeah. This is where we want to go. That's the Troy tram networks after World War II? Yeah. Oh, you'll oh, see in the, in the center of the city, the trams at the back. Oh, no, dude. Was, ew, no, they dude. should not have had trams. Yeah, no, I, ew. I trams. Such yeah. a bad idea in this city. Oh, I, I hate it. I, me too. Yeah, you're going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Vodafone, is that good? Or Telstra? Uh, Telstra's, Telstra's probably better. Is it? I think. I think. I mean, Optus and Telstra are probably the best. Yeah, in terms of coverage, yeah. Oh, fuck, it. my Telstra is at nothing now, too. Oh, yeah, that no. sounds like Telstra. Now Optus is working well. What the fuck? Right after I changed to the Telstra. Oh, no. Oh, you probably might not have to jump out here because we're going to go into that big concrete building. Okay, can someone come with me? Yeah, I'll get out. So it's not just me? Okay. All right. That's I'm going to try to not say walkabout now that I know that it, there's a <laughs> racial... Yeah. Uh, component to it, but I always want to say we're going on a walk around, but I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Alright, well, Alex, check the car. Oh, okay. We're just leaving Alexa? Bye, Alexa. Just wait outside. Okay, uh, oh shit, I hope it's not like too dark. I don't fucking know how to... These are the great sights of Chinatown as well, just, uh, you know, seagulls and pigeons working in harmony together. Yeah, they just like it couldn't be done. Just like the native Australian white population and the Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. working together. And we are getting outnumbered. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the pigeons are the the, the Chinese in this. You think situation. the seagulls here look different to your seagulls? I don't think I've ever like. Wait, Stoked can you hold the seagull. camera for a second? I don't yeah, think. They're, I, bigger there. they're much bigger in the U.S. Yeah, and they're much dirtier as well. Yeah. It's like yeah, our right. government washes the seagulls. Or something. Is there is there a conspiracy? Are the here in the outback, oh shit! I forgot that we're, I forgot that there's a road here. Here in the middle of the outback, a conspiracy amounts. The conspiracy is mounted. Are the seagulls painted? Are the seagulls painted in order to ensure harmony? We're gonna find out later. I'm a son Piker, and this is American News Channel Seven. I don't know why I said American News when I'm clearly Australian, but yeah, there's one which is close. But uh, we can walk through trying to back. The ABC board. But look. Oh, dude, dude, Optus is coming in clutch. Seat? I think, no, I think we could get a seat. It's good outdoor. Okay. Yeah. All right. There is no way this accident will last seven days. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you fucking joking? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm joined by Friendly Jordies and also I did a thing, aka Alex. We're in Chinatown. We're waiting for Alexa, also known as Boy Boy. Uh, and we are going to once and for all investigate what is going on. Are the Chinese invading Australia? <laughs> or is this just a beautiful moment where we're gonna be eating some delicious Chinese dumplings? I think more more that than the other thing, but you know. Now the pressure's on, what if you hate the dumplings? What if you, what if you the hate the food? Yeah, then, yeah, okay. then it is an invasion, okay. for sure. I am such a like, classic, like here, can you show what I look like from a little bit further away. I am such a classic dickhead with a big ass camera, with a fucking big ass camera just walking around with this thing on my chest. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. No, you, you have to stop. You have to stop thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's one of those you, things. There's just like, out. yeah. There's a lot of tourists around there, so you'll fit in. Okay, so good. Like, yeah. It's right. just a weird selfie stick. Yeah, yeah. This is just a very big, very, very weird very selfie, selfie stick. <sighs> so we're just waiting for him out here. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll kind of head in. It's like just down there is Darling Harbour. It's like a big kind of like it's by the water. There's like a lot of nightclubs there. I am noticing a significant lack of Chinese people so what far. You, what? 
there's literally no okay. it's mostly it's mostly I, I'm seeing a lot I'm wait a what lot. I'm <laughs> seeing a lot of pigeons not many seagulls that's me anyway <laughs> I have seen like this is maybe it's because I live in Los Angeles and California you don't see race that's all, that's no 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 <laughs> I'm very I'm, I'm trying to I'm, I put on my racism goggles. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Sick. Yeah, that's one of those. Oh. Watching. Oh, what's up, man? Hello. See? Not Chinese. There you go. What's up, man? You want to take a photo? Okay. All right. Well, here we have our first we have our first stream sniper of the day. Uh, this is hopefully not a very common occurrence. We'll see. But here, let's do it. Yeah, we'll walk, we'll come towards you. We're like on the on the photo. Thanks, man. Right. Uh, nice to meet you, man. Farewell. Enjoy your, enjoy your stay. I will. Have fun, man. All right. Oh, he's down there. All right. So once again, oh, man. more more white people than Chinese. One hundred percent. I'm I'm sticking to that. I think that's the narrative here. It's a bold Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna get harder and harder to defend that claim. Okay. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. we'll see. I suppose. Yeah. We're, we're around the uni still. We're not really in China. Yeah. So the thing is, like, normally, at least in. Um, are you are you allowed to cross over this thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, look, you are not going to get killed by one of those trams. <laughs> what if I'm very bad? Yeah, like, what if I'm slow? What if I'm so stupid <laughs> and I just fail to move out of the way? It's like getting killed by a Galapagos tortoise. It's yeah, like, yeah. is it possible? Aren't those things massive, though? Yeah, yeah you'll see them tomorrow. Oh, They've got two yeah. sick. Fucking, they're like 200, 300 kilos. They're awesome. I love that. You know that. what else? You missed out. But one of them they had for a while, uh, Charles Darwin bought it back. And it only died like six or seven years ago or something like that. Wait? How, really? Yes. From like, like this dude it's knew Charles? Look at this guy. Another. Oh, we got trams. We got, we got another. Green areas. We got another white We're man. We're not Parker. We got another <laughs> white man. Proud American. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go expose this. Chinatown. <laughs> Bro, the thing I will say is this, like, um, like I feel like American American Chinatown goes way harder being like, like Chinese than oh, this Oh, you're going to the main bit. You're going to the... In Chinatown. Oh, okay, that's so, why. Wait till you see the arches. I like that the only gold. Chinese guy is... I'm not Chinese, but... <laughs> you're Chinese enough. Like, yeah, I can say I'm Chinese. You're Chinese enough. <laughs> also, we all wish we were, so... You're the only I one... I got to claim it. You're the only one who can claim it. Yeah, but I kissed him, so, like, I'm, I'm Chinese, too. That doesn't it's not how Chinese. that works. <laughs> that does not work. How are babies made, Alex? It's not how that works, either. <laughs> what are you saying? Is that not Chinese? Okay, that's pretty Chinese. Okay, right here. We Should we go to the robot that makes... Uh, now, or oh, yeah. or do you wanna... We got a first landmark here, a Chinese landmark. <laughs> Me. Within the four seas, all men are Should we go to Dixon Street? Or should we go there? Because that's more in thick of it. You could probably get some really... like meat more over there. That's yeah. like that's like the classic place that everyone goes. That's like a student but place, but there might be like if you just want a big hunk of meat, you're probably and there's get a big more mall... over there. With like, what's up, man? Hello, so nice to meet. Also, you guys. Yeah. How you going? Hello. Like way taller than I expected. We're big. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, the camera you takes well. off about like um, thirty centimeters. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, the you want to take a photo? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, All right. Do you guys uh, mind taking a photo? Yeah, for sure. Photo, what's up, really, man? Like, cool nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, three, two, oh. one. You dropped oh. some. This is my girlfriend. Girlfriend's car keys. <laughs> three, two, one. Thick. Can I okay. get the photo with also blue boy? Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Have a nice day. Alright, thank you. We should definitely go to the ball. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I appreciate all that. It's very oh. uh, enlightening. What's the word? It's very encouraging to know that there are still leftist people about. Hell yeah. I really like it. Uh, see you guys. Have a all nice right. time. Have a good one, man. Thank you. Oh, lovely man. Alright. Significant lack of Chinese people around us. I'm just gonna say, you're, you're pointing the camera at the only <laughs> Turkish man in the whole street. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's been invaded by the Turkish, if I do say so myself. This is our favorite uh, pub. Really? Yeah, Covent kind of Garden. On the weekends, filled with like the most depressing, like 80 year old men, kind of like maybe like 70 year old Aussie dudes with like. 30 year old Thai wives, um, yeah. all just screaming their hearts out into this a This place is pretty good in there. 
What is in there? Uh, but there's another Wait. one down there. Why did it burn down? CCP yeah, stuff. Gas leak. There's a gas leak. Nothing else. Gas leak. Oh, okay. A gas leak. Okay. Uh, well, do you want to have a look in here and we can choose? Sure. Let's let the Chinese man lead. <laughs> we can, if you want meat, what did you say I missed it? No, he said <laughs> let the Chinese man lead. <laughs> You don't no. want to, you speak Mandarin a lot, so you have to order for it. Wait, us. not yet. May all. Can you? <laughs> no, not really. I can sing in, in Chinese. Oh, yeah. Dude, remember, yeah, when, when you popped off with uh, Uncle Ho, or no, what was it? like fine chicken rice. I don't know if we're going to get, like, heavy protein here. It's fine. I'll just eat whatever you guys want to eat. Dumplings probably, oh, I don't know. I, I was going to say dumplings are bad, though, because it's outdoors and it's all students. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. If we go if we go somewhere like that, it's gonna. It's all that's YouTube. Why I want it, <laughs> We're yeah. You don't you don't want that. I promise. Let's go down to Dick, uh, Dixon Street, the other mall. With well, the, I, I mean, this place is the same as everything else. Although I just. Well, we go Yang Yang. Yang Yang's pretty good. Yang Yang, like Andrew Yang. Yang Yang. Yang. It's like a very unique kind of noodle, which is like cut. It's delicious. Have okay. you had it before? You like I don't know. But I'll, I'll have it. Yeah, Biang Yang's good. Oh, Biang Yang. Biang Yeah. Yang. It's like, um, it's got a lot of cumin. It's almost like borderline turkey. I don't know where it's from in China. Might be like a Western Czech one, maybe? Because they have the peppers in there. Oh, yeah. You are such a cinnabu, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> where is this I Chinese you, herb from? Is oh, that? what is it? Trash. What? Chongqing? Oh, we go on. I wasn't like filming inside a restaurant. No, I think the mall will be better because you can probably feel you want to go to the mall or you want to go to Yang Yang? Oh, we got Yang Yang, but Yang Yang has an outside area. Yeah, but it has an inside area. Yeah, but we can sit out. Outside, no, the street. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, first of all, this place is beautiful. Yeah. It's fucking nice as hell. This is Chinatown. What were you expecting? I, I, I expect like everything to be shit because of America. Like, not because it's Chinatown or whatever. I just expect, like, any area that is, like, population dense to be non-walkable, dirty as hell, just, like, just awful. Going down to all the places here. I mean, again, I don't know if any of this stuff is good. It's all pretty similar. Yang Yang's good. Save me to whatever you think is good. The Uyghur place might be right here. Well, Uyghur place is on the corner. Oh, back further up. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll do the. We'll get. I mean, whatever you think is good. Because... The weaker place might be right here. Well, weaker place is. Oh, back to further up. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll do the. We'll get some from the weaker place too. The Uyghur place. Uyghur. 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 The best. Uh, Continue the past into the future. Beautiful words. <laughs> the uh, best rated uh, ramen place in Sydney is in there. Why don't we just go there? It's called Gum. Because it's not Chinese. It's not Chinese, yeah, but that's true. We can do it. I'm just so hungry. I don't care. <laughs> Dude, anything We're you want. Anything I'm you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sit down. You guys can go. I'm fucking oh, starving. Yang Yang's so nice. It's still pretty carby. They've got noodles and the pace of meat. No, I've given up on that. But is there Chinese that is just protein? No, they yeah, do there like high I mean, chicken. there's like black pepper beef or whatever, but yeah, yeah, is that yeah. even Chinese? Five cups chicken. It's uh, Taiwanese. It's pretty fucking good. Okay. That's a five, five cups line between Taiwan and... Wait. Never mind. Forget about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so lame. <laughs> no, my God. Not everything has to be political, dude. This I'm not a variety streamer. This All I do guy. is politics. Yeah, we've, we swapped it. Remember? We're not doing politics anymore, except for... I don't want even to. <laughs> I don't want to say it out loud. What we're doing? Because <laughs> I feel like this is this. It was funny in, in your in the album. Yeah, it also feels like this could be like a Tyler Oliveira yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Good town. being white is banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we laugh, but he does do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty sad. Yeah, Any? No way. Where oh. is he? He's an investigative journalist. <laughs> kind of like you, Jordy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You should watch it. Yeah. So what's his shtick? What's he... he what's, his what's videos he are going called, like, what's he I saying? investigated the city where you have to do drugs. And you go there, you don't have to do drugs. It's just a lot of homeless people. 
<laughs> Imagine. <laughs> he will film them shitting and show their shit and be like, what, are you like having a schizophrenic episode right now? <laughs> like, are you doing that? Like, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, everyone having access to a camera is a scary <laughs> thing. <laughs> so I, as I'm streaming, as I'm live streaming this. Okay. Whatever. Wherever is like furthest away from people. Because I don't want to bother them. But that's too small. I don't think we're going to fit. I'm going to sit over here. You just get over there. Um, what do I think of Sydney so far? It's beautiful. I mean, you haven't seen it. It is beautiful. It is a very it is pretty a city. city. Yeah. So I wait until you go to the beaches and you're like, yeah. Amazing place. Bro, you fucking love nature so goddamn much. The beach is it beautiful. hurts my soul. How much you love nature. How much you ride for nature is unpleasant. <laughs> I'm a cuck. I'm a cuck for nature. Yeah, you're a nature cuck. Is that the that's the central on the silk road, right? Uh oh. Hey, too heavy. I see a numb yummy. Very low in the What do we do? To eat or to yeah. say? Yeah. I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. <laughs> Just, oh, yeah. I think they just knocked us these. I think that's the... Uh, oh, you mean not a twitchy, like, is it? Oh, like, I just how do you one. nourish yourself? Like, what are we... What are you, what I think are you the noodles are the main ones, right? Yeah, the, get the, the, the bang bang dry, bang. dry noodles. Okay, so you get the bang bang. Yeah, noodle chopped with chili is good. But these guys are really nice as well. Yeah, I guess. Uh, get a little taste on, so... This is so fucking hard. It's not... It's not holding up. Uh, I'm trying to like prop it up with a bag. Oh shit. Do a uh, little bit of engineering. Yeah, come on, Can you pop a chair? Fuck, this is piece free. What? It's Hold heavy. Stand. It's a very heavy. Uh, I mean, if the bag stays like that, I can just hold it. No, just... that's insane. All right, I got it. You got it. Wait, let it go for a second. Okay, but I'm it's scared. Right. It's good. I'm gonna just order noodles and I'll order a bunch of pastries <sighs> right. for us. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, so, Alexa, you can read, right? Yeah. Um, wait, what is this? Hot and spicy vermicelli? What the fuck is a vermicelli? Oh, it's like the Vietnamese, like thin noodles. Thin noodles. Noodle and tomato and egg and meat sauce? Okay. I want the Biang Biang noodle. That's what I want. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Biang Biang noodle with spicy lamb tripe. Spice, you should get the noodle with spicy beef. Yeah. Are you a chili guy? Yeah, I love, I love that. Noodle with spicy beef, and I want to get extra spicy beef. Oh. Yeah, two, e two extra spicy beefs. Yeah, the portions good. aren't the oh, beef. Beef. Yeah. Wait, what do you guys get? I don't know. I don't know what to get. Oh, I'm going to just get noodles with big plate chicken. Sounds good. Damn. Okay, where is this? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I'm going to get that. And I'll get like a bunch of pastries. Yeah. So we order yeah. Good music. This is all English muffins. No, the pastry. The pastry is really good. The pastry is really nice. Huh? So you on a hot pot place? All protein? All protein? Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, yeah. Well, the pastries are like surprisingly good. I feel like a lot of like I don't know. I feel like pastry is always more like a European thing. You just gotta smash it. I get sick. But this is like a snack. Mm -hmm. no. No, it's just noodles or pastry. Uh, noodles or pastry, take a pit. Uh, Ooh, what is it, sandwiches? Can I see that? Yeah, so good. Yeah. I think I'm actually getting a bunch of those for Sausage and egg McMuffin with Chinese food. That's so... Is this no, like no, a... No, is this actually authentic or yeah, what's the I deal? So. Like, it's a different kind of pastry. It's, it's I got three of the pastries. Alright. Um, I'm you so get, hungry. I'm so fucking hungry. Did you order first start or break? No, I didn't order first What did What did you guys want? Uh, the spicy meat... Uh, Biang Biang Noodle. Oh, yeah. With spice. And then uh, with two extra spicy beefs. Okay. Can I get exactly what you're getting off the goal? Yeah, do you have a big plate yeah. chicken? I might get one of those. Yeah. Just oh, get, we did. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. Big Someone plate said, chicken. wait, why are you guys getting big plate chicken and not the other thing? Uh, uh, noodle beef plate. Yeah. Okay. Why are you getting me? Why are you getting. Why are you telling me to get something different? Oh, because. It's, it's, all, it's all the same. It's all with Biang Biang Noodles. Dude, hit me with a big plate chicken too then. Okay, okay. Two, extra two extra chickens. Two extra chickens. Two extra chickens. Yeah. They said big plate chicken is actually Uber. Did they? Yeah. How do they know that? I don't know. It's fucking yeah. well traveled. Automatically that's an Uyghur way of saying it. Chinese food is the best at making shit ingredients taste so good. 
How don't do be insecure, Hassan. They are the ones who told me to get something different that they're getting. <laughs> and also love big plate chicken. I love big plates of chicken. That's what I eat every fucking day. Yeah, that's day. why I got it. I love it as much as the top of the hour ad break, which you love. As long as you subscribe for $5 or free with a Twitch Prime. Take a photo of your IRL setup. I will in a second. Doesn't everyone have the same kind of bag set up there, all the IRL streamers? Kind of. There's like, uh, there's differences. Um, some people use like GoPros, which are smaller. Uh, yeah. There's cameras, there's bag that are, bags that are smaller now too. I just have like a older... You got the professional... Yeah. Lot, so. Yeah, it, that's, that is a problem. I'm not gonna lie. I think like how big my bag is is an issue. Also, you, you do stand out when you're walking around with this thing compared to another. I think she's riding it with the brake locked on. Yeah. Oh shit, I should have asked for a Diet Coke. Okay, I'll just go grab it myself. So, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah. Dude, I haven't. You know when the last time I ate? Last time on I ate plane? was on the plane. And I only. I didn't even have breakfast on the plane. So I. Last time I ate was literally like, I think almost 24 hours ago at this point. I offered you Greek salad Jeez. for breakfast, but that's like culturally sensitive. So. Yeah, I'm not trying to have Greek salad for breakfast, dog. What the hell? It's delicious. You do that? Oh, it's just because we, we had a barbecue at ours and I made like way too much salad. It's now, just like, the, every the, day Serbian, the Serbian mind, bro. Don't even ask these yeah, questions. I don't want to know. He's basically Serbian. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we're, in, we're in direct conflict. Yeah. Oh. He's, I thought he's, I thought he's Croatian. We call them North Serbs in a patronizing way. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That's, that's not true. Is it? It's all oh it's my Turk. It's all Turk. It's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's all, Turk. all everyone else. All the way to the gates <laughs> of Vienna. Just southern Croatia. All the way to the gates of Vienna. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, what could have been? Damn, that Biang Biang noodle with the chili. Oh my god, this shit looks so fucking good. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking... You said you got the big plate chicken. Big plate chicken's great. You did the same thing. You got big plate chicken. Yeah, I did. That's because I didn't we want to We all just get big plate chicken. Yeah. Wait, we got big plate no. chicken, no beef. Beef looks better. I told you to get beef. No. I told you. I'm going to get fucking... I'm going to get beef too. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You only got big plate chicken with two. Double the chicken. Bro, <laughs> trust me. I'll eat the it. Chicken. I'll eat it. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah, cold noodle the with the sesame paste. What is with the chicken? Ah, uh, with <laughs> him, with us? <laughs> yeah, with you. This looks I don't like know. noodle experience. I, I think when I went there, it was just kind of um. I feel like lots of places I travel to is kind of like all their cultural differences kind of quaint. But you're like eventually you'll be like westernized. And then when I went to China, it felt like the only place that like had their own thing going. And I was like, oh right, like the future doesn't have to look like us. It could be like a completely different thing that I have. So I like to saw the future in China. Yeah, it's yeah. Like this. The only way. Damn. It yeah. is. So, there's something beautiful about though like, seeing everyone doing like the communal dancing on yeah. the street. Like, that is a utopia. Mm. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> that large circular buildings in the background. Yeah. It's pretty futuristic. Yeah. Gotta give it. Is it or is it kind of still a bit? Depends where you're going. People are commenting about the fact that you put the soda tab inside your can. They don't like that? They don't like that. Get used to it. <laughs> 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 it's the whole thing, you know, the thing's ripped off. I got a yeah, mentor to in. hold me over. Is there a bathroom around here? Oh, yeah, so I'd like to know. I think there's... Nah, it's not. I think you got to walk to the mall. And you got to put on the street. Where are you going to see guys? Look at that slapping you do. Oh yeah, there's a noodle slap. Um, maybe I'll get a Coca Cola. Well, where's your favourite place you visited? Tokyo. You got to be hard to be. I haven't been there. I haven't been there. I spent a year in Seoul. Oh, yeah. I assume that that's just like... This was your model in Korea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discount Tokyo. Yeah, no, that's what they say. They say like, um... Soul, Soul is, is like... Soul is discount Pyongyang. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> True. Isn't that the truth, Too brother? <laughs> Fucking right, dude. Um... They say Seoul is like Chicago to New York. If, if Tokyo is New York, then Seoul is like Chicago. It's yeah. Like a, it's like a watered-down version of like a... I mean, it's pretty nice as far as I understand. But you know what the real fucking... If the real OG place is not even Tokyo, it's gentlemen. Thank you, Alex. It's See, this is yeah. manners. This is, you should learn Thank a you. thing or two. <laughs> chat. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, sure. To China. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I wanna. I, I feel like Chinese cities are probably better than Chinese. 
here. What? City. No, I didn't hear what you said. He can't hear. I'm yeah. pretty down. Yeah. No, yeah, I wasn't. I was not talking about like here, Chinatown and Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> I never got it checked out. Yeah. I'm mean better, better, more. Better. <laughs> it's awesome. Just like that. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Yeah. Like more fun, <laughs> bigger, bolder, yeah. better working. Like I can move public transit, yeah, I can that see type of shit. Um, that is, the public transport was kind of nuts there. Like that quantity of people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like well, it was a bit like Tokyo. I haven't been there, but just seeing this giant funnel just pushing people onto a train, and they can all move out of there at once. You're like a funnel. It was literally like the fucking corridors looked like a funnel, just funneling people into the station, like, just crazy. cattling them in, cattling them. And like in. like Beijing, where it's like population's bigger than the whole of Australia. You said that like, like I'm saying something scary. I'm describing a war. Like, <laughs> you you are describing it as scary. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't like you. Dude, Funneling like human beings into a train Alex, is Alex very have disturbing. A way with words, honestly. Yeah. Like, I, I'm still, I'm still not over the fact that you said, "Oh, you just wouldn't want to see certain, certain things." Yeah. I try to pitch things in a way because I'm used to trying to not scare people like on the water with. But I help, somehow make it worse. He's used to manipulating people into doing yeah. Yeah. life-threatening things. Oh yeah, like uh, the video that we're shooting, which is, I guess, for your channel. Oh yeah. They won't tell me what kind of torture they're gonna do to me. Because <laughs> they think it'll be better if it's a big reveal on camera, which is crazy. We could we Wait. could tell you. No, no. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. I, I am scared. I'll, I'll, I'll say no to we're it. Doing, um, we're doing a video testing out um, CIA enhanced interrogation techniques on each other. So we've got like waterboarding. We've That's got cool. a bunch of other things. That's a really cool one. We've got a secret one for Hassan. Oh. Okay, one of them is deep in. We're going to Can we go to the... Well, I'm down at... I'm not, is that my chicken? No, it's his. He went out and ordered for himself and then oh. left us to... <laughs> yeah, that was selfish. He tried to he tried to recover with the water move. Yeah. You see that? He thinks he's <laughs> fucking slick, dude. I got three pastries for us. Oh, is that the, is that the Chinese uh, chicken thing? Yeah, it's oh, that chicken looks good. That looks oh great. my god, that, that looks, looks fucking dope. And there's me. pastries. There's that one's potato, that one's pork, and that one's beef. What's the pastry? Fuck yeah, I want some pastries. Get in there. Hit me with the beef. Let me try it. Let me give it a whirl. So what is this? I, think, so I think it actually tastes a bit Middle Eastern. It's got a lot of yeah, human. It's got human and stuff in it. It's from Xi'an, it turns out. Mmm. It smells good. It, wait, what is it from? Xi'an. Xi'an? The like terracotta yeah, warriors. Like, it's so fucking oh, so the good. whole thing is one giant meal. Fucking meat. Yeah, this place looks cool. Oh, potato. How's the verdict? Pretty good. Spicy. I think the peppers are hot. There's a lot of Szechuan pepper. No compared to Szechuan. Just the province, not the... This is unlike anything I've ever had before. We had I would say that. Oh. Is that mine or yours? I mean, That's like everyone. Pastries for everyone. Got six over there. What'd you get? I mean the beef and feel free to grab any pastries that you want. It's a nice spice. It's a great spice. Yeah. Gave you a beer, but... Unlike this rude asshole, I brought utensils for everybody. I have like manners. That is spice. Yeah. Really good. Like he that. gave me a bib. Because <laughs> I have a white t-shirt. Because <laughs> he doesn't believe in my fucking swagged out white boy ways that I will be able to manipulate this without fucking it up. Where are we going in China? Where are we in China? Yeah. Probably Beijing. And we're such a big place. So many different so big. Have you been to Hong Kong? I've been to no place in China. No. I've never been to China. We went there like before we were doing YouTube. And we really wanted okay, to. Okay, I see why he gave me a bit. Look at this. Fuck. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's all good. You're spicy though. Oh, that's mine as well. That's the beef. If you want to go grab it, then you want to try it. It's so heavy in the second one of peppers. It just makes your mouth numb after a while. Mm-hmm. And you take it off and pull. Ah, it's for it. all of us. Are you not eating? I am eating. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Eat the beef. No, you have the beef. Okay. No, no, I, it does look awesome. Is there another one that we're waiting on? Or is yeah, there's two more chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some of these. Oh, it's so hot. Why are you guys going to the reptile park all the time? It's like we're very is that un- your idea, his own? Who wanted to go to the rip? This is such a flashback to being teen. Like, you know? Course, it's it is really uncreative. Place. It's just like, what's oh, the no, coolest thing great. Australia has to offer? It's yeah, better. the reptile park is up there. It's I better like than Taronga, because Taronga, it's like a bit more like corporate, you know? 
Like Reptile Park, it's a bit more Australian than the Apple. Well, like actually. indie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like indie version. Well, the kangaroos are out in the open. There's like. One of the guys, the head guys that work there, was like mates with Steve Irwin. Um, That's really good. And it's like oh. all their little Steve Irwins doing the shows. Yeah. They've all got reads, all of them. They're Parks, all parking, so good. Like, it's hard not to look good when you dress like that. And the rapping spider. What? I can't wait to see what the sun is. I don't even know what that is. What is see that? if he's got flow on or What is that? There's just a spider up there that's just been like, yo, yo, kids, let me tell you about tarantulas. You know, like, <laughs> it's, it's sick. You're gonna love it. just sounds like a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, based on a true story. Did you have no aquarium? Old Sydney town? You know, the know. other day, like, I, I walked up there. There's another amusement park next to the reptile park called Old Sydney town. Oh, yeah. Where it's just like, experience what it was like back in, like, colonial days, right? Closed down, and I walked up there just to see what it was like. It was like, Dude. and then like three junkyard dogs just like, <laughs> it's like, you can't, they so don't I, want you going. So there. I took my mum there to do urban exploration because I had heard that you could get in. Your mum does urban exploration? No, she was, she was curious. She's like, it looks nice that you get to see old buildings. This is amazing. Sorry, yeah, I, keep going. I took her there with my younger brothers. We were there for an hour and police and fucking security guards showed up and my mum was crying. What are they hiding in there? Why is it? There's an, uh, there's an alarm, like a silent alarm that goes off. And like, they, I just like, I never looked like a more scummy human being. My mum was crying and I was like, I'm so sorry. I told my mum we could do some <laughs> casual urban exploration. This is, a, this is a repeating thing in his life. Not a, a one time event. We're making his mum cry. Yeah. Yeah. You threw all the fucking onions out, bro? You should've given it to me. I got IBS now. You do? Well, you're yeah. eating a chili or a It's all bad. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're picking and choosing your battles here, it seems. Oh, I love onions. Insane. Did they explain why they were just like, how dare you look at this old building? <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. They actually felt bad at it. She was like, in tears and like, sniveling. And like, we're sorry. You I was really well culture dude, we're on a mark. You hang out with your mum heaps too, don't you, Hassan? Like yeah. A, a she stays, yeah, she stays in my house. We hang out yeah. with mum heaps. Mm. Lovely, we wanted the awkward. Yeah. The potato and one she comes on stream and stuff, yeah. The other one's bad. Wait, this is the fourth one. I will not touch that as no, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have put a voice this way. <laughs> so now it's so biased. <laughs> Yeah, damn. China and Islam doesn't mean it's so much cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what the whole that's what the whole um, situation in Xinjiang was about. <laughs> they were like, you got to peak farm. Yeah, no, no, not enough, not enough pigs. <laughs> Just touching the beef. I right. had a little bit. It's really good. Oh, I love the noodle. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that it's one continuous nice. one, makes it really hard. Dude, you just gotta bite into it. Thank you for this cultural exchange. I never knew about this place. Every time I walked past it, I was just like, plastic tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So oily. It's delicious. Oh. Do you like living in LA? Yeah. Mm. So it's like a. Is that your favorite? Like, give me this as well. What's your favorite city in America? It's a hard one to answer. They all suck. <laughs> I just like really, everyone always talks about like the magic of New York. And, yeah. New York is a. Uh, it's because people in America have never actually encountered a real city, and New York is a real city, and yeah, it's like an objectively mid city for like many of the. Many of the things that make a city good, New York lacks, but at least it has like some version of it. This is impossible to eat with a, no. and a share of all the like, like, You gotta take it yourself. I'll yeah, tell you what, you. Boston seemed very different to the rest of like a, like a very, very cursory glance of America, but Boston seemed nice. Like a good place to live, you know? That's where the science cousins did the marathon. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
There's like a, a lot of conspiracies that that's not like those guys were fall guys. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I mean it's a pretty like rudimentary ball. I forget what it was called. I think there's like this book called like there are no there is no terrorism or something. Mm. And I feel like it plots out that like all matter of domestic terrorism in the United States is conducted by the FBI or the CIA. I mean I kind of believe it. I thought back in the 70s, you know, terrorism that like targeted actual important people. Now it's just all killing random people. Yeah. Well, you know, we terrorize people. Like, what are we doing here? What, what are we getting in the game? Yeah, true. True. Stay true to yourself. <laughs> terror. I'm a terrorist. Bro is so right about the whole bib thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do I not remember it being this greasy? I really don't have a problem with the grease though. It's well, more just the, the fact that it slips in your face every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah the drawbacks, yeah, that's true. Oh, it's not as good. Good? Yeah, the American, American terrorism is so odd because it's like, dudes will have like real gripes and things that they're angry about and then they'll go and like kill their fucking, you know, co-workers. Well, just kill a bunch of children. What is wrong with you? What is it's that like, all about? Why, why is that happening? <laughs> what's what, the what, answer? What's going on there? Yeah. Why are you doing that? No, not, not the answer, but like, why is it always the school? Mm. Why is it the um, school? It's usually people who went to the school. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I think it's like, uh, when you're young, and you're mentally ill, and you think that that's like a power structure, like something that holds power over you. So you have no way of like recognizing the larger, the larger hierarchical power structure. So you like immediately lash out at the first thing. That's why they kill their parents usually yeah. too. Right. Okay. Like you're the one that raised me this way. This way. Yeah. You're, you're you're the position of authority in my life. Like you are enforcing your will upon me. And so what? Usually they're like 17 or something. Mm -hmm. Always young. Always young boys. Because we just don't have an equivalent, do we? No. There's nothing like it. Because you don't have guns. <laughs> but like... That's it. The NRA point. Canada has guns. Like, no, but they're, but they're Canadian. Canadian gun ownership is nowhere near as like crazy as American gun ownership. And they have a lot of um, background checks. Like, in Canada, in order to purchase a weapon, you have to like go through a expensive background check in comparison to America. Right, okay. And it's not really like a cultural thing there, like it is in America, is that the deal? Jesus. I don't even care. You want the beer? You can get the beer. Take no, it. it's too much. <laughs> Got some mystery drinks. Do you want the dumpling soup one? Or the Totoro <laughs> Reed? What's the name? Man Reed on board. No, you're Dota Room. I don't know what the name is. Dora Is that it? Hey, I'm looking at Oh, Dora Man. No, Hey, you want it? Uh, I'll have try some. Yeah. Try this guy. Oh, no. Pork one's incredible. Sorry. You like the pork? The beef. Oh, the beef one is the best. What is with this? It's good. I mean, you can't poke it in. It's well, like, <laughs> it solves all the conflict. Everyone was standing on Geordie for like it. Good? Hey. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit, I didn't keep in contact properly. We had streamer brain going, but can't do anything else. Oh, what? Is it the same place? How much money did you have to spend? You went to a fucking claw machine place in Sydney? This weapon. Our manager, our collective uh, manager is here. Chat, David. Socialist, but has a man. The biggest, by the way. The biggest. Our manager's the biggest socialist in America. <laughs> his job, like I, I always joke about it, but like his job is to basically tell every brand that I'm not going to work with them. <laughs> He's the biggest weeb of all time. David is the biggest weeb of all time. It's so weird. Yeah. yeah. Like cold. It's not good. It's cut into it's like. It's cold. A, it's too I, vinegary. Yeah. It's not good. I didn't like that one. Is that one of those photo booths where you go in and you get all the stupid? Oh, sick. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Hush. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I want to get this out without putting it in my suit. So, so. Uh, yeah. The challenge. Can you cut it? Uh, Across all four seas, all men are brothers. Oh. oh. I can't remember it took a sign telling me that it was me to read that sign. I never knew what it said on there. Then the base one's It's more subtle. I think Drew Paolo would have a heart attack if he saw that sign. I don't know who that is. <laughs> 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 I think that's lychee as well. I thought I was going to do two different things for all the lychee and lychee. Surprise. It's very salty. Yeah. It's super sodium dense. Yeah. It's very greasy, like very oily. Well, it's all oil. I the love sauce is I love the noodles though. They're it's like, amazing. Yeah, the noodles are fucking. They don't, they're, not, they're not even that hard to make. I made it at home, it's really funny, like banging. You say really? So it's like the old Uncle Toby's ad for roll ups. Yeah. Just, get a piece of fruit, smack it out. You do the same thing. Yeah, wow, just, uh, that's just incredible. A bale of wheat. Oh. Man, look at this little like, man. I'll say this much. Things. I got the triple chicken. It was not triple chicken. No, that was like a that single like breast. Maybe, maybe double chicken. Maybe. At most. So. Well, considering I had two pieces of chicken. Uh, they do definitely put a lot less of the protein in here. This is not chicken. It's thigh. Do I get beef for? No, it's thigh. Oh yeah. Chicken thigh. <laughs> not chicken breast. Oh. We go down to the garden harbor after this. Yeah. We can walk. We go down through the center. It's also nice best stream. But okay. he hasn't seen garden harbor. We can do a loop. We can go down this bridge here. You guys to pass the Chinese friendship garden. <laughs> oh. Love that. Um. We can go in. I've never been in there. I like peacocks and stuff. So You've never cool. been in the Chinese Friendship Garden? Bro, my Chinese you say Friendship Garden is right here. Yeah. Also, in all of our hearts. Also, um, the Chinese Friendship Garden building is where the world's first refrigerator was made. The Australia did it. I didn't realize until I walked past it, this little plaque. The plaque, yeah. Why did they make it in a garden? Well, they turned the refrigerator building into a garden. Factory yeah. into a Friendship Garden. Yeah, the Chinese took over and made it. I mean, it's important cultural landmark into a fucking garden with peacocks walking all over. These are the koi over here, pretty expensive. If we like were to catch, oh, you think the we French steal the koi? Yeah. They got so much, and each of them is like what, like three thousand bucks? How much the koi? Oh, I think they can be hundreds of thousands. Why the fish? Yeah. Why is it so expensive? Good luck. They're really lucky. You know. Other fish are like squirming around the ocean. Not These lucky, lucky ones are in the French garden. I wouldn't mind that life. It's pretty good. I mean, you know, just endless toddlers throwing pennies. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah. Throwing right. pennies at you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, You'd be yeah. rich as. Yeah. <laughs> You're a fish, Jordan. You can't spend the money. <laughs> oh, God. This is the move. Oh, oh yeah, the dip Do oh. I want more of the grease? Oh. I don't want the potato. Oh. The pastry is actually really good. It's unique. I wonder what it's what kind of. It's just wheat. It's like much harder. You guys ever been to Old Town? No. Highly recommend that one. Highly, highly, highly. What kind of food? Hong Kong cuisine. It's just the best. Yeah, that food I've ever had. It's so oh, bad you can't put your lips on anything without making it yellow. It's just like grease exudes from everything. <laughs> right now. It's disgusting. Delicious. Fucking oh, no. Damn. That is a lunch that puts you out for the rest yeah. of the day. Yeah. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go snorkeling. <laughs> we are not snorkeling, right? Where would you go snorkeling? It's like Club Club Ellie or something. Yeah, Club is the best Easy to get there. into. Fairly secluded. But Gordon has much more sharks. Yeah, I'm from Southern Yeah. I don't like that. So that's that. why we're going like to Club <laughs> Do you? Yeah, we did. We, we told him that Gordon cool. was the one without the shot. No, we said. Well, Ellie doesn't have the shot. I'm confused. I now automatically assume they all have sharks. I've never seen a shark with the I think it's that's hard for them to get in there. There's like a hole. Wait, so they can get in there? It was really. Yeah, determined. I mean, if they're really hungry. Really determined. They got shit to eat out there, though. Yeah. They got no reason to. They're scared of us. Yeah, other Australians in, in other waters, it seems. They did. How so, many sharks did it? How many? We how many a, Australians do sharks eat? We haven't had a shark in, no, year, yeah. in 60 years. No, no, we had and one the last year. That's what I mean. That, that happens. We've got another 60 years before the next one. WA is where you don't want to be. There's like one every month. 
Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. W A. One of mine. You, you don't think there's one of mine? I don't think there's one of mine. I don't think there's one of mine. Let's look it up. I'm telling you now, if there was one a month, they would absolutely cull the <laughs> yeah, shit yeah, yeah. out of any, like in the entire ocean. Okay, so what are these guys saying? I was very wrong. Yeah, one a month seems pretty high. Yeah. One a no, month is what I imagine. Since 1995, uh, 19 fatal shots. <laughs> you know what though? In I'm still five. pretty impressed with that death count. Got we had one. That's pretty, yeah, exactly. That's still Wait, where is that? Where, West, West Australia. Australia. That's where all the whites are. <laughs> White sharks, white great whites, not whites. Yeah. It's not a joke. Why would yeah. anyone fucking go there? It's good surf. A lot yeah, of it's fucking amazing surf. You make a lot of money digging up minerals. You don't make a lot of money. It's just mad. It's a party town. That's sick. I don't Wait, really? That's really fun. A lot, of, a lot of getting punched in the face walking down the street. But that's all part, that's like a handshake. That just thing. happens to you, you know? It's, yeah. just, a, it's just a... Wait, but then, then they're not being polite here, right? No. no. Yeah, I really do like it. I've never been. So it's just all like fucking miners who yeah, party. Really, really rich miners. That's pretty much Perth. <laughs> Perth has suburbs in it that are just like America. I've never fucking seen anything like it. No, it, you know what it'd be like. It'd be, I'd imagine it'd be like going to one of those like billionaire coves in like Dubai or some shit. Oh, it's like it's obscenely, like really? amazingly architecturally do, designed houses. Yeah. So do do like uh, international people go there? Yeah. No. Wait, well, it has international right. appeal. Would you say it has international appeal? I have no idea. I don't know of anyone who's going to Perth. Why are you guys talking about this place like it's fucking Pine Gap, dude? What the fuck? We don't. Yeah, we don't. The yeah, government doesn't talk about it very much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just, I've, never, I've never thought of it as like an internationally No. I've heard about it. You heard about it? It's very remote. Yeah, in the Illuminati yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Perth, mate. Fuck it. There is another American military. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 yeah. that's, that's not surprising. It's, it's everywhere. They are everywhere. It's just everywhere, period. I mean, I, I grew up around American military bases in Turkey. In Ankara, there was like shit ton. Best pizza that you can get in Turkey, unfortunately. <laughs> Those are the best. Damn. Yeah, that's how bad pizza is in Turkey. I need more. Pro I should have gotten four <laughs> chicken. What's your What's your view on the uh, the fat guy that barely dances every time a large kebab plate comes in front of him? <laughs> oh my God, bro, bro, bro! That guy, that he's, he's a national a treasure, dude. Are you kidding me? Is Is he dead? I heard that he died no. of a heart attack. Or Maybe. Uh, I haven't really seen him belly dance gleefully. Yeah. Not for a while. He used to be like a, he used to work in like Tarla. He was like a fucking, like a village dude. He was like a villager who worked yes. in the fucking yes. fields. Yes, yes. And then his massive belly and phenomenal <laughs> attitude <laughs> skyrocketed him to, <laughs> to major success. He was doing and well the, deserved, I've got to say. Yeah, he was, so doing, the, he was doing that belly shit like with a Vladimir Putin impersonator yeah. who was like nuking America last time I saw him. <laughs> it was sick. <laughs> Did he have that skill before TikTok? And that's why he was like, yeah, he was doing it for free. For years, like just like us. I up. think so. Yeah, it's like it's like his face. You know how he does the face the thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Do, it. do the constable. Is that a word? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's you, can you do that? On. You bring your, uh, bring your. Uh, oh, you a little bit. Oh, you can do it as well. Can I? It's a bulk of thing. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. But yeah. <laughs> the const. I got the constable face. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you look like you're a constable. Oh my god. Bro, oh. this guy is like a fucking trash can. I can eat you're, non -stop. You're, you're just like me. It's the fucking worst. I don't I've never met someone that can eat more. Yeah? I can eat more than one. Yeah. Easy. Really? You got quadruple me. I'm currently holy shit, because you do kinda look like the fucking one piece guy. Like you're just kind of like <laughs> oh, just I, elastic, I could not you know? put on weight. Like, literally, when I was boxing, I was eating like eight, nine thousand calories a day. And my weight was going down. I was like, maybe that's really? a really, maybe yeah, that's a, I've got thyroid. It's you fucking fidget. <laughs> I do. I've never, there's never a time my body has not changed. I remember, AD like, is the rip I remember, yeah, person. I remember when you were at my house, you were just like, circle the fucking island for no reason. Like, I have an island in my kitchen, and you just walk around it. All right. And no, that's I, how you lose your calories. Do. That's how he's doing Yeah, it. and he constantly would like shadow box. <laughs> he just wouldn't what, stop. What, just as a habit or like, are you training it? I don't know, I get bored if I'm not doing it. 
Okay. Yeah. My body's like, what are you doing, Alex? Use up, move. It's not a bad problem to have, man. No. No, it's a very good problem to have. <laughs> like, it really does. Yeah, like, I've, yeah. I wish I I really don't envy problem. anybody that has that kind of, uh, you know, they're basically a couch. You know, they'd be very happy to lie in bed. Okay, you're talking about me right now. I feel like you I'm like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I mean, I do do it. Uh, you trained yourself. To do that, I though. did. I really, I really did. But that's why I like doing IRL streams and like leaving the house a little bit. Because couches will be on the other side as well. There's so much cool stuff. <laughs> Exactly. So you're doing this more and more, are you? Um, no, I, I, do this, I do this peri uh, periodically. I always have an IRL backpack, so I will always, like, every now and then, I'll go through, like, a period where I'm like, I want to do more, like, weird, fun shit. Because I think it's better. I think it's, like, it gets so boring and repetitive to do the same old fucking sit there and talk about politics all day, every day. And yeah, I know. It, it, it's so yeah. hot. It's so hot. It sucks. Yeah. It's not, I mean, obviously it's not like fucking, you know, working a real job, but... No, it's true. And also on top of this, you do have something in the sense that there's always something to talk about. You yeah. have that advantage. Yeah. You have that. But, it does get a little boring and repetitive and, and a little, you know, mind-numbing after a million times of discussing the same exact shit. Because yes. like, yes. in America, nothing really changes. I'm sure it's not that different in Australia either. Yeah. Like the problems that you see, they persist. So then I find myself cycling through the same exact talking points, huh? addressing the same exact problems, and responding to the same exact idiotic counters that make no fucking sense whatsoever a thousand times over. Probably make you more. It's a hill. Like, it does, I think. Well, whittle it down to like the perfect sound bites. To a certain degree. Uh, yeah, Paul Keating, who's just like the immortal prime minister of our country, right? He has a great quote about that, where he's just saying like, when the longest, they were like, why are you quitting, essentially? He was just like, when you sit in parliament long enough, you realise you're just having the same fucking argument over and over again. Which is insane for a prime minister to swear like that, but you can see the frustration, you know? Yeah, I, I totally true. get it, yeah. It is true. Yeah. So like, after a while, I gotta, I gotta cycle some fresh shit. To, for my own sanity, and I feel like it makes my commentary better overall. It, uh, you know, I, I like I like going outside and like meeting people, seeing different things, because I feel like that's also very important for broadening your horizons. As cliche as that sounds, it is there is definitely a, it is definitely valid. No, definitely, yeah. To know that the world actually exists yeah. and it's not just something that's like filtered through BBC or something. You know? Yeah, everything yeah. I see, like I read so much all day, every day, but it's always like, it's very different than just experiencing it. Yeah, totally. totally. And so now you're going through one of these periods where you just want to go out. I mean, it's not even like, this isn't even like a period specifically where I'm doing that, but um, I like to, like I said, I like to cycle it. Um, I like to cycle it into my normal commentary. And the thing is like, my audience doesn't like it overall. Live, like, live. No, they never do, do they? They never like, no. You know, the Brady Bunch goes to Rome. They don't like it. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they want the room. That's a great, that's a great house. Um, yeah, no, they want me in my house. They want me, they want me miserable. They want me miserable in the house, constantly talking about politics. I don't fault them for it. Because, like, I'm cycling a lot of people throughout the day, right? So, like, to them, they're like, I don't give a shit about this dude fucking eating uh, young, young, young chicken in, in fucking Sydney. Like, fuck this guy. Get to the politics, politics, man, you know? Mm. But I still do it anyway, because mm. I feel like um, the other reason why I do it is because people see you in a, in a different light, in a more personable light, when you're interacting with other human beings in the, in the real world, and, uh, and I think that it's good for people to see that I'm not just like an angry fucking being in the corner of their screen yelling at them constantly. That's what I think is a good thing that you've done as yeah. well. I like the fact that your content is like a lot more poppy, you know, and that you like talk about other subjects. Oh, yeah. I think that that's, yeah, regardless of whether your audience likes it or not, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I do it because like, I know that there is, it, it's, it's better for long-term growth and sustainability. It's good for my mental health, you know, win, 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 win. It's also just a thing of like, anytime you ever see anyone that say, I don't know, 
someone on MSNBC or something like that, and then they're, they're just constantly talking about politics and they've got the news desk behind them and everything. They're basically like a cyborg in some way, like mm -hmm. a two-dimensional figure. Yeah. I get the same thing with my audience all the time when I try something else and they're just like, how dare you not give the politics Are you ever going back to like, Married at First Sight? If I, but nobody watches it anymore and I'm so angry about it because that was the greatest. Don't you don't have that show in America, do you? That's like our number first, one rated show. They just get two random people together and they're just like, you're married now. And it's an experiment. We do. Oh, yeah. you got it's actually a massively popular Netflix show now. They recently just started Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. What do you do? Do you react to it or something? I used to react to it and like it was great and then everyone stopped watching it and got bored of it. And now there's and this television's it's dead, called, so you can't do it anymore. Love is blind. It's a Netflix show. No, you're what you're describing is currently the most popular reality TV show in the United States of America. It's called Love is Blind. Oh. They directly ripped what you're talking about. Yeah. And it's pretty funny that you just mentioned it because it's like so fucking popular. You like? Oh baby, yes, Love is Blind is not the same as Maps. <clears throat> Isn't it Love is Blind? Different shows, man. Talk about Maps. Well, did you want to do this? No, I can't. He started it, but like, I'm not going to stop it. Was my, it was my favorite Geordie's content, and I want to know why it, what happened to it. Well, well, you guys have to help me out, because I don't know shit about YouTube. You have to give me a TV show to react to, because I'm misreacting to TV shows. Dude, I, 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 like, dude, I don't want to do fucking politics. I, hate <laughs> it. I, just, I want to sit there and watch shit TV all day. Dude, that's so it's funny so you're saying that, because that's literally me. I do that all the time. What? What? It, that, what you're just saying is what I do all the time. What do you mean? I used to watch uh, 90 Day Fiance. Uh -huh. that's, that's a political yeah, show. show. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Everything is political. There's not a... There is no apolitical TV show. <laughs> How good is Lux listing with the tiny, the little the guy? Tiny Lux man. was amazing. Oh, Lux was amazing. It's like, what's your, what's, Carl what's that LA Selling Sunset. TV? So it's like Selling Sunset, the Sydney version of that. But we're, we're a lot shorter. Dude, I wish, <laughs> we got, I wish we got really Kyle small had guys. more time to be a TV producer. Oh, Lux great. listing, Trial by Kyle, the best television Trial television by Kyle. Coming. I haven't Did heard you of that. Never no. Oh my god. Okay, it's Kyle Sandler. It's a legally binding decision. Judge, yes. Make, and, and there's a lawyer sitting there being like, you can't, this is not legal. And he's like, I don't give a shit. He's my. You're That's going to prison. Alright, <laughs> okay, I have a question for you guys. <laughs> Are these chairs like particularly hard to sit on for an interview? Would have been that hurt your ass? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I every, every every and I don't even, I don't even think you're too I, used to ergonomic chairs. Yeah, stuff. I don't even think I have like a bony ass particularly. I have yeah. a juicy one. And it's, like, <laughs> nice. it's been, it's like cutting off circulation to my fucking quads a little bit. Why don't you go walking? We'll find a toilet as well. Oh yeah, there's yeah, yeah, a toilet right there. Like in a kingdom for a toilet. We can show chat how Please. we see. Over, oh, under the over, bridge. Under the bridge, right? Don't tell me it's like five dollars to go. No, 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 it's free. You gotta love this city. Wait, and there's ping pong. You don't play ping pong in the park? In the toilet? No, <laughs> <laughs> in the urinal. When you're doing your piss. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so weird. It's like the fucking Aussies, man. They got some weird ass shit. You guys really Do we just like put it? Yeah. Did we leave it here? Yeah. Or yeah. Pick it up? This is the bib that would have saved my fucking life. I messed up by not using it. And now my entire shirt is drenched. Like, I can't see. Can you see, chat? It's so bad. They gave me a they gave me a bit because they saw that I'm a child. And they were right. And I fucked myself up. David? Pretty good. Yeah. I I, uh, I slept the entire time. So for me it's like what's up? Uh, for me it's not even a thing. I am I'm, I'm already fucking burning through what six hours of content so far. Let me hold the back out. Well, you wanna, you wanna. Hi, I'm so sorry. It? Hi. I'm a big fan. Can oh. I get a photo? Yeah, of course. Yeah. My friend just set myself up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. Here, can someone hold this for a second? Sure. Thank you. It's heavy, right? That's really. Watch heavy. out, this shirt's really greasy. Yeah, it, it is. You're gonna get grease on you. That's the price of admission. Thank you. How long are you in Sydney for? Uh, tomorrow's the last day. Yeah, for a couple days, and then we go to Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne. Is that right? okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a native. Uh, it's just I, I put on this like fake American accent when I'm talking, but I'm actually a native. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Native Aussie. That's incredible. Native. Well, if you have a chance, you should go to the northern beaches. Oh yeah. They're very pretty. Yeah, actually, sharks there. That's the thing. He's very Maybe scared of sharks. Maybe one a week. Sharks. Yeah. I don't want to see zero. <laughs> you know the perfect number of sharks that I like seeing? Zero. 
I'm very much like Donald Trump. Oh, there are some cute. Yeah. There are some cute. There are some cute. Yeah. Shows. You go see Wobby Goals. You'll, no. like, you'll love them. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Right here, I grab it. It was nice to meet you. Have a good trip. Uh, nice to meet you as well. Merhaba. Merhaba. <laughs> are you are you Turkish or you just learned a couple? Merhaba. Merhaba. <laughs> are you are you Turkish or you just learned a couple? Oh, what what the fuck? That's an insane. You're Turkish Mexican in Australia. Yes. I didn't even realize there was Mexicans in Australia. I'm the only one I know. I've that's met any other really I know there's a lot of Turks here, but I did not know. Wait, that's so funny. Yeah, I always say. Yeah, that's oh yeah, that's that's just his grandfather about. made it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh <laughs> Don't stop mentioning that part. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what we Really? You're gonna have the liar. Your granddad. Wait. He's really? been telling everyone that his granddad made the minarets. Wait, the it's time. fake. Wait, my, my, my stepdad's dad. Made you guys the minarets. You guys might be related. No, his stepdad is Czechoslovakian. So. Okay. Uh, his name's Victor. What the fuck? Wait, wait. Whose fucking dad made the goddamn minarets? <laughs> Victor, man. That's all we know. My Victor. dad's dad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it's my dad's dad. I think I saw the plans for it as well. Okay. Bro, I always him. say uh, Flexicans are Turks, and now we have a Flexican who is a Turk, literally. Yes, I am Turkish. That's and crazy. Yes, right. Okay. <laughs> so I take a photo of like. Have you ever had, uh, yeah. have you ever had, uh, uh, Guzman, Guzman e, e Gomer? Oh, you haven't had that yet. <laughs> no. You know. Had... Yeah, favorite. I know. It's Hell so no. fucking bad. It's not real. It's, it's, it's my Guzman favorite meme. Guzman e Gomez. It's my, it's my favorite meme. It's the most legit thing we've got. No. It's too wide, Oh, it's not even Australian. Yeah, no, it's, it's a Chicago hedge fund guy. If it was California, it would be authentic, at least. Hold on, I'm gonna put this down for a second. Hold on, chat. Oh, your phone is. Okay. What is that? I like to say. I am very greasy. I have a lot of grease on me. In class? Oh, no. Oh. You need to pay attention. I will. <laughs> I'm coming close to Natalia and I'll get that state rank for you, Hassan. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Nice to meet you as well. I'm gonna, go I'm gonna tell my Anane about this. She's gonna be like, who the fuck is Hassan? By the way, we Oh, she does? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. She loves you. Okay. So Wait, we got more we people, people swarming. Nice all right. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. The worst I can't believe that you got a mechanism though, because like, Sorry, I've never had any success with that. I can't believe David, you, you volunteered to that. hold the camera. You really want to do it? Yeah, if you want, I'll sub I, for Marsh. Is that a lie? I'll sub for Marsh. Wow. Okay. Everybody, this is my this is my manager. This is our manager. This is our manager. Yeah. <laughs> that's not. Yeah. Placed already. So fast. He's he's uh he's managing socialism. That's what he's doing. If you hold this for a sec. Wait. Let's put this up. All right. Let's do it. Are you want me to be in or no? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're just like a big boy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Bro, I can't juggle so much videography like, at once. I'm new to this. I have so Thank much. So like, this is so. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> yeah, nice to you too. This is why they give me a fucking bib. Splash zone right there. I don't even care. Fuck it. Ideology.shop. This one's not available anymore, but. Don't fall, oh. David. Yeah, we go this way. No, you know what? You we are, we are looking, we're currently on our way to that. find a bathroom. I feel like, have you ever done this before? No. I'm getting one of those memes. I'm kind of I think we might have oh, been in a TwitchCon yeah. for like five minutes until Marsh saved the day. Marsh is not here. He's, I know. He's coming I'm going to have to really big Oh, sub, and dude. have you talked to the guy, the fixer guy? Yeah. Are we, did he give we're, us anything? Yeah, we're set. Oh, hell yeah. We're all yeah. set. 9 a.m. tomorrow. We'll That's be there. Sprinter, so. Dude, he was so adamant about the sprinter. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh thank you. We're oh on the God, we're on the road at 8 a.m. though. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Where, where are you from? What, right, right. what do we got here? Oh, okay, that makes sense. You guys have little little Mentos. You guys have you guys call Mentos? Oh yeah. You have them? Oh yeah. All right. We're not in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. I thought it was like crazy Australian. I just presume you guys don't have anything we have. I I do want to get some crazy Australian snacks at some point. They're not that crazy. Wow. Three, two, one. You guys have to have some weird candy. 
Gold it's all American um, candy. Like Vegemite candy. Yeah. It's where there's original. No, what's the... We have a Golden Gay time. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Three, three, two, one. I worked at a um, international convention right. center. And my job was to put the horses I did not in, think we'd um, give a swarmed in fucking Australia. Yeah, like, I'll be honest. Oh, shit. You almost... Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm worried about the way you're walking. No, here, I got this. I'm good. I'm, I'm like actually worried. All right, so tomorrow, you said at 9 in the morning? 9 a.m. is when we start. The the vans will pick us oh, up at 8. Perfect. Early morning. That way I'm going to have two hours of like regular desk commentary shit. And then after that, I'll start at 6, which is 12 Los Angeles time. Do my regular news coverage. Then we get in a fucking van. We get in a sprinter van. And we sprint to the reptile zoo, and um, I'm gonna be touching animals. It leaves us time too at them? the end. We have time, yeah. We can pet them, and we leaves us time too oh, for us to peer pressure you into snorkeling at the end of the day. Oh my god! We're going this way. This way? I got shit in my fucking on my pants. I don't even know how I spilled in my pants. Shouldn't have gotten the good drip of chicken. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say this is this is tradey? Like, you pull up higher. You need a camel toe. Really? This is tradey length, bro. Nah, that's like my length. It's long. You have tradey length. No, this is too long. That's that's the length. Even that's too 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 long. Is this not tradey length? That's no, yeah, that's trade. Like, thank, thank you. Man. That's trade. Yeah. You're corrupt. Look at how much no, more. Said, that's where his ass ends. You look how. Oh, I don't know. Like that's trade. Like this is it. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's insane. These yeah. are just. These are, people, go, people go shorter. People go until you can like at all points see your testicles. <laughs> so people just wear budgie smugglers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah, act yeah, like yeah. it's. Oh, a, this is this is a garden of friendship slash oh, first refrigerator can, in the world. Can we go in there? Oh uh, no, but we can read the plaque. That's just Wait, as what fun. the fuck? Wait, I, I oh, wanna... you can go in like another way. You gotta pay. I, it's only open on the weekend. But it's the yeah. first refrigerator in the world. Let's see the plaque. Fucking awesome. I never knew that about Australia. Why wow, we? This is what you're reading in New York City. To visit Darling, the... here we are at Darling Harbour Refrigeration Site, right? By Thomas Sutcliffe Mort. In 1816, he invented the first refrigerator. World's first refrigerated warehouse to freeze meat for export. Okay, that seems like a lot more qualifications than the first refrigerator. Alexei, I feel like you lied to me. It's almost there. It's I not know. the world's first. I was, I was drunk when I came here and, and read this plaque. So. <laughs> Wait, it's for me. It's just for me. Wait, so, so people didn't freeze meat before? This is dedicated by the Australian Institute of Refrigeration, Air Conditioning and Heating uh, and the International Institute of Refrigeration in 1999. Son, you've seen the most interesting thing in Sydney now. There you can go it's back. It's all downhill. Yeah, you always, you're so fucking nature cooked. You're like, oh, let's go. Let's go outside. Let's go to Bondi Beach. What's it's up? Great. You want to take a photo? Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. I didn't want to interrupt your little education. <laughs> yeah, we were learning about the world's first refrigeration of meat. Sorry, take a photo. Australian meat feels extremely on brand, too. Why? Nature and meat Three, in Australia. Two, one. The one two punch. Thank you. Oh. Do you want to also take a photo? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> My daughter's been a massive fan. For oh, sick. Oh, oh, that's stupid. I thought um, you guys were sisters. I need a... <laughs> I need a phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can take it on my phone. What? Do you... Wait, three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Just want to say you saved my oh, life in lockdown, so thank you for your stream. Oh, well, thank man. you for watching. Not sun cream, but thank you, man. No, no, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. You want to take a photo? Yeah. All right. There we go. Well, it's like a year now. You need to get a phone case. This is terrifying. Oh, I like to live he likes to live edge. dangerous. Oh, I do. I do. I'm scared of holding right. it. <laughs> <laughs> so stressful. Leave it to the world's first refrigerator to draw a crowd. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, that's what now they were here knows. for. That's what it is. No, that's what they were here for. They were like, "What the fuck? That's the site." <laughs> it's not even the world's first refrigeration. It's the <laughs> world's first refrigeration of meat. But it's also the but first I don't refrigerated believe that. boat. Surely if you make a refrigerator, the first thing, the only reason you do that is to refrigerate meat. No, yeah. the, the vegetarians had it first. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. The point. They never even yeah. thought about it. 
to actually like, someone else invented the fridge and then the, this was this australian i was like why don't we put fucking meat in this yeah before that it was used for cold pressed juice but if you go down here you can pee uh, and chat, yeah. come watch me pee no we can't bring it <laughs> we can't bring it into the bathroom i'll show you how we pee australian style <laughs> yeah it's in the other direction <laughs> piss on your own face <laughs> This is very nice, dude. The whole, the whole thing is pretty. You haven't even seen the nice parts yet. Wait, what are you, why are you saying we'll Chinatown is not a nice there. part? No, it's nice. You saw a refrigerator. Oh, it's closed. Oh, no, that one's closed. Thank God, there's a one. Will he do it? Wait, yeah. Boy, oh, my God, he's doing it. Wait, what, is that unacceptable? Like, no, no, you can do it. As long as there's not someone waiting outside in a wheelchair. I think we're going to hang out here. You don't want to go in the bathroom. Seems a little safer. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope. His first experience in the Australian toilet is just syringes. Like no, it's good. These are clean of, public. No, public. I've seen horrible stuff in this exact this bathroom one. before. This yes. one's always been beautiful. No, I've seen poo overflowing from the toilet. But where else would you poo? That's the one place you'd want it to be. No, it was everywhere. Can we see what chat's saying? Oh, yeah, I don't have a how. No, on, on our phone we can do that. I think he's got. We'll be looking at like things from like five minutes ago. Does Hassan usually get it where people actually like? I presume they look on the stream where they are and then they follow you. Is that that's a normal thing? Didn't didn't somebody already do that today? Yeah, no, I'm saying there's lots of people. Doing I think so. Yeah. Also, we did kind of like signpost where we're going the whole day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, also, I feel like Chinatown here is very small. It is small. It's not that hard. Turns out Hassan's playing a Netflix ad right now. <laughs> 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 we we're talking for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, everyone else can see it, so you just have to watch the ad first. Oh, they're agreeing. They're saying stream sniping. It happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. You get to... Do you want to tell us what this box is that you're sitting on? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you guys have them as well. It's the anti-terrorism boxes. The classic what? box. Yeah. Why are they wearing raincoats? But you could still drive a car through here. Okay, that... Slight bump. Yeah, which is disgusting. Review. No. Oh, it's really? actually quite clean. But as you can probably uh, tell, my hands are very wet. Now you might be wondering, how the fuck did that happen? That is because this bathroom unfortunately has one of those fucking air dryers and no paper towels. So, that obviously reflects poorly in the overall bathroom review, even though cleanliness is a big, big plus, especially considering it's a public toilet. Wait, so you just refused to use the, the dryer? No, I did. I just, you didn't keep Bro, it Bro, the dryer doesn't fucking... It's because you don't know how to use the dryer. <laughs> no, dude, it's just like, I don't want to sit there for like 35 minutes. Here we go. What's up? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Nice view of the bathroom now, too. Yeah, yeah, beautiful bathroom. Look at that. The amount of people now coming to check out the bathroom. Dude, like, dude, the sun he, is this, you're not wrong. The sun is like kind of intense. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It oh, burns yeah. you very quickly. It definitely is like different than yeah. American sun and California sun. I don't think it's. California's not this like lasering. Yeah, Alex, yeah. you're right. The place is fucked. Also, we got. It looks like some like Turkish dude put shit all over the walls. It's oh, disgusting. Okay, there. Dude. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I just want to fix uh, one of the. I want to try to fix the setting on the camera because it's very bright out here and the exposure is going crazy. Wait, you boys know how to fix the exposure on this? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I think so. I can run a file down with the wheel. It's. Ah, oh, shit. It's on. It might be on auto, but it definitely. It's like. Bro, it looks like. A, uh, not Arrakis. Uh, Wait, what the fuck? Did you guys watch Dune 2 yet? No. Man, the exposure is really different. Usually it's just wheels. But, yeah, okay. Bye, hi. Bitch, <laughs> 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 we're going to tell her mum about this. The other girl had her mom with her. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Mom was cool as well. Got like tattoos. Young. What's up? <laughs> <You> what's up? <laughs> what's fucking what's pants, a, mate? What's a nane? A uh, nane? Uh, grandmother. I don't know how and, to change this. And when you say is mother, mom. Uh, you didn't, you couldn't figure it out. No. Damn it. I can't see where any of my settings are. Fucking are. fake engineer ass. What does this do? That's focus. That's focus? Oh wait, don't fuck up the focus though. And, no, that's not fucking up the focus. I'll oh, focus now. This is sort of the same. I want to change the ISO. Oh uh, yeah, I can put the shutter up. Oh, does that no, shutter have to be on 90? 60. Um, peaking. Maybe just press the middle button. Um, the exposure is fine when you're not in the middle of the sun. Yeah, let's just get it out of the sun. I mean, we don't want to be standing in the sun anyway. We can so. walk that way, it'll be shady. Okay. Let's walk towards Dying Harbor and then it's... Alright. I feel bad making David carry this, I'm gonna carry it. 
It's no, it's a punishment no one. It's a punishment only befitting of March. Oh, it's a wedding, but it's just saying it's a wedding. Oh, yeah. It is a heavy camera. Are we going yeah. to Darling Harbor or are we going into the tiny job? All right, I'm going to stand in the dark. It's, I've been there before, it's really boring. Dude, you just, I'm seeing a lot of cinephobia coming from you. It's, <laughs> we here are. It's because you boys haven't been in the It's because the friendship, as, as the Alexa said, is right here yeah. in I our did, hearts. When I was there, I didn't go with a friend though. So maybe that's what it needs. Did you go to the Garden of Friendship alone? <laughs> just, <laughs> the just, cry, just crying. He's just like. I went with my just mom. Seeing, seeing all these friends. I went with my oh, mom. That's so lame, dude. Oh, my mom is my friend. <laughs> I want her to be. We also, uh, we got in there drunk as well. Uh, yeah, we're sneaking in. So, okay, yeah, you guys have sick. been to the Garden of Friendship many times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was our drinking spot. Oh. That was sick getting in there drunk. You like, we scale the side, because there's like the koi ponds as a moat around oh, you, it. you actually- So you have to like, shit. like do these against the wall. We had to jump to a shrine that was in the water in the middle of the pond. And then you And the, the shrine was kind of like flimsy. Then we would jump to the next wall. Okay, what's your rating of the bathroom? 10 out of 10. What are you Thank talking you. about? That was fine. What, you guys didn't lie? I just wanted to make a joke about his son rubbing through everywhere. Yeah. If he comes out nice, and says it's nice. good, then and, I come and, out and say it's good. And in order to do that, you literally fucking defiled the <laughs> yeah. glorious public amenities offered by, yeah, the, right. by the Sydney local government. Take that back. We do have nice amenities. You don't fucking deserve it, dude. Also, why don't we, we've always got these <laughs> fake rocks. Yeah, what? That's a spy rock. Why is someone's left their keys under there? Why is there a fake rock? What, is, it, is it attached to the ground? I don't know. There were ants under there. <laughs> Maybe oh, that's. Oh man, they have to make. That <laughs> yeah, is that's that's, sad. Is that probably it? In memory of a real rock. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> this is what rocks used to look like back when this building was a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> and they make them like this shit anymore. What oh man, it is. The sun is nuts. I reckon I'm gonna get burnt even now. It's so late though. No, it's four. We're good. We're good. So where are we going now? Darling Harbour. Go down to Darling Harbour. It's just like a body of water. I mean, the whole city's on water, but this is one part of it. You're not doing a good job selling this at all. Yeah, fucking water. It's just some water. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Do we want to go to Darling Harbour? Or should we go back through Chinatown? What's more exciting? Well, I mean, we're already Darling Harbour a lot. Yeah, um, my verdict on Chinatown is that it is not even remotely Chinese. There's like, <laughs> I feel like any given random part of like, oh, Eastwood actually. Am I crazy, David? I feel like there's, they were like, I mean, my favorite political commentator was saying that China is invading Australia and I haven't seen it at all. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing at them, making it seem like, mm, yeah. maybe. It's true. It is, it is sunny. You gotta come back at night. It's yeah, a real invasion. Just like, just like the final words. <laughs> they come out at night. Okay. I mean, it's very beautiful. A lot of vegetation. Okay, yeah. I like that. It's a very green city. So far. Fucking, Parts that I've seen. Fucking oh, hot city. The reflection is so hot from there. <laughs> oh, I've never oh, had a building oh, be like that. Oh. Literally, there's a heat lamp. Like there's oh, like a I'm heat lamp. Bro, you yeah, can't jump like that. I'm thinking spider when you jump like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. That was like a magnifying glass. That's what ants feel when you burn yeah. them. <laughs> you can see the white spot. You yeah, can see the center the of the glass. I smell smoke as well. Do my, my, my eyebrows go on? <laughs> Do yeah, um, I'm I've luckily not seen the spiders yet in Australia, so I want to keep it that way. What is the burning smell? Something is burning. Yeah, something is burning. In summer, there's a constant smell of leaves burning. Wait, really? There's just yeah, like there's a lot of bush burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like burning. fire has a reduction. I, think I don't feel like you need that, that at fire. Darling Harbour though. You think that's what the helicopter's going to? We get to see a first Australian bushfire. We don't get helicopters that much, do you? Yeah, we do. Oh, like Bethwell, eh? Oh, yeah. You don't need them at all. Yeah, no, that's... It's because our operating budget for the Los Angeles Police Department is $8 million a day. So they literally are just you like... You have to fly, or you're losing money. No, I'm straight up. They, they already... They've accounted for it. So they're like, well... If you don't use it, you lose it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, you gotta justify the budget. Yeah. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Holy shit. I like your hair. Thank you. 
far out, man. I, you want to take a photo? You? Yes, please. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You have affected my entire fucking career. So oh, be quite Jesus honest. Christ. Yeah. Okay, why? I am on my way to managing like uh, summits and conferences and that sort of shit. So oh, wow. I'm trying to head towards UN shit. Wow, okay. Fucking hell, We've... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Oh, I feel shit, whack having this on me. Wait, let's see if you want that. Sorry. Oh, grab it. Holy shit, man. <laughs> and Jordan, thank you so much as well. You're literally like, I've been to your Gold Coast shows and stuff. Where's the Gold Coast? I originally was. Where's your fan, huh? Where's your fan? Like I said, you guys, that's me. <laughs> like, so was he expecting a photo? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's going on? I've, 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 yeah. When you, you know, when, you when you put a machete, when you put a machete in the place of a ceiling fan, <laughs> right. my life was changed because I did that and I killed my dog. And now I'm shot. <laughs> Nice to meet you. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, I don't need. I was like twenty dollars. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, hey, man. What's going on? Yeah, man, I had to make the pilgrimage, the hard shit from Western Wait, Sydney to come to you guys. No way. Yeah, forty-minute train ride. That's amazing. Wow. But make sure we should have come to you. Well, we were gonna go to. Go to the Canberra go... night markets. Yeah, yeah. Go and see the iftar. Sydney has the biggest Muslim community in like all of Australia. So yeah. go to that's the Canberra. That's why we're listening to the ninety-two point seven. Oh, ninety-two point one. Why are these guys listening to like Islamic? <laughs> it's the only station I have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sneaky. That's sure fucked. Yeah? Yeah, What's up, sure. guys? Alright, you want to take photo? Oh. Alright. Hi there, how you going? Right. Let's snap it quick and then we're. No way! No way, right, sick! Oh, sick, perfect timing. It's <laughs> good enough for me. Have a good one. Oh, it's so sunny. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, dude. <laughs> that's right. That's a, dude, what do you mean? That's a boy boy fan of the wild. Yeah. See how it, my fans are fucking handsome. Everyone's fans are handsome. Is it, are you boy boy and walked away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was. It's a power move. Um, can you just say hi to my friend Hannah as well? Sure. Hi, Hannah. Oh my god. Oh, she, we should be here. Are oh, you want to yeah. take a photo? Oh uh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, you can come, come down. Yeah, what a chat thing about Geordie's phone. Ergonomic. Have you seen have you seen that uh, I can't remember what his name is, but he's like he's like a building inspector from Melbourne and he just goes around to places and they're just being like, get off this construction site and he's like, I'm an <laughs> I'm inspecting. No, no, I haven't seen that. Is he on YouTube or is he like a yeah, he's like on YouTube and he's brought out like this merch range because he's got all of these like slogans and logos because he's like a building inspector, right? And so it's always like he's got one of those like, shut up, shut up, go to hell, go to hell of his things of being like, you know, like, this is unfit, unbelievable, you do not pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm like very, very excited to meet this man. Yeah, I'd like All to. Right, well, yeah, we should go inspect buildings right. with him. So it would be amazing. Everything up to code. Oh, the Ibis. They're so beautiful. Look at it. Yeah, they always freak out. Everyone freaks Bro. out. Bro! Yeah. Bro, that's like a flamingo. What the It's fuck? beautiful. <laughs> Why is that in the middle of the fucking road? Because their beaks, their beaks are perfect for reaching into bins. They Bro. Must, they've... That is insane. You just chill and then you got this fucking thing in the middle of the street. Yeah, we got a lot of crazy ones. We got some shit ass birds in America. None of this fucking. The, what the fuck? Beautiful ibis. He's it's just seeing it afar in his eyes. Like everyone hates those birds. Dude, I love he's them. just chilling. He's so beautiful. Yeah. Why do you want to meet a zoo? You know, he's like, he's very exotic. <laughs> yeah. Copious amounts of them. Wait, hey, people, that makes no sense. People hate them so much. He loves it, it's a flamingo. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> He's eating someone's vomit. Wait, it's not puke, that's shit. No, it's not. Go no, smell it. Someone threw up oh, in a bag. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my god. You, you, back you fat cats forgot to finish your vomit. Also, he's missing the toe. Oh, two toes. Yeah. I think he fell on the I think someone was drunk. Oh, I've never seen the bar. Right? Like, see? Seagulls all the time with like the little pirate leg. Yeah. You know? I've got to be filming you guys. I was just close ups on the no, Ibis the whole time. The Are you allowed to show vomit on Twitch? I don't, know I don't think so, but it's fine. 
Yeah. That's McDonald's puree. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's what we usually eat. Australian cuisine. McDonald's <laughs> pate. <laughs> yeah. Yo! Dude, you guys have sick parts too. Oh, they're really nice. What's awesome is you can die on that. You climb that's all the way to the top. If you fall, you go. I don't think that's awesome. <laughs> I think that's. I, I have a very different definition of what's awesome than you do. I think the Americans don't understand. They're, they're, they're from a, they're from a nanny that. state, yeah. so they don't yeah. understand the joy like, of. Kid, I'm like, give me that one. Like, that's what I want to do. The water. Oh, there Wait, we go. so where's the opera house? Can I see it from here? Oh, you have to go further to the right. It depends how long we want to be walking around, but we can get there eventually. Yeah, it's a long walk. I have to go back. And we've got beautiful highways. Straight through the center of the city. What is this? Austin Ox. There's a meme about ibises being the pigeons of Australia. Bin chickens, so it's funny. He sees it and is awestruck calling it a flamingo. Oh, he's he's giving it to the TikTok editor. <laughs> I'm just reading out his I thought he was like DMing me personally. <laughs> he's just he's just writing out. Making fun of you making, to someone well, else. He's not making fun of me. He's just I think he wants to make a TikTok out of that. That's good. Dude, Austin Ox is watching, probably because you guys are on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have best friends. He used to. He doesn't anymore. Fucking asshole. He's too busy working. He's too busy working for you fucking assholes. <laughs> working on the fucking Boy Boy channel. We gotta work out a... Okay, so this, I will say, is like a little bit gross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Concrete area. Yeah. yeah. But, that's cool. Like, that's kind of sick. I did a flip off that bridge. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> then I got detained by security guards, but I jumped back into the water and swam away, and then I fell asleep in a guy's yacht. Why did I do that? I was drunk. <laughs> we were drunk. <laughs> what is this? Is this more ibis food? I don't know, it was like couscous. What is that? So Alexa had my clothes in a bundle, and the like waiting for me, and the cops came up to him, and they're like, do you know that guy? And he was like, like, no. Nope. I, I just like to carry double clothes. <laughs> just in case. You never know when you might need it. <laughs> need another yeah. pair of shoes, shirts, and pants. Well, the cops are like, oh, story okay. checks yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. That's not like an animal, is it? My eyesight is bad. No, that's a boy. Aww. That's a boy. A floating. So, like, from this distance, if I see a shark, I'm chill, because, like, it can't come at me. You know what I mean? Like, no. But if I was out in the water, like, that's his territory. A shark comes into my territory on land, I fuck that shit up. If he jumped over here, I'd be like, fuck you, shark, I'd kick it in the face. To our yeah. favorite animals. Do you hate sharks too? I do, I hate sharks. Exactly, they're fucking terrifying. But, that's why I say I don't go in the water, because I respect them. Like, that's their home, I don't go to their house, I don't fuck their shit up. They don't come to my house, if I, you know. Yeah. In a Sharknado situation, it's on site. Where do we want to go? I don't know, I don't know, we're just walking. We could do... Hey man. What's up, dude? I'm a massive fan. Nice to meet you, brother. Can I get a photo? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, man, I had the kefir on and everything. It's oh, so fucking hot. Yeah, it's, it's way too hot for the kefir right now. I know. I wear it to work, so I just want to just... Do you want to grab this? Thanks. Take shifts with this nice guy. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. Should we get out of the sun? Uh, we head into the middle of the city. We could go into the middle of the city and then head back to you the car. You could be a big statue of queen. Ooh, I want to see that. I want to see how tough Australia is. Look at David on his phone the whole day. Cutting deals, dude. Yeah, <laughs> always. Man, doing business deals. Like, business deals with the Lord. You know, the first thing David ever said to us is like, you boys are on a rocket ship and I'm going to take you to the top. Of the rocket ship? <laughs> yeah, that's I don't know what that means. It doesn't? Oh, you, can you call Luca? Is that, is that, did that sell you? That yeah, it did. Is it still in? I feel like I pulled a cord or something. Can you see? No, you're good. I'm it still good. Like yeah, okay. Why do you want to call Luca? Wait, I'm, I'm still saying his name. <laughs> you said the name to me. I don't know, I don't know you just call, give him a call. Then what do I say? Well, he'll talk to you. He'll talk to me. <laughs> what the fuck is Wait, this? what do you want to talk to him? I don't understand. No, no, Lucas just wants to meet up with us. Oh, he does? Yeah, yeah. Because he's here. He's gonna, this is, he's gonna pop off. This is his first no. screen. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty famous. <laughs> he's so everybody, everybody, he's so much cooler than you, I'm sorry. No disrespect. Hello? What do you mean no uh, disrespect? We're at home, <laughs> no disrespect. I like your brother so much more than you, no disrespect. Dog, <laughs> well, you know what, I like Murat more than you, That's right? fine. That's <laughs> literally like 90% of chat's opinion as well. It's very widely shared. <laughs> He's yeah. the real, it's because he's the real socialist. He is a real socialist. That's what he it is. He actually reads. Yeah. He reads. Which no, no, is no, lame. <laughs> but, but when he does it, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When anyone else does it, I call it gay and, and lame and whack. <laughs> this is Why like, don't you just stand right here? Oh, yeah. Like where there is shade. I've never felt the need to like 
try and find shade before oh, Australia. This horrible. is horrible. This isn't even summer. It, it gets so bad that you'll get completely burnt in like 10 minutes. Like. It's crazy. Yeah. What's the skin cancer rate looking like out here? We get the highest. Like one in three people. Real? Okay, one, so two, three, four. One or two of us might have it. Yeah. I've got Israel. Really? Is that skin cancer or just cancer? No, I mean, it's, it's, cancer. The, it's the same demographic. Bunch of Europeans in some like, yeah. Hot yeah. That's how you know you don't belong there if your can skin cancer rates are high. You yeah. haven't been there for long. No. Contrary to what people may think or say. Fuck, fuck. Hassan, school just finished. If you do not escape the public streets, you will never survive oh, the fan Oh, fuck, photos. I forgot about that. Wait, I thought it was summer. Or wait, it's not summer. Is it winter? What is it out here wait, right I, now? It's, it's going... Is it autumn? It's just in autumn. So yeah, slowly... what's the time? 3 p.m. is school finished Four, time. 4.30. Oh, no, we might have missed the school Yeah, we were out. Yeah, we're out, of, we're out of school time. And on top of that, is there schools in Darling Harbour? No, no. Yeah, I think we're safe. Also, is it school holidays now? What month are we here? <laughs> I don't know anything. Is there anywhere in America where you can... There's like a public gathering place on the water. In America? In America. Are you asking me if people gather around the water? Like a, like a place like this. Many places where there's big bodies of water, humans naturally gather around. It's insane. For Somewhere as pretty as Darling Harbor, does that exist? Uh, maybe, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Chicago, potentially? We're about, we're about to serve you. Hey, what's up, man? I'm a big, ma I'm a big fan of yours, man. Nice to meet you, watch dude. You, watch your stuff all the time. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, is he Serbian? Yeah. So I was all for the oh. country. Oh, nice. Um, uh, yeah. Take a photo? Huh? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's sure. do it. And then we'll... Uh, I want to I want to work with you. I yeah, met you sure. once before, I think. Where did I meet you? You know ICC? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You used to work there a little bit, hey? Yeah. Oh, you do look familiar. Do you recognize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. were telling me a story when you went to North Korea. Oh, yeah, this yeah. This Trans-Siberian train. Yeah, yeah. And I was really asking, he was like, shit, whoa. What about this, this, this? I didn't know you were for like YouTubing, and then it was oh, only. I, I wasn't doing really that at the time. Then yeah. it's kind of we a year I mean, later. It was like a hobby and no yeah. one what was your name again? I watched it. Yeah. I was a haircut fan. Yeah. I, like, right <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I was a, I was a haircut fan from the jump. Okay. Yeah. I was a fan, but like when I saw it, it was like a year or so after when we met. I was like. Oh. Holy shit, I know this guy. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? You went there, then you did it. Tell me you guys did this. Like, That's very funny. No, nah, we. Awesome. I'm not much into photos, but I don't know, for celebrities. <laughs> oh, do you, guys, do you guys listen to We are not celebrities. Oh, yeah, I heard you listen to them. I, I, I was in the concert last night. Oh, no, no. Here, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, they're here. They're in oh, Canberra yeah. now. Oh, right. uh, what? Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're playing the I'm one with all of you as well, but it was a long time. Blind to holding the camera. Fans giving me stuff. That's nice, man. It's really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. This makes your back so fucked this way. Yeah. Holy fuck. Or your front, depending on where you put it. Alright, chat's gonna be in it as well. Yeah. So funny, old friends. Yeah. Yes. How long did you work at ICC? Uh, not long. That was just a part time gig. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually very close. My office is very close, and I saw you guys around. I was like, I need to at least come and say hello. I'm a big fan of like all you guys, pretty much. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. I met you once as well. <laughs> This guy's after, after it was everyone after in show. Australia. Not many people in Australia in general. No, no, I think. Like, so you end up meeting a lot of them. John Howard, the old people, the myth of John Howard. Yes, I am. How do I resell? I was just yeah. walking and I was I found that totally that I'm like, wait, I read the ISIS. What's up, man? You want to take a photo? Yeah, can I take a photo? Yeah, let's do it. Just nice to see. Yeah. Kind of like a little people in the room. In real life. Can you hold this for a second? I'll take a photo. And then I, well, I, I, I give it to you. Thanks. Damn it! I just, I just got rid of it. I just got rid of it. Oh yeah, fun time. But we got, we got a sweet deal because we did a couple videos with Jordan, but he gets all the black for us. So he's like a ma magnet, a lightning rod for the. It's always me. That's why we keep trying to do videos with him, just for our own safety. Yeah. If we walk on uh, the I main think street, maybe we could just walk back. To is the Luke's car. already here? Do you want to just walk back to the car or go on the main street? The main Let's street is a different route. Like, Wait, is Luke is Lucas already here? Uh, we'll oh, thanks Lucas. so much. It was lovely meeting you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, nice, nice to see you again. Finally. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your time.
Thank you. What's up, man? Hey, son. Nice to meet you. you. Oh, Your hands are nice got, and cold. Yeah, I got the refreshing. Do you want to take a photo? Uh, that's all right. I'm just saying. Oh, alright. Yeah. Sick. Hey, Hi, man. Boy, boy. Yeah, sick. Alexa or Alexa? Yeah, Alexa. That's Alex over there. Yeah. All hiding from the sun. On the stream. Yeah. Oh, and Lucas is coming now. He's I'll just coming. What well, do we head back? Kidnapped. Was that the plan? Uh, Sun said he wants to go a different route, so. Yeah, we go around that way, back and stone. Yeah, and yeah. Go up, up the bridge. Yeah, this one's good yeah we'll do that. Why don't we just like, kick it behind that area? Yeah, you want to do that? I'll just chill there. And then just wait for Lu Lucas's like a minute away. Yeah, it's not much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Still later. Just, he's just Ooh. there. Oh uh, man. And then, how many more fans to show up before Lucas? Do you think? I give it three. Three more fan spottings before Lucas. The first time I had a Serbian fan. A what Serbian a, fan. What a beautiful time. Yeah, but I worked. True. Yeah. So, true fan. He's a he is a greater connection than you with the fatherland. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> he's more Chinese than me. He's more Serbia than me. I know, he's got he's, it all, dude. I, I really do. And you still like Lucas more. You've met Lucas for an hour. <laughs> You've yeah. already hyped him up. That's what it is. <laughs> did I hype him up or did Alexa? I hyped him Alexa up. Alexa hyped him up. <laughs> Alexa did hype him up. He's like, yeah, Lucas is sick. He's actually, he's actually a socialist. <laughs> 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 that is what I said, you're not even, no, like, <laughs> not even joking. Yeah, no, that's literally what you did. He's like if Alex wasn't rich and, and read books. Yeah, so a lot cooler. Books. Yeah. Don't I worry, I don't, I don't do it either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, am all, I too am rich and don't read books, so... <laughs> what was the last book you read? Um, uh, the Verge. It's about um, these 40 years in European history. Um, where they got transformed from like a global backwater to like a hegemonic power in in like the what 1560s or some shit. I don't know. Didn't read it very well. Are we allowed to film him? Can we film you? I don't know if I can turn the camera at you. Do you know who's on his shirt? Who is it? That's the Prime Minister. Oh! That was before he had his glow up. Yeah, he used yeah. to be fat. Oh my god! Yeah, it's fat Alba. This is why we keep saying you're cooler than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. He wears got... cool shirts. Yeah, he has cool shirts. Should we get, okay. get moving? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Um, so are we going back the same route? No, we well, can let's go, go around that, that way. way. But like, if we route. go that way, it's like, it's packed up there. But we can go that that's way. That's okay. You know, like, uh, let's get out of the sun. This is fucked. Yeah, let's, no, let's go no, directly in the <laughs> sun. Yeah, yeah we're... Like, Oh yeah? yeah I, I, won't, I won't say no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I, I, I feel bad making anybody else do this shit. It's fucking... It's heavy. Oh, these guys... <laughs> Are you guys leaving? Oh, they're that. leaving? Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. What is a good, like, Australian thing to say when it's really hot? What's, like, a good Australian slang for it's really hot? No, that's... That's American? <laughs> that's universal. Ah. No, like... Do we have one? It's Wait, hotter than a... Hotter than a... Crocodile's penis. Something like that. We just, old... we just say it's hot. Oh. It's hot or just hot? No, I think it's hot. Oh, that breeze is good. What we, the... We say, we say it's heaps hot. Oh, it's heaps hot. Yeah. It's heaps hot, mate. Woo! That's... This is weird. Like, this is a very low clearance. <laughs> this also... Another byproduct of car cucked infrastructure. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this situation here, folks. My lord. We're walking from. We're walking underneath like an overpass. That's like, what the fuck? We used to, very American we, used to have yeah. a, we used to have a monorail that they tore down so they could build the highway. No, thank yeah. God. Thank <laughs> God, dude. What the fuck? Imagine how gay it would be if you guys got on trams and stuff. Ugh. In the sky that are flying. That would Yuck. Suck. Yuck. Woo! There is definitely an active public transit here, though. Yeah. I have seen it. So, get on it. so on that, on that front. No, no, I no. drove. We drove the. Train. People always request our trains. We we it's drove the Zuki. Yeah, the seats are really cool. Get the train in peak hour traffic oh, with, while screaming. With people, this yeah. fucking big ass <laughs> camera. Does it go underground or is it above? Oh, both. 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 Yeah. Okay. At the same time, it's kind of like a superposition. <laughs> um, it's on my phone. That's a nice get a break. But if you look directly it's into true. the camera, you can see them looking back at you. Yeah, you can see into their souls. 
It's a scorcher, mate. Scorcher, yeah. Scorcher. That's it. This is a very beautiful city, though, I will say. Car cucked and all, it is but. Very car and scooter cucked. It's getting less car cucked, though. Like, they yeah. just recently turned the, the center is completely. Oh my god. The <laughs> woke culture the strikes world. again. They're, they're fucking taking our. They're taking our interstates, folks. So, uh, should we go all the way up to the main road? Yeah, yeah you see, see George Street. So, where are we right now? We're almost like, hitting like the actual center of the city. Okay. Um, Once we get there, that's the center. All big buildings. Yeah. Brew Bros. Oh, yeah, that's it. Good. From Yang Gang. Yang Gang. Yeah. Uh, next to Sussex Street. Like, they they have it in downtown. Cool. Downtown, yeah. Our, our downtown LA is like a fake city it's really weird though because um after like 7 p.m streets are clear really? which is like is that, is that night a little bit here and there i'm talking about downtown la specifically yeah. like normally this is like windyard here like wind, oh, people, are, people are only at the windyard side that's like the business area and uh, yeah one up to five o'clock it's all there <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Yeah, we love a photo. Oh, hell yeah. We're like hella activists. Are you streaming? Yeah. Can I plug our campaign? Sure. Students Against Placement Poverty. We're running a national week of action, action starting April 8th. Follow us on socials, S-A-P-P underscore N Placement Poverty. Find all our shit. Get in the streets. Sorry, we just got off the bus and saw you yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I Sorry. think that'd be a really good idea. Alright, let's do it. Let's take a photo after we cross. Um, is my battery dying? I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, that's nice. It's like a young worker. You guys have a good time at Bumba? Oh, it's super fun. Uh, Alright, let's take a photo. Uh, David, can you hold this for a second? Sorry. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's do it. Who should I? I don't do this. You guys are all so much bigger than me. Jordan, can you take a photo? Or, yeah. Because you're American and then not. Campaign here. Well, I already put it. As you were talking about, I bought you a badge for our campaign. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We are also students walking Students Against Placement so Poverty. Yeah. Don't let us all right. stop you. Shout out Students Against Placement Poverty. All right. Let me do one, guys. Thank you. I'll grab it. How you liking Australia so far? It's good. It's hot. Have you been here before? No. Me either. It's my very first sunburn in Australia today. <laughs> it is very hot. But from what I understand, this is much nicer than how it has been. The last couple of days were really nice. This was the hottest day for sure. The food has been amazing. Yeah. The food has been incredible. A lot of good like uh, Asian food here. They gave us alligator and kangaroo, or crocodile and kangaroo. And the crocodile was like chewy chicken, actually bomb. Australian crocodile. You know, I, I know. Yes, my shirt. I feel that. It's hot. Yeah, welcome. You came at like the worst time. We're I feel like some, it's not that bad. We're having some good like climate change here, so it stays really hot way into the winter. At least you missed like 42 degrees. Oh, that. Yeah, that'd be not so, great. Are you American as well? Yeah. So everyone says it's like mad cold at night in LA. Yeah, it does get cold. But like, does it get cold nighttime. everywhere at night? Like here, it'll be like, like he's been on to the Cuba embassy already, but Cuba's didn't get too back hot. To me. <laughs> it's too Florida, Jake. Yeah. Well, good luck to you on your endeavors of defecting to China. Thank you. Hopefully, good. hopefully, Great. Xi watches, so <laughs> we'll put in a good word. Hi, comrade Xi. No, we're yeah. trying to get patience played for now. Yeah. Xi's going to fix that, too. <laughs> Wait, is this the... Is this a statue? I think it's, it's a What's up, man? There is no better indication of a country being completely and utterly cucked than having a massive placement. What? What are you doing? Oh, you got the dog. Oh, okay, that, that one's... Okay, this is valid. This is valid. I'm not, you're not going to be able to hear it, no. I'll give you a cast of coin to throw down. I will say... Thank you. The legend of Islam? What the fuck? Thank you. Is it dog <laughs> No, it's, it's Lay, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. The dog is so good. Okay, this is pretty funny. Victoria's dog. It's over the battlements of Blarney Castle. Wow. 
all the way from Cork to here, how lucky are we? <laughs> We got a rock from over there. Yo! No way, dude. I'm a huge fan. I I started from leftovers and I keep watching it. Now. That's insane, dude. Can I... No, but I, I just came out. I just came out from school, so I'm like, oh, okay. But dude, it's so cool to be here. My name is Ivan. I was once the companion and friend of the Prince Queen Victoria. One of the many good death done for the blind children, I'm given the speech. If you cast a coin, he's saying, now, I will 